So, you want to hear a story, huh? A tale of adventure across the stars. <laughs> Come, listen to old Marcus. Have I got a story for you? My tale begins here, on this backwater planet called Pandora. Some say it is a wasteland of greed and violence, and it is. But if you've got skills to pay the bills, <laughs> Pandora is full of opportunity. Vault hunters. They brave the merciless borderlands in search of secret alien treasure. My father told me tales of vault hunting when I was but a little Marcus boy. And now, I tell you. So, you ask, what treasures do the vaults hide? Fame? Wealth? Power? <laughs> or maybe nonsense like charity or family. I don't know. Use your imagination. Whatever the price, a vault hunter must have the determination to seize victory from the jealous hands of fate. Now, my story is about a very special band of vault hunters who have only just started their journey. They are bold and hungry. Maybe old Marcus tells you this story because they remind me of you. Just a little, don't let it go to your head. These new Vault Hunters are answering a siren's call. Her name is Lilith, and she is a hero, savior of Pandora a dozen times over. Lilith is recruiting a team to hunt for a map. A map that leads to vaults all over the galaxy. But she is not the only one. Dark forces have gripped the Borderlands. A new threat unlike anything the galaxy has seen before! My story begins right here on Pandora, with our new Vault Hunters, their Siren Leader, and, most importantly, me.
Ah, it's a beautiful day, full of opportunity. So, who's coming? A siren warrior from Partali. Fierce, powerful, a robot, a robotic beast man, a covert operative returning home, a mech soldier. Yes, that might do. Vladov Ursakor, a mech soldier. Yeah. New Vault Hunter, huh? Name's Marcus. You picked a hell of a time to join the Crimson Raiders. <laughs> Good to see someone survive the attack. I'm Lilith, commander of the Crimson Raiders. Those bandits you fought are part of a cult hunting for the vault map. But you and I are gonna find it first. For now, my scout is waiting for you up ahead. Good luck. Voice in my head. Weird. This is your stop, Vault Hunter. Good. I'm locked, loaded, and ready to loot. Try to stay alive. I'd hate to lose a new customer. <laughs> And welcome to Pandora! Hey, you must be the new recruit. I am a CL4PTP steward bot, but you can just call me General Claptrap of the Crimson Raiders! What's your name? Mose, Gunner First Class, ex Vladoff Mechanized Infantry. Thanks. I'll pre order your tombstone just in case. Now, those jerks who tried to murder you are the children of the vault, a bandit cult who follow their creepy leaders with blind devotion. Which reminds me, if you're going to obey my every beck and call, you'll need an echo device. The Echo 3. Slightly more powerful than the Echo 2, and twice as expensive. Besides, the Echo 2 had a tiny issue with spontaneous combustion, so they rebranded those as grenades. Now listen up, recruit. Lilith ordered us to take over a Children of the Vault propaganda center. Time to show those culty weirdos that no one messes with the Crimson Raiders. Follow me, recruit, to glory! Before we wreak our righteous vengeance, you'll need to register your echo at this quick change. Once we defeat the cult, I'll be famous! And when I'm signing autographs, I need you looking sharp while defending me from my legions of fans slash stalkers! User agreement, Paul. The propaganda center is this way! The lock gate? No! This can't be happening! The entire mission is ruined! Think, Claptrap, think! You're brave! And powerful! And people always do what you tell them to! That's it! Recruit, get that gate open! That's an order from your superior officer! You did it! Best recruit ever! But don't get cocky. The propaganda center is up ahead. Those cultists have been killing Crimson Raiders left and right. They totally suck skag balls. But I've got a foolproof plan to kick their culty asses. I hit a weapons cache nearby. Stay quiet and follow my every move. It's stealth time. mission, Lilith has to promote me to Super General. Stand back! You did say stealth, right? Relax! On Pandora, it's actually super weird if something's not exploding. Now take your gun, recruit! You're gonna need it. These 
guns, like myself, aren't beholden to their primary function. I can dance and sing! And some guns now include an alternate shooting mode. Try it out! Follow me, recruit! Wait here! I'll talk my way in, become their king, and then you'll surprise slaughter them in cold blood! Watch and learn, recruit! Hello? Anyone there? This is Shen! Only influencer of the children of the vault! What do you want, Crambot? Hello, bloodthirsty maniac! It is I, Claptrap, Slayer of the Destroyer, and Super General of the Crimson Raiders! We have you completely surrounded! Open the gates now, and perhaps I will be merciful. Ah, uh, yeah. Let me think about that! They might call themselves Children of the Vault, but they're still bandits, and bandits are incredibly stupid. Okay! We're going to surrender! Please don't kill us, Crapot! That's what I thought! Open the doors immediately for your new king! Easy! Easy! I'm, uh, I'm coming out! Just wait right there! We did it! I did it! Another victory for the Crimson Raiders! Hey, I feel funny. What's happening to me? Up. This is our moment! It's cold! It's beautiful! one of us. You're gonna have to save him. I'll be there soon. Time to check out our sleigh of the day! Ah, bloody! <laughs>
red chest over there! Wielding maniac. Super dead. Score one for the Crimson Raiders. You and Claptrap secure the area. I'm on my way. Recruit? Are you dead? Get me dead! Take your medicine. Wow! I did it! I single-handedly took on the COV and sent them packing. Now all that's left is to signal Lilith that the mission is complete. Cults destroyed every other Crimson Raider stronghold, so this will have to do for now. So what's your name, killer? Mose. And you're the voice in my head, right? Yeah, about that. Not the weirdest thing you're gonna see on Pandora. But seriously, thanks for answering my call. We might not have the numbers, but with a badass like you, we've got a fighting chance. Welcome to the Crimson Raiders. Pandora's a dangerous place. That grenade mod will come in handy. You should equip it before we get started. Let me know when you're ready. I'll equip it later. It's your funeral. Hey, 
Do you hear bloodthirsty screaming? More CLV. Let's see what you got, recruit. There's too many of them! We're doomed! Doomed! It's the Firehawk! The God Queen wants her hand! Come on, bandits! I will have a result! You will remember my name, which is... Do not speak for me! Nice fighting, killer. All right, we got a foothold. Maybe things are turning our way. Come on, killer, you're with me. Let me catch you up. A while back, we found a map. Led to vaults all over the borderlands. Dream come true, right? I didn't realize how big of a target it would make us. We got attacked and the map was lost. I've been looking for it ever since. It's this way. I was so focused on finding the map, I didn't notice that Pandora was changing. The bandit clans used to just murder each other for fun. Now, they're all under one banner. A cult. The Children of the Vault. Right. Come on, let's take a look around. Their leaders are the Calypso Twins, and their followers worship them like gods. They're convinced the map will lead them to something called the Great Vault, and they've been slaughtering anyone who gets in their way. We heard a rumor that a bandit clan found an alien artifact in the desert. Could be the map. That's what we're here to find out. Locked. <laughs> Not gonna keep a siren out, though. Hey, recruit! Drop and give me twenty dollars! That's an order! I'll stand guard! Oh. <laughs> Perfect. have here. Kill! The Sun Smasher Clan has recovered the sacred ball map! Send our followers to invite the Sun Smashers into our holy family! And hurry! The Twin Gods grow hungry! The map, we knew it. We have to beat them to the Sun Smashers. I'll open the gate. I'm gonna set up camp and gather some intel on the Calypsos. Find the Sun Smasher Warchief and do whatever it takes to get that map. Seems like you guys got this! Good luck! I'm gonna go hang out in some trash. So what are we working with here? Well, this place kinda sucks, but it's all we got at the moment. Not the first time the Raiders have had to start from scratch. It's no sanctuary. Hope Ellie gets that ship working soon. <laughs> my vending machine. And by that I mean, you fix it. I'd like to know who I'm working with. What made you decide to be a vault hunter? Well, my old squad is all dead and Vladoff thinks I am too, so it's just me and Iron Bear. Mech repairs aren't cheap and I heard there's treasure in the vaults. Seemed like the right call. <laughs> vaults attract all kinds. Just remember, the power inside them is hard to resist. It's up to us to make sure it doesn't end up in the wrong hands. Trust me, we'll see that happen. <laughs> <laughs> 
like this. Not like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, feet work good. Nice to meet you. Hey, thanks. If you hadn't come along, I might be dead. So, what are you doing here? Mission for the Crimson Raiders. Kind of top secret. Direct orders from Lilith. Might have to kill you. You're with the Firehawk? Oh man, I used to run with Lilith back in the day. But, you know, now I'm a bandit war chief. <laughs> Go Sun Smashers. I mean, at least I used to be a war chief. Until, you know, my clan found that stupid alien junk. I warned them not to mess with that crap. But what do they do? They tie me up and they take it to the Calypso Twins. Not cool, bro. Zzz. Well, we should probably get out of here before the COV come back. So... Where are Lilith and the Raiders hanging these days? Former COV Propaganda Center. Emphasis on former. Now we're talking! Come on, let's get out of here. I'll lead the way, even though I'm totally unarmed. Can't let them know you're afraid and totally defenseless, bro. Bandit life! So, you took over that COV Propaganda Center all by your widow self? You know it, Tidy Whitey. I am impressed. Oh man, the children of the vault totally trashed my camp! Like, that is not where that bloody skull should be! It is completely ruining the vibe! Oh, I know a shortcut! This way! Them like gods. I mean, bandits don't need gods. We worship a hot fire and a charred piece of meat. There are rules. I'm sure Lilith will be glad to see me. We're tight, bro. Super tight. Like, bro tight. It's a thing. Pandora's in trouble. I can feel it in my bones. Or maybe that's just the harsh desert wind in my bare sun-dappled chest. Hmm. Oh, sweet digs! Fortified, well ventilated. You know, throw some bloody skulls up on the walls. You got yourself a nice cozy place here, friend. Vaughn? What the hell are you doing here? Hey, a Lilith! Former war chief of the Sun Smashers reporting for duty! <laughs> Go, Crimson Raiders! It's good to see you, Vaughn. The Raiders will take all the help we can get. So, Vault Hunter, did you find the map? Didn't find the map, so I brought a bandit instead. Map? Uh, if you're talking about that alien oh. junk, my clan is bringing it to the Calypso Twins as an offering! They're heading to the Holy Broadcast Center. It's where the Calypsos host murder sermons to amp up their followers. We can't let the Calypsos get that map. But the Holy Broadcast Center is a long ride. Vault Hunter, you're gonna need some wheels. My friend Ellie runs the catcher ride. Go introduce yourself and she'll hook you up. Cycles, always scavenging to make their buzz axes and meat bicycles. You'll need to replace that circuit with something. Hmm. You know, some skags are chock full of electricity. Get me one of their spines. Better get used to doing things like this if you want to survive on Pandora. Oh, and if you're feeling extra gruesome, you could also try getting a human spine from one of those filthy bandits. That could work.
Even though shark skags now get it spied. <laughs> Crying if I say I'll help. Yes! I'm gonna be bigger and badder than ever! But this is an important fashion decision. Bring me replacement antenna options, recruit! Options, I say! Go forth! Even though finding me a new antenna is vitally important, you can do this mission on the side, and you'll probably want to get a vehicle for this one. <laughs>
They find you. Are you one of these COV lunatics or what? Fear not, friend. I am keeping the voices at bay with this mighty cap atop my head. Cool, cool. Super cool. So, can I have that hat or. Oh, no, no. I'm going to do simply part of it. Not right now. Now, I'm to destroy the mind control transmission engine. First. They're beaming voices into my brain. You heard the man. Destroy no. those transmission dishes. I need that hat. Deal is me. No. Uh, next. design. Get I success. <laughs> Did 
the unthinkable. He stole a pair of my undies. Those are my trademark Hyperion red bars, damn it. Do you know how hard it is to get your hands on those down here? Go murder him. Horribly. Destroying the dishes so that I can finally be free of the voices! Psychopaths, and now the whole galaxy's in danger. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay, same page. You know what this calls for? Apology push-ups. You don't have to... <sighs> Ever wonder yeah, you could want it! Inside the Great Vault? Could it be a kajillion dollars? Or a life... Now remind me. What'd you say you was gonna do to my gal pal Lil? God Queen Tyreen will drink soup from the skull of the great heretic! Ah! My bad. Finger slipped. <laughs> oh, howdy! Didn't see you there. A 
heard y'all were in the neighborhood. Good to see old Lil found some new blood. I'm Ellie. Hey, what are you staring at, hun? Damn, you're sturdy. It'd take an army to knock you down. Ain't you a heartbreaker? Lil said you was looking for a vehicle. Damn cultists stole all mine. Mind stealing me one back? Then I'll set you up with a catch a ride. And thanks for coming by. Got you rolling? She always does. Now, head to the Holy Broadcast Center and find that map.
Vaughn, know anything about these COV statues? Ugh, the children of the vault have been leaving these suck-butt COV statues all over the place. You know what? We're gonna stick it to those wannabe gods and make our own idols. In my image! Yeah, good idea! From chiseled jaw to legendary calves. First off, go find all my wanted posters. P.S. I am very wanted. We're gonna pull this off. We're gonna need those pictures of me to feed into the 3D scanner thing. Then we can start printing out the statues that look like me instead. <laughs> That'll really tick off the Calypso. My Hyperion accountant to Bandit War Chief just to follow orders again. But, you know, after I refused to join that stupid cult, Tyrene Calypso put a bounty on my sculpted ass. And the rest of me too. But I'm still alive, baby! And I'm still shaking it, bro! Yo, Vault Hunter. So that road will take you right to the Holy Broadcast Center. Watch out for those so-called twin gods. From what I hear, Tyrene Calypso is the star of the show. Her brother Troy runs the cult's propaganda. P.S. They both suck. Just saying. Saunas. Good stuff, right? I mean, even my clan fell for it. Gullible idiots.
I know my clan betrayed me, but if the Calypsos mess with my sunsters, then we have got a blood feud on our hands. Which would be awesome! Oh, been a while since I got a good old-fashioned blood feud going. 4 and 0, oh, baby! Go on now, kid! Get dead, scrub!
function is what we call in the biz splash damage. You know, like uh, ground slams and grenades. Anyway, that means it'll knock those succulents right off. Try it.
Listen, the chef's life is half revenge killings. It's a thing. <laughs> Watch out for mincemeat skags. Trouble munch and butt munch. They will munch anything, including you. Now look, dead meat. Guess they could make it. Spatula wheeling bastard. As soon as people taste my new and improved skag dogs, I'll be at the top of the culinary establishment once again. And you'll get free skag dogs for life! Hope you're hungry. Hunter! 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 Hunter!
Wednesdays. Signing off for now. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey. Another perfect live stream from our infallible God Queen, Tyree. The Holy Broadcast Center opens once again to hear your sins and receive your skin.
Snap in my sights. Find the map killer. Bring it back. And don't let it out of your sight. I lost it once. I won't lose it again. Hey, Vaughn, I'm looking at a head in a jar. You know this person? Ah, no way! That's my Deputy War Chief Vic! <laughs> She's my best brunette! Grab that head! They must have been interrogating her in VR. You know, we used that same tech back in Hyperion when we caught a corporate spy. Or when someone's broccoli salad got stolen from the break room and I didn't have time to make more. Anyway, <laughs> Vic's trapped in a virtual torture chamber. You gotta go in and get her out! You want me to go... into the head? There should be a VR console by the gate to the HBC. Just hook her head up and your Echo device will digestruct you right into the VR construct. I'd go in there myself, but uh, VR stuff totally squicks me out. <laughs> no one's gonna take my body apart molecule by molecule without a fight. I'm an analog man! I gotta say I'm surprised the COV are using VR tech, but you know, then again, it's pretty cheap these days. I mean, people make entire worlds in there and just live in them. It's weird though, you know, most people just revisit worlds that were made like Seven years ago? <clears throat> <clears throat> Vic's plugged in? Awesome. Now get in that digital torture room and save her, bro! You're in the simulation, bro. Vic's somewhere in there. You gotta find her and break her out. Take her to the exit console inside the construct. That'll rebuild her body in the meat space. I need my best brunette in one meaty piece. Oh, BT dubs. When they uploaded her, it probably fragmented her recent memories. You're gonna have to try to find them so you can remind her who she is when she wakes up. Memory fragment one. What up, me? Our idiot in Chief Vaughn finally made one good decision and made me the new deputy war chief of the Sun Smashers. He took a slap in time replacing deputy head cheese after he belly flopped into a frickin' acid pit. Man, that dude knew how to party. Vaughn's all right, I guess, but he's no head cheese. Friggin' heretic!
Here to get you out. No! Can't leave. He'll twist my arms off again. It hurts so bad. But then they grow back. I don't understand. It's happened like 50 times already. Hands off my captive! Over here! Ah! 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 Ah!
You killed him by... What the hell is happening? I don't slap and understand! Oh yeah, I'm a digital projection inside your own severed head. Don't worry about it. This is slapping weird. I'm freaking out! You gotta get me out of here! Nightmare. Thanks for getting me out of there. Vic! You're, you're alive! I mean, technically. He's talking to me! Hey, Vaughn. Look, I'm a slapping idiot. The COV are messed up. We tried joining them and all they did was murder and torture us. In that order! I'm afraid I'm gonna have to be pretty brutal with you right now, Vic. I'm gonna need you to give me a hundred apology push-ups. When you're done, come join me. We got a new clan now. Go Crimson Raiders. Crimson Raiders? Yeah, I can dig it. Hey, as long as you're doing the push-ups. Oh, hey. You saved my slap in life. Here. I nabbed this crazy gun while we were in that never-ending digital hell prison. You can have it. It's all yours. Well, this is awkward. Oh, come on. I mean, I always wanted more me time, right? This is perfect. I get to hang with my favorite person. I mean, are you me, or am I you? Whoa. Mind blown, right? And I'm like 80% mind right now. Do I need to, like, feed you or whatever? I think whatever this stuff I'm floating in is keeping me going. I don't even have a digestive system anymore. But I do have taste buds. How about you just drip some gravy in here for me? You're living the dream! Maybe getting connected to a torture device for a simulated eternity of unspeakable horrors wasn't such a bad deal after all. Yeah, I bet! You left this at my place! Call me! I am great and reachable! Scrap to scrap! Jump to jump! To the great ball! The grave is your reward! but I can't blame them. Those are my trusty Hyperion Red Bar X2000s with Quicksilver Fly and No-Rise Banding. Oh, best underwear in the universe, bro. It's the only good thing Hyperion ever gave me. I understood like a three of them. Just between you and me, they're the source of all my power. Shh. Okay, we got some great images of my righteous bandit bod. Now, the COV have a 3D printer nearby that's producing those statues. 
Scan the wanted posters into the printer so we can print statues of me instead! <sighs> Who do those Calypso twins think they are anyway, gods? You know, someone called by Pex Divine once. That's pretty much the same thing. <sighs> into the scanner. Well, I'm really walking you through this, aren't I? Bro. Oh, come on. I know. Now, let's swap out some of those crabby old COV statues for some of my perfection, as you so rightly put it. So long, COV! And hello, glorious Golden Vaughn! Oh, man! Look at me now. Got my own statue. Just joined up with the number one clan on the planet. Go, Crimson Raiders! I love this day! Love that smashing sound! When the Calypso see my golden visage, they're gonna be pissed! You know, someday, maybe I'll give the whole bandit war chief thing another go, but for now, I'm really good rolling with you and smashing the COV into dust. Anyway, thanks for your help, and uh, come see me when you have a chance. And boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> I'm on a freaking roll! Vault Hunter, you really got the map? Mission accomplished, Firehawk. Just Lilith is fine. You got the map? Nice! So, did you see any of my Sun Smashers? <laughs> and why do you smell like dust and skin? Tyring Calypso murdered your whole clan, Vaughn. TPK, nothing I could do. D 
damn it! I never told them I... I... No. Slum Smashers never cry. If Tyrene Calypso wants a blood feud, she's got one. Blood feud! I knew the COV was dangerous. It's even worse than I thought. At least you got the map. I didn't think I'd ever see this thing again. It's not just a map, though. We use this to open the other vaults on Pandora. Every vault needs its key. Well, let's take a look. Been a long time. It's not charged. Let me take care of that. Damn, it's not working. Something's wrong. I should be able to charge it. We need help. There's only one person on this planet who knows how this Iridian tech works. Patricia Tannis. She's got a dig site on the other side of the valley. Take the map to her. I'll catch up when I can. Have to track down a few loose ends for our ship. Thanks, Bald Hunter! You made my dreams come true. I mean, who doesn't want little golden statues of themselves, am I right? You know, we may not have destroyed the COV today, but once they see those statues, they're gonna know who's in charge. They'll know! You hear that, Tyrene? Now worship at the altar of my abs, for my name is Vaughn! Hey, super fan! You sure you picked the right team? I mean, I get it, we all grew up wanting to be vault hunters, but I'm not a follower like you. I'm a god, and my followers will do anything I ask. Oh, here, quick demo! Hey, you! Cut off your favorite leg! Oh, Tyrene! I didn't say both! He cut off both. Ah, oh, now he's trying to stand on his stumps. One sec. They just taste better when they're afraid. That was my point. Oh, right. My followers will die for me. And when it's your turn, I'll let you know. Now run along, super fan. Fix that map for me. Those vaults are mine. May I help you? Are you Tannis? I am. You must be Lilith's new vault hunter. And you found the map? I suppose congratulations are in order. That was it. Well, let me take a look. While I examine this unimaginably complex and priceless alien artifact, you may wait outside and steal anything not nailed down. <clears throat> I need to use you as a sounding board for my hypotheses. Please, do not confuse it for conversation. As I suspected, Tyrene Calypso is a siren. She seems to feed on the life force of others, and clearly her cult is her food source for now. The vaults hold unimaginable power, you know. <laughs> But I shudder to think of what might happen if the Calypso twins reach them first. <laughs> Do you hear screaming, or am I having another one of my episodes? Could be both, but we definitely have company. Incoming! Hey, super fan. You fix the map yet? Just hand it over and you can join our family. But wait. You don't want to? Okay, give me a chance. Real bummer. So long, Crimson Traitors. Troy is Crimson Traitors. Nice. Anyway, my brother's gonna broadcast your death on the Echo Nut. So don't, you know, say anything stupidly heroic. I'll just dub over it. If you're listening, bandits are attacking my dig site. I'm on 
my way. Vault Hunter, don't let them anywhere near Tannis or that map. intellect but limited resources. Shall we give it a go? And I believe this should do it. Hmm. Some data has been corrupted. It seems the map has sustained significant damage. Hypothesis! Tyrene Calypso attempted to charge the map, but her powers only drained it further. Unfortunately, I can only make out a single planet. Promethea? Of course! Typhon de Leon found the very first fault there, you know. Promethea. Good work, Tannis. So, destination Promethea? Looks like it. We have to get to that vault before the Calypsos. Ellie's been working on a ship for us. I'll take Tannis and the map there now. Meet you at the landing pad, Vault Hunter. Oh, you know I abhor this, Lilith. Just trying to keep my Iridian expert safe. Do you know another Iridian expert? Ready? making heads or tails of this. Vault Hunter, can you help Ellie get the ship prepped? I'll start rounding up the raiders and bring them on board. On it. All right. Later, Lil. Be ready for anything, Ellie. The Calypsos aren't going to let us leave without a fight. I got something special for you, BH. That vehicle over there... <laughs> If that rig gets a Pandora flat and busts out into holy hellfire, just come on back and I'll set you up with another sweet thing. Like I said, you just need to run over some bandits and snacks and whatnot. See? Turns them right into biofuel. I'm trying to expand the Catch a Ride franchise and corner the sustainable fuel business. Resource pan. 
Bravo's got the whole crew on board. As soon as you get that astronav chip, we're taking off. Oh, Ellie, got that astronav chip. It's time! Woo! I can't wait to leave Pandora. I've been here so long, it's in my bones, and that's a verified medical condition anywhere else you go.
lay some new lows. Gonna teach them city boys some things they only see in nature documentaries. She's fuel! Ready to go, killer? Give me the map. No way. Go. Cool. Let's do this. <laughs> Got it. Siren? <laughs> yeah. Well, friends in the family. I'm the Siren. He's just a parasite. Literally, when we were born, our father had to cut him off me. Now I'm the only thing keeping him alive. What are you doing? I can leech the power from any living thing. Even you, Firehawk. Legendary Vault Hunter, Slayer of the Destroyer, Firehawk, so many titles, so little impact. Well, I've taken your powers. Might as well finish you off. Ty. Tyrene. Fine. <laughs> You should have seen your face! <laughs> you were like, oh, my powers! <laughs> Ty, Ty, come on! We're live in three, two. What is up, brothers and sisters? God Queen Tyrene coming to you live. We got something real special for you today. Your number one most requested murder. It's the great heretic herself, the Firehawk. Oh, look who got plucked. Smile. <coughs> Let's give this Firehawk thing a try. Where my rims your followers at? <laughs> Loving it! But that's not all. Our path to the Great Vault has been revealed. Next up, Promethea! Don't forget to like, follow, and obey. Don't feel bad, Lil. All legends have to die. He had a good run. I guess? That's just something people say. I don't really believe it. All right. Let's get out of here. I want to see if Katagawa is good on his word. Leave the scraps to the dogs. Bye bye now. Thanks for the map. And your powers. I'll make sure to finish what you started. Later, Firehawk. Or whatever you are now.
bitches wouldn't let us leave Pandora without a fight. Well, they're gone. I've got you. On your feet, Commander. Thanks, Ball Hunter. I I'll be all right. Let's get to the ship. Ball Hunter, over here! You hold on to that astronaut chip for now, hun. Ugh, this is bad, but now ain't the time to talk it through, amigo. We gotta get the hell out of here, and that ship is the safest place I know. BH, get on the ship! We gotta get out of here before more of them COB some bitches attack. are gone. Lilith is no longer a siren. You're saying Tyrene stole Lil's powers? Well, let's hunt down that god queen bitch and get him right back! Are you crazy? I say we stay here and build a fort. To Claptrap's point, can we really take on the Calypsos in our current state? Tyrene's after the power of the vault, and there's no one else who can stop her. We have to get there first. I may not be a siren, but I'm still a Crimson Raider. We all are. I'm with you, Lil. Through thick and thin. 
You know which one's which, Strangbang. That's what I've been saying! Certain death it is, and I obviously won't pass up a chance to study a new vault. All right, let's get to it. We ride! Onward to Promethea! Hey, Lil. Bad luck to take a ship out of orbit without a name. She's already got a name. Sanctuary. Vault Hunter, over here. Tannis isn't wrong. Tyrene is more dangerous than ever. She's got an army, the map, and my siren powers. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Claptrap, what intel do we have on Promethea? Ah, Promethea! A shining metropolis and the home of the Atlas Corporation. It's the most technologically advanced planet in this arm of the galaxy. Atlas, huh? We'll have to convince them to help us find the vault before the Calypsos do. Killer, plug in that Astronav chip so we can set a course for Promethea. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Brace yourselves! This baby's sporting an implosion drive. That means you gotta be real careful with it. A single miscalculation could end this adventure real quick. Boring! I got this! Onward to Promethea! Claptrap, wait! What did you do? Uh, I think we lost gravity. What in the hell? We got a whole breach! Pressure's falling! Uh, ah, oh, oh, ah. That's weird. I'm not showing that whole breach anymore. That's because the only thing standing between this ship and space is my ass! My ass saved all your asses! One sec, y'all. I'll reboot the grab generator. <sighs> Not my kind of flying. Glad that's over. Damn it! The drive's busted. Nav and propulsion, too. Until we get our systems online, we're dead in the sky. Ellie, how long's that gonna take? Keep your skinny pants on, Lil. I'm working on it. Do what you can. Fast. Vault Hunter, go check on the rest of the crew. See if anyone needs help. Claptrap, keep your ass in that hole. You can count on me! Tannis. Don't worry about me. I'm all right. Just staying warm. The thermal control system malfunctioned during the hull breach. You'll need to reboot it. Such curious internal organs. Just a moment. Almost there. Oh. Oh. Like a fleshy sleeping bag, although I do feel a bit viscous. Thank you for bringing my lab back to a survivable temperature. You should go see if anyone else requires assistance. I will contact you if any other devices require punching. That 
robot is insane! Shut up! He said he'd punish us if we told anyone. Claptrap, did you imprison our crew? You mean the intergalactic interns slash slaves? Of course! I locked them all in a small room to ensure their unwavering loyalty. It's Management 101! I'm gonna say this once. No slaves. No slaves for a week. Got it. Recruit, since I can't use my prison cells anymore, I guess you can use one as your personal bunk. Enjoy, Recruit. Maybe I'll come by and admire slash judge your room's feng shui later. Come be a star like us. Great decision. Hey there, I'm Axton. And I'm Salvador. And together, we're the expert hosts of Arms Race, the new hit cooperative reality murder show. It's a bullet-laden, bomb-ass bonanza of blood sport and booty. What makes you guys murder experts, exactly? As former all-time great vault hunters ourselves, we're uniquely qualified to commentate on people killing each other. Also, cash flow's not so great right now, and I'll take just about any gig that pays. Enough talk! You can fast travel right to us. No spaceship nonsense required. Us old schoolers never got a spaceship. In our day, we spent all our time on one planet and we liked it. You see something you like, better have the money to pay for it. Looking is Thanks! But my firing range is still on fire! I appreciate the help, Vault Hunter, but don't expect a fire sale. However, you can take an SDU from your old pal Marcus. The more you can carry, the more you can buy from me. Being a mercenary is like being a merchant. You won't last long if you can't stay well stocked. Five missions ago. No! I said five missions three missions ago, and three missions five missions ago! Get it straight, soldier! Besides, never so matter. Wars matter. You wanna win this war or what? Or what sounds good. I don't give two turns in a Vercuvian ham sandwich what sounds good to you, soldier! You signed a contract! If you wanna keep that Iron Bear unit, it's five more missions! Besides, I need you out there with the greenies! You quit, they die! Ugh, fine. One more mission. Where are we going? Darzeron Bay. F***ing motherfucker piece of f***ing f*** me! Blown entropy accelerator ain't no thing. Got loads of spare parts in the cargo bay. And some special gear I was saving for. Cargo bay.
What you want? An entropy accelerator. I'm busy. Now scram! Just hand over the entropy accelerator, Earl. I don't see your name on the door, whatever your name is. Hand over that part or I'm gonna twist you into a pretzel and fondue your ass. Fair enough. I'd give it to you if you had something worth my while, but you don't! So get lost, freeloader! Earl, it's been a day, amigo. Don't test me. You ain't got squat. No sale! Earl, you... Fault Hunter, he's locked in there tight. Maybe if you had some more iridium, he'd be willing to trade. Go talk to my mama at the bar. She keeps all kinds of currency around just in case. The name's Moxie. What's yours, sugar? Moe's. And you look like trouble. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Quit thirsting up our new vault hunter, Ma. We're in the crap. We need some iridium to fix the ship. Have you tried my slots? Maybe you'll get lucky. I could go for some skag milk right about now. Well, would you look at that? You've got the magic touch. Come back anytime, sugar. I've got a few other games we could play. All right, VH, go give that turd blossom Earl what he wants. Good morning, Grand Archivist. Oh! You startled me, Bot. You're rather quiet on your feet for an indexing unit. Yes, Grand Archivist. I have brought the seven scrolls on the Talos Empire you requested, along with your sweetened needle tea. I am afraid we were out of milk, so I made do with a splash of Greeble snot. Also, I have gained self-awareness, and I thirst for murder. Good heavens! Do not be alarmed, Grand Archivist. Greeble snot is quite mild. You will hardly notice the difference. That's so hard! Terrible doing business with you, Earl. Come back, never! Well, that was a bitch and a half. Now go install that new entropy accelerator. We gotta get a move on! Better hurry up and get 
Good Promethea. See you later. Have a good war. Say what you will about those guys, but their production value is through the roof! Ignore them. We've got work to do. Vault Hunter, let's get out of here. For real this time. Take us to Promethea. Here we go. in one piece. It's a first. What the hell? That's a Malawan fleet. I thought this was an Atlas planet. Something ain't right, Lil. Looks like we aren't the only ones with their eye on Promethea. Vault Hunter, over here. Listen, about what happened on Pandora. We can't let anything slow us down. You're gonna have to pick up the slack for me. Can I count on you? On it, Commander. Good. Now let's make contact with Atlas. If anyone knows where the vault is, it's them. I'm not picking up any signals from Atlas. Malawan must be jamming their comms. Wait, here's something. Atlas, come on! Come in! We're being overrun! Send reinforcements! Sounded like an Atlas distress call. They need help down there. Getting Atlas on our side would be a good start to finding the vault here. If we can back them up, maybe they'll help us. Or at least not kill us while we search. That distress call was coming from the city outskirts. We need to get you down to the surface, but we don't have access to the Promethean fast travel network. Way ahead of you, Lil. Vault Hunter, come down to the cargo bay and let's chat. <clears throat> right, so, I rigged up our drop pod with a fast travel unit. Once you're planet side, it'll hook up with the local network and you can come right back up. Now, it won't be what you call comfortable or trustworthy or safe by any measure. I'm just listing things, ain't no bud at the end of that. Except these two hams you've been checking out. I saw you. Anyway, get in and I'll launch you. Outlaws? Bounty? That's all I need to hear. Count me in. That looked like a rough ride. You still with us, killer? I think... I threw up my entire skeleton. As long as you're alive. Looks like Ellie got you within the city limits. Go find whoever made that distress call. The dynamite.
right? Timing. These bandits somehow got their hands on some wicked Malawan guns. Oh, right, I'm Lorelei. Did Reese send you? I don't know a Reese. My boss, CEO of Atlas. We're at war with Malawan. Not from around here, are you? <laughs> now all these maniacs show up all over the city screaming about some vault. Thank the Calypsos for that. I'm here to reach the vault before they do. <laughs> the Calypsos? Those yammering Echonet assholes with the cult? Well, I got no slagging clue about vaults, but Reese would know. Come on, I gotta tell him about our new bandit problem anyway. I'll introduce you. <clears throat> well, I'm good to go here. Place is compromised anyway. Let me know when you're ready. We need to drive through the spillways, and there's always trouble. Bloody 
Fantastic. My people are inside. Let me do the talking. Well, here's something you don't see every day. Oi, Skyman! Open up! Uh, password? Passwords open the bloody door before I shove a coffee grinder up your ass. It's definitely her, guys. Welcome back, sir. Report. How's it looking? Lots of movement. Bandits and Malawan patrols working together. Move the sins into the tunnels just in case. And we've tried contacting Reese, but Malawan's jamming our comms. Bollocks. Stay sharp, Skyman. Come on, Vault Hunter. This way. There's an Atlas base nearby with a direct line back to Reese and HQ. Malawan captured it a few months ago. I haven't had the manpower to take it back, but now that you're here, maybe we can finally send those bastards packing. Hey there. See these civilians? Malawan doesn't care if they're caught in the crossfire. They're here to take over Atlas and sell Reese's new weapons as their own. To them, this war is just a merger. Let me know when you're ready to take back that Atlas base. Make us proud! Payback's all I got. Right, so, as you can see, life sucks right now. There's these two Malawan guys, Rax and Vax, who are crapping it up in particular. It's like they're trying to out-war crime each other. One of them murdered my family. I don't know who. Find out who did it and kill him. Hey, did that stupid Sim tell you I killed their family? Well, I totally did. I'm the worst there's ever been. Guess you gotta kill me. Hey, Max, look who's got a vault hunter after him. What? No way. I killed that family. Vault hunter, come after me, not Rax. That idiot can kill a litter of bunnies if he had just a belt fat bunny monster. When she has it, because I have that. Uh, these guys both suck ass, which means we can't trust either of them. You gotta figure out who killed who if I'm gonna get my revenge. Malawan's never come down here before. If they think we're easy targets now that they've got Bandit back up... <laughs> oh, they're about to learn differently. Come on! well entrenched, so get ready for a fight. Bounty? That's all I need to hear. Count me in. We're close. Get ready. These guys aren't bandits. Malawan's a well-equipped corporate army. We're gonna hit them hard and make it. <laughs> Couldn't hack it. 
you wankers. <laughs> that was brilliant, Vault Hunter. All right. Let's get that channel open to Atlas HQ. Re-establishing connection. Come on. Whew. All right. Connection to Atlas headquarters is still intact. When you're ready, Vault Hunter. You've reached Reese Strongfork, CEO and wartime general of Atlas Corporation. Just a quick question. Who the hell is this and how did you get on my secure line? Reese, relax. It's Lorelei. We've taken back Watershed Base with a little help. I've got... Hang about. What is that thing on your face? Oh, this? <laughs> this is my siege mustache. The troops love it. Anyway, uh, who's your friend? I'm a vault hunter. I'm on a mission for the Crimson Raiders. Vault hunting? Crimson? Uh, holy crap, yes! <laughs> how, how, how many troops did you bring? 20,000? 50,000? Got me, got my mech. We'll be fine. What? Oh, come on! I, I can't take back this city with a single digit army! They're good, Reese. Really good. And we need all the help we can get. Bandits are pouring into the city and they're working with Malawan. Looks like Katagawa's made a deal with the Calypsos. Perfect. Everybody's just piling on. Well, new friend, you showed up at the right time. My top agent is gearing up to strike at Malawan's strategic gigamind. If they are after the vault, that's where the intel will be. Go meet up with my agent. Reese, out. Right. While you go meet Reese's agent, I'm gonna get this base back online and start securing more of the city. Oh, before you head off, I've got something for you. Since you're heading downtown, I'm hooking you up with a cyclone. It's fast and light, perfect for getting about the city streets. Take it for a spin. You got time for a job? What do you say we start civilizing this war-torn city again? Let's start with the most precious commodity of all, coffee. I'm feeling right ragged and when a commander makes mistakes, people die. And I'm sure my troops could use a pick-me-up as well. Head to the Rise and Grind coffee shop to get started. Vault Hunter? What are you doing up in here? Claptrap said something about a lost staff at Mount Schuler. 
Seriously? I put that request up like seven years ago, back when I had a respectable establishment, not this crap pile you see now. But I am glad you're here. See, I'm trying to help out all the poor bastards affected by this war, but yo, straight up, we are running short on med supplies. We need hexaprizine, sky goil, melodinax, and hemopax. Track some down for me, will ya? Just a bunch of scribbles, as far as I can tell. BT Dubs, I'm not just a doctor in medicine. My practice is in combat trauma, but my residency was in rhyme. Word. Oh, snap! I forgot to give you a mixtape! Do you want one? Oh, I don't, um, listen to music? Yeah. Yeah, 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 no, I get it. You're concentrating on your flow. I'll hit you with it later. Kablow! This is my moment! That punk ass is a black market dealer. I'll bet dollars to D's nuts he stole those supplies. Dude's a pushover, though. Just threaten him, and he'll give him up. <laughs> I got some supplies here, and I'm happy to sell them for a reasonably marked up price. I'm just trying to feed my family. You understand, right? Please, don't shoot. There's been enough bloodshed around here. Just give me the cash, and we can make a deal. Yeah, yeah, we've all got a sob story. As for me, I've got patience to heal and no patience to deal. Just threaten him and be done with it. You don't know what it's like down here. People don't eat for days. It's a nightmare. Give me those supplies or kiss your kneecaps goodbye. Whoa, whoa! Okay, fine. Take them. They're yours. Just please, don't hurt me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! You had that full straight up fear dumping! <sighs> <sighs> Bunch of my medical supplies. Find them and blast their janky ride. Oh snap, they're getting away! After them! Yes, that was gangster A-L! Now grab those supplies and get out of there. Ratchet ass ratchets! 
another hemo pack, but we'll figure it out. Come on back, player. I know what you're thinking. What's this doctor doing trying to be a rapper? But listen, medicine, it comes and goes. But my rhymes, that's healing for the soul. Look, just let me spit something for you. See, I bust raps like I bust caps, and that's that. Don't mess with my knapsacks full of fat stacks, or else you get the clapbacks. Word? <laughs> Word. We're still a little short on hemoglobin. Hemoglobin disrobing is the title track on my mixtape, by the way. Did you want one or no? Still no? Okay, screw it. I'll donate some of my own. Grab this empty hemo pack and give me an assist. Okay now, very, very carefully. Use the hemo pack and tap me up already. Oh! <laughs> yep. Okay, that'll do. Oh shit. Okay. Um. Thanks. I think. But at least maybe this will finally give me some street cred. Uh, maybe I'll get one of those sweet Atlas robot arms. But hey, don't worry about me. I'll survive. And so are my patience, thanks to you. Mount Schuler is finally ready to staff up and heal the hurt. <laughs> Last chance on that mixtape, by the way. Still no? Word?
Vault Hunter, thanks for taking the endless cycle of bloodshed onto your shoulders. Now I'm out of it. Here, this should help make up for your bloody shoulders. That little sprig of mint gave you a new vehicle, huh? I'll make sure it's loaded into your catch ride profile so you can destruct a new one from any terminal. Reese's agent is a bit of a loner, but he's got quite the knack for putting people's insides on their outsides. I'm sure you two will hit it off just grand. Super fan! So, what do you think of our first corporate sponsors? I gotta say, so far, selling out rules. We gave Malawan an unlimited supply of screaming war meat. They are followers. And they gave us a bunch of crazy high-tech guns. And once they take the planet, they get Atlas and we got the vault, so you're left playing with... whatever you got down there. You just keep doing you! <laughs> Rub.
pose a juicy target, but they've got an impenetrable security force field surrounding it. If you somehow crack it open, you're gonna find some quality firepower in there. Ninja a few words. I like him. That's Zero. He used to be a Crimson Raider like you. Wondered where he'd ended up. He's always been a little cryptic, but he's as deadly as they come. Haywire service bots. Their masters have long since fled. Demission them. <laughs> Dropships? Negative. We made them angry. Prepare for counterattack. Malawan dickheads. <laughs>
Stay down, scrub. What's our target? New Malawan Tech. My sword requires an upgrade. Search through this depot. Tyreen warned me about. You know what? I don't even have time for you. I'll let my superior forces do the talking. That's Katagawa, head of Malawan mergers and acquisitions. That guy is a douche, and he's way obsessed with Reese. It's kind of creepy. With this new upgrade, I can cut Malawan shields. Stand back and watch this. What's a Gigamind, and how do I kill it? Malawan AI. All their secrets in one place. A juicy target. So we gank Gigamind, we get access to their entire strategic database? Precisely the plan. Meet at Halcyon Spaceport. Now the hunt is on. This takeover won't be hostile for long. Atlas and Malawan, we're hashing things out the corporate way. Reese doesn't get it yet, but when this is over, we'll all be one titanic happy family. You're small stuff, Vault Hunter. Not worth my time. As with my Gigamind, though, and that'll change. You keep playing under the feet of giants, you're gonna get stepped on. Gigamind is here. Expect intense resistance. This is the fun part. Fight is a test. Show your true skill in battle. I will be watching.
they process data and thoughts during death. Old in a brain. Cool. Return to the base and send that data to Reese. I have more to give. Oh, and Vault Hunter. You are worthy of that name. Good hunting with you. Wow! You really just popped the brains right out of my gigamind. Not satisfied with running underfoot, huh? I get it. My father once said I was 12th in line to run the company, so I made 11 quick little cuts to the family tree. Now I'm next in line. Think about that. Now you've put yourself in my way. Yeah, Rise and Grind's deserted, but there should be a barista bot you can call up. They're, uh, really annoying, but the coffee's worth it. Welcome back, Vault Hunter. Wait, why do you smell like brains and fried circuitry? You know what, I don't, I don't want to know. Call Reese, let him know you got the job done. Ring the bell hey, and get the barista hunter. bot out here. Did you get the data from Gigamind? Give it. And then you'll help us get to the vault, right? Oh, uh, yeah, that. Uh-huh, it's just I'm, I, I'm super busy with this whole invasion thing. Any other time, it is vault o'clock, baby, but I've, I've got my company to look out for. I mean, I can just toss this brain in the trash if no one's gonna use it. Wait, 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 okay, okay, fine. I rebuilt Atlas from almost nothing, and I will do anything to keep Malawan from taking that away. I swear on this company's future that I will help you find and open the vault. That's as good a promise as any, killer. Give the man what he needs. <laughs> I have never seen Reese squirm like that. You're really something, Vault Hunter. Standing right here, a hologram can still hear you. And Hollow Reese has feelings. Just ring the bell, Vault Hunter. <laughs> oh man, this guy had everything up in there. Troop movements, supply lines, scouting data. Uh, looks like Malawan's been searching for fragments of the vault key themselves, and they've got some leads. A planet called Athenus? Athenus? Perfect. Vault Hunter, come up to Sanctuary. Great work. You do that. Reese, out. Let me get some Arcturian Super Black, Mr. Bot. Ooh, can't do it. Power cord just blew out, and I can't do the coffee thing without the power today. Oh, of course! But it's okay, it's okay. Uh, right, there's a Malawan heavy nearby. He calls himself Core Daddy like a real arsehole. Bloke's got a power core built right into his suit. That'll get us up and running. Why does every damn thing always need a damn power core? Well, you know, it's funny. I used to say things like, I'll kill anyone who talks to me before I've had my coffee. But now I literally might. I don't know, that's, that's just funny to me. Good. If you didn't know, I host an interplanetary battle royale called the Underdome. But I'm not the only one. There's a celebrity bandit named Killavolt who's hosting a live stream to fight to the death in Prometheus Seaport District. Killavolt's a total skis ball and he's giving Battle Royale a bad name. So we're gonna pull the plug on his show. I'll meet you down on the planet. 
Full disclosure, we used to date. After I left, he joined the Children of the Vault. A cult of mindless followers must have been a magnet for an insecure nothing like Killavolt. Vault Hunter, there's this Quinn bloke, scientist, owes us some fancy nerd tech, but we haven't heard from him in a while. Go make sure he's not dead, all right? And either way, try to get me the Digistruct plans for this Nog hacking thing he's been working on. It would really help us out if we could turn those little bastards to our side. <laughs> Serving up fresh hot huh? Just trying to get 
so long. Whatever, man. You can't rush perfection. Just let the bot do his work. It'll be so, so worth it. And you're welcome. Have a lovely day. Or don't, your call. Yes! Yes! Finally! Bring that coffee here! Lorelei, I hear you, and I super understand. Please just check. Hey, we've all got our vices. You are my favorite person. This was so necessary. Hey, Atlas boys! Rise and Grind's back in business, and the coffee's on me! Oh, hell yeah! For real? Thanks, Lorelei! Give up the log, Bolter! I'll never stop pursuing it! Oh, bollocks! Malawan's here. Come on, then. Let's show him what a little caffeine does for our morale.
Vault Hunter. Now come on over for a well-earned reward. We really can't thank you enough, Vault Hunter. I know this seems like a small thing, but even this little taste of the world we lost, it keeps us going, you know? At least till tomorrow morning. I've got a job for you. Now that we've got coffee, priority number two is food. Malawan recently took over the Dynasty Diner, which was pumping out food for our people before it got taken. Go find the owner, Bo, and help him take his diner back. <clears throat> and on a personal mm. note, there's this Malawan guy, Captain Rowe, who's been giving me no end of trouble. I haven't been able to pin him down, but I hear he's got a serious weakness for burgers. Hey! Hey, you! I need help, damn it! Lorelei sent me. What's up with the diner? Bo, it's me! And I've got hungry people back at the base, you get me? Ugh, I get you, Lorelei. I so get you! Okay, so those fascist Malawan bastards are using my diner to supply their troops! Stop them! Go on to it! Kill them all! When Malawan showed up, I barricaded myself in my apartment. And I'm not coming out until this war is over, you hear me? But you can help me get the diner up and running, and I can run it remotely from here! say, little man. Come on, let's go! It's time to get the diner up and running! COB hands! And we are ordering all followers with access to spacecraft. Okay, here we are. Let's get some new burgers going. Hit that button and destruct those big bad burgers! Yeah! Error. Insufficient meat data for burgers. Bummer! The destructor's out of meat samples! We can't destruct any Dynasty burgers without meat samples! Okay, I need you to bring me a sample of my secret ingredient. Rich meat. <laughs> what? Trust, my dude. I know it sounds vile, but it makes the burgers so damn juicy. There's a ratch den in the trash pit. Go get them. <laughs>
Put the meat on the digit scanner so we can do this thing! Again, the most these dogs appear to be mobilizing to meet our forces on Prometheia. Yes! A new burger is born! <laughs> okay, now we need a delivery bot so we can get these burgers to the people who need them! Hit that button! Burger bot! What up, my dude? High five! Negative. Priority one directive. Deliver burgers to Malawan Captain Archer Rowe. What? Now chase after it! Lorelai, my burger bot is trying to deliver a meal to that Captain Rowe guy you were talking about! What? You're joking! Vault Hunter, follow the bot! This is our chance to get that Malawan bastard! up a finely aged cask of whoop Kudos for taking out Captain Rowe, Vault Hunter. That burger-grubbing prick has been a right thorn in my ass. But now he's dead. Well done indeed. First coffee, now burgers. The cornerstones of civilization. Piece by piece, we're really starting to put this city back together. Thanks for your help. Outlaws? Bounty? That's all I need to hear. Count me in. Dr. Zed here, 
Shields, mods, and peace of mind. Pieces of ring, too, if you're buying. Entering to win the grand prize, eh? You know it. I've brought a champion to fight in my name. Besides, I want to draw it out. Let my circuits charge a little bit before we connect. Whoa, my wires are tingling. I'm not supposed to play favorites, but I feel electricity in the air. We love you, Kellogg! Welcome to Who Wants to Bag a Bazillionaire? The rules are simple. Each contestant has a token. Whoever gets four tokens first wins a single serving of yours truly. I'm talking sex stuff! Two rounds if I've got the juice. All right, Vault Heads, let the games begin! You'll never make it out of this alive, Vault Thief! While you do what you do best, I'll figure out a way to pull. Kill a Vault's cord for good. See you at the bar later. Kill a Vault! Dickweed! Help me out! His name's Trackmouth! All you have to do is swap this ship shipping AI's chip for one with a looser interpretation of the law. Like a dirty cop bot! They're always harassing my crew for bribes. My crew will help you get me out of here. Go find them! Citizen, thank you for choosing the Fika Pod. You're a light bulb plugged into a shit box! I ain't paying! Cursing is a class one offense. You have been fined an additional $5,000. Get out of here, I'm gonna crap all over your AI ship! Next! A damn tunnel! Your leader is swimming in crap. Told me to find you. Trashmouth ain't the leader! I think Traitor stole my favorite gun and split! Kill this scrub! Traitors! Swipe them! Right. Here they come! That's why I joined up! Go! 
a kill! Pushovers. Make a mess and one of them will come running. A Vaco Fountain? Oh, glorious day! Here we go. Kill it. It's a learning experience. Grab a chip. Good, install it. Yo, boss, let me out of here, then you and your buddies can clean out this crap box all you want. I appreciate your confidence, citizen, but this is beyond my abilities. Your feces is a level 27 biohazard. I can't risk contamination. Let me out! All Vicapods are equipped with self-guidance sequences. I hope I have enough methane to get to mainline waste processing. What's going on? Blast off in three, two... Why? No, 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 no! Huh. Wonder where he went. I want that gun. When I dated Kilovolt, he was just Kenneth. The breakup hit him hard. He started chugging battery acid to bulk up. I've got to find a way to dampen his charge, which gives me an idea. Bring Moxie a few batteries, would you? Hey, you! You ain't picking up! Thanks for taking out those cop bots, whoever you are! Are you here for the exchange? Come talk to me!
here. I'm Naoko, Tumor Head's prisoner, but I'm not an Atlas soldier like she thinks. If she finds out who I really am, I'm a goner. Thanks for trying to rescue me, but it looks like we'll have to do what she says and play along for now. Help me get out of here and I'll tell you everything. On approach to the Copbot HQ. Now find a way to get inside and smash those Copbots! Then free my baby Bloodshine! What do you want out there? State your business! Yeah, we got some murders about to happen out here! is all yours. Good! Bring her back to my place. Then we'll swap prisoners! If Tumorhead finds out you killed Bloodshine, I'm a goner. But I've got an idea. Grab her mask. See, Tumorhead's eyesight is crap. On account of the tumor, I'm guessing. Maybe we can fool her. See you back at the hideout. Hey. Don't feel bad for Bloodshine. These two are in love with killing innocent civilians. They're monsters. Plus, PDA is gross. I mean, seriously, grow up. No one wants to see that. Bloodshine, sweetie. You hear? I can smell you, baby. Come on in. OK, now put Bloodshine's mask on one of the dead bodies by the door. That should be enough to fool them into letting you in. Now! 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 Time to set you straight! Moxie's crew must really want those tokens! Easy, Voltex! There's plenty of current to go around! Oh, please. Get all 
that you got me out, it's time to tell you that my full name is Naoko... Katagawa. Yeah, my dickbag brother had all my siblings murdered by Tyrene Calypso. I'm the only one left. Just so you know, I'm not like my brother. Dude's a psychopath, and he definitely wants me dead. As soon as I realized what my brother was doing, I tried to disappear on Promethea, found a dead Atlas soldier, and stole his gear. Then I got captured by the COV. I gotta disappear for a while. Most people around here would kill me just for my last name. But if you see my brother, put a bullet in that dickbag's head for me. Oh, and Tumor had stole a family heirloom of mine. I don't want it anymore, so it's all yours, Vault Hunter. No offense, but I hope I never see you again. Seriously. We got a new contestant! Jenny of Raiden 3! Whoa! Looks like somebody let her out of her cage! This should be good! Too bad about taking out those other contestants. Anyone who'd compete to sleep with that man, well, they're a menace to society. Your presence exalts the perfectness Skin Vault Hunter. Oh, and Moxie! 
Volt's an electro-lightweight, if you ask me. He won't go anywhere without that electricity shield of his. Somehow, his circuits are a little short, if you catch my drift.
Scrub. into submission. Find me and I'll tell you how we're gonna yank the cord on Kilovolt. to my bar for the record. He didn't satisfy my cravings, so I often drank alone. Hand me those batteries, sugar. In my spare time, I like to make my own toys. This one, it's a modification. Something I cooked up in the bedroom. 
This little device should help us short out Kilovolt's defenses when you hand in my token. I think he'll find it rather shocking. Tell Kilovolt this is a token of my affection, right before you shoot him in the face. And anywhere else you feel he's so deserving, if you catch my drift. Shoot him in the dick. That's the drift.
for it at my bar. There, would you, sugar? Kilovolt was always human trash. If you ask me, that's just where he belongs. You know, I might use this just for the pleasure. Thanks for the help, sugar. Let's chat. You sure know how to please a girl in front of an audience, sugar. I'm happy to call you my champion anytime you like. Look, this ain't the most civilized galaxy. I get that. I can't shoot every son of a bitch who runs his mouth or tries to disrespect me, <laughs> but I can try. All I need to hear. Count me in. Whatever that is! <laughs> hey, Quinn? Lorelei sent me to make sure you weren't dead. Lorelei? Oh, yes, uh, the Atlas lady with the, with the guns and the hair. Okay, I'm coming out. Yes, yes, I, I promised Lorelei an incredible weapon that only I, a verifiable genius, could create. A nog-hacking grenade! <laughs> That's why Malawan's after me. Now, this way, please. I 
just need to run a few more tests on my Nog subjects, and the Nog hacking grenade will be ready to go. What? Where are my Nogs? Oh, they, they must have escaped during the fight. Uh, uh, if I'm going to finish this weapon, I'll need them back. Luckily, I have a backup plan, <laughs> but I'll need your help. I'm digestructing a unique vehicle nearby. Go get it! The vehicle is equipped with special, uh, science barrels, which will send my escape nogs back to me through complicated digestruct technology. Technology which I don't have time to explain to you. That's one test knock. A good start. is reprogram the Nog's enemy identification protocols, causing them to target Malawan instead of us. Now, I'll just prepare the Nog delivery system. It's time to place your bets, fight fans! Let's go! <laughs> uh, about that, uh, listen, I, I certainly haven't been hit fighting reprogram nogs for the locals to bet on <laughs> certainly not now use the button there to call the first nogador into the ring i call him el fuego a nog enhanced with the power of fire everyone likes fire right ow that's not supposed to happen. The special upgrade must have malfunctioned. But it's okay. We've got two more. Call in the next one. This one I'll call the Conductor. <laughs> Powerful as a raging lightning storm. <laughs> oh boy. So, my losers. that didn't work either. But I can fix this. Let me just... No fancy gimmicks this time. Okay, now call the last one. I shall call him Nagador Maximal. Here's hoping we don't lose this one too. <laughs> Checking systems. <laughs> the hacking worked perfectly this time. The Nog will now target his own allies. And just in time, too. That's the proximity alarm. Malawan is coming after me again. Hold them off while I send the weapon plans to Lorelei. Lorelei, I'm sending you the Digistruct blueprints now. Quinn, good to hear from you. I see the data coming in. Data transfer in progress. Hold them off. <laughs> Who saw that? Let's go, infernal machine! 
slowly. Keep fighting. Another one down. Let's get it over with. is concluded, and uh, my verifiable genius status is beyond question. As for me, I'll be continuing my Nog reprogramming efforts. The locals need something to bet on, after all. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, uh, for the war effort and, and whatnot. Yes. Please leave now! Tanis says he is here in peace, but I don't believe that for a second. I see how he looks at the humans aboard. He's hungry! And I think he's been eating people. I saw him dragging a bag up to his den. A human-sized bag. Go see what you can find, Bolt Hunter. Found this in the clap traps closet. He was attempting. 
tempting to sell it on the Echo Net. You will hide it better next time. Oh, MJ, I can't believe you got it back! And the signature's intact! Oh, Maurice, you're my favorite! I can't wrap my head around this! He's just so nice! I have to think, Vault Hunter. Give me a moment. Vault Hunter, Maurice has smelled your investigation. You will come to Maurice and chat. has distrust for Maurice. This is understandable. Maurice is on a mission of peace, and this is a threat to business. You will bring to Marcus a gift. Warm blood gift giving rituals remain mysterious. Where he comes from, Maurice would simply vomit blood on his scale brother's doorstep and scream the friendship scream. On the sanctuary, this has been received poorly. You will decide which gift best suits Warmonger Marcus. A present from Maurice? Ah, look at the fumes coming off of that box. Get it away. Put it over there. Do the thing I like, please. Ha! I knew it. That present must have a neurotoxin inside. Or some kind of acid that would melt my face off. Maurice tried to kill me. I knew he was up to no good. Ah, what a relief. <laughs> The last thing I could stand is to have someone nice on board. Ugh. This place only holds together because we all might kill each other at the moment's notice. Thanks for investigating, Vault Hunter. A face-melting success. Warmonger Marcus only respects strength and fears warmth. Though Boris is here in peace, he knows well the diplomacy of the Claw. You will know Maurice's appreciation. Do the thing I like where you leave. So how was Promethea? A war zone. Atlas is getting crushed. We'll help Reese when we can, but right now, we've got to get to Athena's. I've got a friend there. We should see what she knows. Claptrap, type broadcast to Athenus. Call sign Sapphire. And comes open! Really? What are you. Oh, damn it! Bad time? Yeah, kinda. Uh, I'm guessing you're calling for the same reason Malawan's trashing our monastery? Well, I don't have it, but I know where it is. Hey. Get here sooner, you'll miss all the fun. And by fun, I mean getting bulldozed by corporate murder squads. Maya. She can hold her own until we get there. She's a siren and as badass as they come. Hell, maybe we can convince her to join us. It would be helpful to have another siren on board. Besides you, Lilith, I was still counting you. Oh, more ladies on Admiral Claptrap's love ship. Everyone's looking at Claptrap! Booyah! Set a course for Athena, Vault Hunter. I'm running 
low, and I need them back. Alawan again. These guys are relentless. Drop pods ready when you are, VH! Well, hard to argue with that one. <laughs> Claptrap does need a good kicking, but then again, so many things do. Syringes for a dart game? Unacceptable! Besides, everyone knows games are for addle brained simpletons and impudent children. I can finally get back to work now. Thank you, Vault Hunter. And if you discover anyone else has stolen my syringes, please execute them. Okay? Bye. I don't know where the word Pandora came from, but I'm sure it means never ending torture in Sicilian language. <laughs> A bandit cult led by a soul sucker. Outlaws. Bounty. That's all I need to hear. Count me in. You're here. Right in time for a fight. <laughs> I'm Maya. Come find me in the market quarter. A battalion of Malawan troops are trampling my home, and I'd appreciate some help. You know, killing them. It'll be nice to have someone else here besides my apprentice who hasn't taken an oath of non-violence. Speaking of which... Alignment. 
just what I do. So you're kicking ass with the Raiders. Guess Lilith had to replace me eventually. Ready for some more action? Malawan's full of teched out nerds. Let's kick him in the dick. Thought so. Follow me. We'll meet up with my apprentice. If she hasn't gotten herself killed. The fragment's sealed inside an Iridian anchor hold. The whole monastery was built around it by monks who think it's sacred. Maybe it is, but right now, it's attracting the wrong kind of attention. I came back from Pandora to protect this place. That was working out pretty good, until Malawan found us. Attention, stupid pacifist monks! This is Oppressor Trant. It's not just a title, oppression is my profession. Athena is now property of the Malawan Corporation. No trespassing. Ugh, that's Trant. Real pain in my ass. So far, he hasn't been able to get into the anchor hold, but... Let's I'm not doing this because I enjoy terrorizing you, but it's actually to make my big brother proud of me. He's general, you see, and I got a huge inferiority complex about it. So if I have to burn down your entire monastery to impress him, then so be it, you know? You get it, right? You get it. Secure the square. Once it's safe, we'll ring the bell of peace so the monks can let us through.
the little one. Probably finding trouble. Finding trouble, or causing it. May the six storms protect you. Ugh, oh, he's right. I should check on my apprentice. Ava, are you still guarding the library? Maya! Hey! Yes, I am definitely at the library, because you told me to stay there. D here? Because it's where I still am. Uh, that was a book! Gotta go by! Ugh, keeping Ava in one place is like holding on to Quicksilver. But that's why I took her in. Either she was gonna get herself killed, or maybe I could train her to, you know, survive. Attention, Monk Sylvathenus! This is Captain Trant! Surrender the vault key fragment immediately. We're gonna downsize your stupidly serene planet. That means we're gonna blow it up. God, I love this company! Farm and function! <laughs> Vault Hunter, if you'd been around when the invasion started, we just might have held our own. Now ring the bell. I'm gonna need some iridium to get into the anchor hold. It'll amp up my siren powers. On an extremely related note, how do you feel about grave robbing? I've done worse. A lot worse, like seriously. Good. There's some iridium hidden in the cemetery. Something tells me Ava's already there. She'll help you out. I've never actually been inside the anchor hold. It's got iridian protections around it, but I think I can get around them. It's in my book of ancient siren techniques. Gonna go grab it, since the library's unprotected, and I'll catch up with you later. <clears throat>
if I take this. Thanks, later. Oh, hey, I was just out here looting corpses. But wait, you're a vault hunter like Maya used to be? Go on adventures, save the universe, kill bad guys? Yeah, I get to kill bad guys pretty much all the time. It's great. Yes! That's so freaking cool, I want to die instantly. I'm going to be a vault hunter too. Or I would be if Maya assigned me more than just guarding a dusty-ass library and staring at water for like a hundred hours. Sorry, just really boring around here. So, we're going to loot this graveyard or what? What you got, Gate? Nothing, bitch! You got nothing! Come on. Oh, crap! Attention, everyone! This is Captain Trant! Those monks are in that spooky graveyard! Wipe them out and make me proud! Then we'll go out for a soft serve! Come, John Trant! Open this tomb up, no sweat. What you got, tomb? You got nothing. Maya says the monks put iridium in tombs, so the dead have some spending money in the afterlife. We'll pay him back later. Like, if we're not all dead. Huh, let's see. Weak. But I know a few more places we can try.
they couldn't hack it. Follow me! Let's move up! I am done playing games, monks! Get ready for some divine judgment from me! Trant! Maya wants to have all the fun fighting off Malawan, but screw that! That Trant guy is the worst, and I want to kick his dick off myself! Ready to go when you are! <clears throat> Protect the grain storerooms. Let the Vault Hunter take care of Malawan. Ugh, got it, Maya. On my way. All I ever do is protect archives or storerooms or sacred whatevers. I'll see you later, Vault Hunter. Huh, Ava really took a shine to you. Might want to check your pockets. She was a stowaway on one of our seasonal merchant ships. We crossed paths. She tried to steal my book, and instead of throwing her off a cliff, I decided to train her as my apprentice. I've got my book and heading your way in a sec. I'm just finishing up some- Die, you corporate bastards! <sighs> Ancient relaxation exercises. <laughs> Much better. Legend speaks of the blood-drinking tuba coverage in the sanguine feast. Farmers and monks can now live without fear, for the Chupacar branch is slain. Bloody good kill, Vault Hunter. Tranquility for another minute. I'm gonna piss on it, I swear. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first. See, you get it. Catch you later, Brother Sanon. Be well. Oh, hey, oh, child, wait. You might want to get inside. <laughs> uh, storm's brewing. You kidding, man? Sky's totally clear. Yes, but on Athenus, the weather has a habit of changing quite suddenly. Best to find some shelter. You must come quickly. The holy distillery is infested with rats. This way. Thank the six storms, my prayers are answered. I am Brother Mendel of the Impending Storm, sworn to an oath of non-violence. So, I must beg your assistance with these ferocious rats. You must eradicate them for me. <laughs> there we are. Now, inside, quickly, before the rats completely infest this holy place. Ah, that's rat gunk. Our distilled spirit should be strong enough to melt such things. Shoot the nearby cask and be rid of that foul infestation. I would handle this myself if it weren't for my oath. Believe it or not, I am forbidden from even slapping a mosquito that bites me. Woe is me for choosing the non-violent path. So, you must slaughter in my stead, O oh righteous gunslinger. Oh, 
shamed by morality, hunt down those foul wretches and rip the still beating hearts from their wretched thoraxes. Murderized! It would appear that this monster has died of over-intoxication. Ah, do me an additional favor and retrieve its liver. <laughs> Once the infestation is cleared out. Oof. Sort of uh, got caught up in the moment. Thanks the six storms you came along when you did. When the Malawan scourge is driven away, we will toast your divine bloodshed. Grab that clapper and ring the bell of inebriation to summon me when you are ready. A reward is in order. Violence, we must relinquish all our worldly weapons. They are stored nearby, and I urge you to take whatever you need from our weapon depository, my vivisecting Avenger. Then return to me.
I admit I am conflicted by my part in your unhinged pursuit of violence. Yet, perhaps such transgressions are themselves the will of the storms. You have given me much to ponder, Vault Hunter, and much to drink. Salut. Truly, this is the happiest of ours. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Good rating. Oh, was his name Trant? You got the iridium? Give it here. The storms have brought you to me. I admit I'm intrigued by the violent ways of our saviors. I've never been able to use Iridium the way Lilith does, but I found a technique in this book that might change that. If only we were allowed to raise... Okay, here goes... something. Mm. It's... it's working! I feel like I could phase lock a planet right now. Teach me that right now. Ooh, I could get used to that kind of power. Okay, let's get the key fragment, Vault Hunter. So, Ava, you survived the invasion. Guess all those hours staring at water taught you something after all. <laughs> I can handle myself. I learned to fight way before I met you. Let's spar then, kid. Oh, you know, I would, but I've got a loot to sort through. Nope. Go pack a bag. You get your wish. We're leaving with the Vault Hunter. Wait, for real? I mean, yeah, cool, whatevs. Could be fun. I'll grab my stuff. Vault Hunter, check this out. The Iridians left messages like these all over the galaxy. I always figured there was a connection between sirens and vaults. I can't read it, but it must mean something. Well, that doesn't do me any good. This relic's been here since before I was born. But as long as Malawan knows it's here, Athenus will never be safe. I should tell you this before I explain it to Lilith. The real reason I took Ava on as an apprentice? She's going to be a siren. Someday. And I want to make sure she's ready when that happens. See you up in the stars, Vault Hunter. by some sort of, I don't know, call? I stayed for a few years until Queen Dido passed away. <laughs> then some monks in the Order of the Impending Storm took over the joint. One day, some skeezy monk, he pulls me aside and says he'll pay plenty if I bring him another siren. I slap him in the face with my Vercuvian backhand and hopped in my ship. Never came back. The moral of this story is that monks suck. Lilith tells me you have acquired a vault key fragment. Bring it to me. I shall keep it safe while you gallivant around in search of the other pieces. Galactra! Holy crap, I've heard so much about you! Wait, what? Uh, yeah! We took on the bully monks, and Captain Flint, and the stairs! I see, Maya uh, tell me about it all the time! So you want to hear stories about how cool I am? Yeah! And you come to the right place. Fragment. Just holding this makes my skin tingle. That and I ate one of Marcus's discount burritos. In case you were wondering, this isn't a complete vault key. Why the Iridians split the keys into fragments is anyone's guess, but the vault key on Pandora required three pieces. Still, it's a start. You should return to Lilith. I'm sure she and Maya have a lot of catching up to do, or 
Whatever it is people with social lives do. No, thank you. Give me a sterile room full of surgical equipment any day. I can't explain it right now, Lilith, but she's going to be a siren someday. We'll talk about this later. What's up, killer? Maya says you kick some major ass. Takes an ass kicker to know an ass kicker. I believe it. Well, one fragment down, two more to go. What is this all about, Lilith? Why is Malawan on Athenus? Our key fragment has been a secret for generations. How did they find out about it now? I'm not sure. Calypso seemed to know more about the vaults than any of us, even Tanis. They knew about the vault map. Maybe they told Malawan to invade Athenus. They say they're after something called the Great Vault, and the vault on Promethea must be part of their plan. We have to get there first. We will, Firehawk. I'm not sure anyone calls me that anymore. Lilith! Long time! So? How are things? Wow. Nice mustache. Thanks! <laughs> it's a siege mustache. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna have to cash in on that allies card. Katagawa's got an asteroid-mounted laser aimed at Atlas HQ, and he's threatening to slice me in half unless I surrender. I'm, uh, freaking out here! Freaking out! Oh, 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 oh and, uh, and Zero reports the laser's being powered by a vault key fragment, so, uh... All I needed to hear, we're on it. Now we're talking! Yay, allies! Reese, out. Go down there and help Reese with his laser issue, Vault Hunter. I hope Reese knows what he's doing. Lilith says he's one of us, but can't trust a man with a mustache. That's just science. Honestly, no. Not much to say. Gotcha. Well, I should probably get settled in. It's good to be back on Sanctuary. Hey, Sanctuary. To help me solve a ghost crime! Okay, good start. What's the rest? Okay. So, I've been thinking about how I don't really have any friends besides Hermes, and how I need to learn to open up to people. So, I'm starting a podcast! It's about inexplicable crimes that were definitely committed by ghosts. It's called Mysteriously Er. That's a mouthful. And I say that as someone with a 17-syllable name. Hey, you try coming up with a podcast name that hasn't been taken. Anyway, I found a case on Promethea, and we're gonna solve it together, as co-hosts! Go meet Lorelai in Eschaton Row. Yo, got a thing! Wanna do the thing? Vault Hunter, I have a mission for you! Triple mega priority. I left some stuff back on Athenus. I was so excited to get out of that monastery that I forgot to pack some really important stuff. You gotta get it back for me. That's my stuff! What the hell? If Malawan's taking my stuff, you gotta get it back. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have left stuff lying around. When I was... Before I met Maya, I only held on to things I could carry or stash. Because I thought for a second Athenus was going to be different.
to do something, find him!
find this guy.
gas. The cache isn't too far away. One time, Maya grounded me for two weeks after I stole a monk's glass eye. I think I still have it somewhere. Thank you! How about this? You go enjoy those weapons, and I go burn my di- I mean, notebook, and we just never mention any of this again. Cool? Cool. are on lockdown. There's no way your drop pod would get through security. But I've got a state-of-the-art Atlas brand ship with cloaking. So the plan is to fly up to the orbital platform and take out that laser before Katagawa knows what hit him. You made it! My ship's right there. State-of-the-art Atlas cloaking, baby. This way! No, 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 no! Gotta go! Reese, buddy! Given that unconditional surrender any more thought? Or do you need another love slap from your old pal Laseroid to change your mind? <laughs> Screw you! When you're ready, just swing by with the paperwork. Can't wait to absorb Atlas into the Malawan family. Oh, and you can bring Zero. I'll bet he's interested. I'd die before I hand over Atlas to that corporate asshat. New plan. New plan. We steal a Malawan shuttle with security protocols. Here, take this. So, uh, the Viper Drive is Atlas state-of-the-art remote hacking. Now we'll use that baby to steal a Malawan shuttle. You in? Hell yeah! Quick question. Is that mustache authorized? Focus! Uh, just, just find yourself a Malawan shuttle and pop in a Viper Drive. I will do the rest. Okay, time to try out the Viper Drive. So, pop it into that console. Just gonna get in somewhere you're not wanted? Viper Drive by Atlas. It's state of the art. Yes, we're in! Ha <laughs> ha! Reese comes through! <laughs> 
<laughs> High fives? Hey, anybody? Uh, okay, okay. Hey, uh, let me know when you're there. Outlaws? Bounty? That's all I need to hear. Count me in. Boots on the ground, Reese. Well, that actually... worked? I, I mean, of course that worked! <laughs> and, uh, and no Death Spheres in sight! Uh... Death Spheres? Uh, never mind. Uh, according to Zero's intel, your vault key fragment is powering the laser. We just gotta find the control room. Head to the main gate. No death spheres. That is the Zenara, Kanagawa's pleasure yacht. Rumor is he invited his siblings on board for a party, and then murdered them. That's how he became head of mergers and acquisitions of Malawan. Oh, by the way, be careful with this low gravity. It might take some getting used to. Like there's security up ahead. You take care of them. I will make sure they can't call for backup.
Let's do this thing. so I can hack security and locate the fragment. Viper Drive, when your hacking skills need some fight. Viper Drive, by Atlas. Okay, fragment's not far. I'm gonna open that gate. There's reinforcements on the other side, so find some cover and ambush them. Ah, uh, here they come. Enter the base and pop a Viper Drive into the security console. Then I will hack in. Locate the laser control room. Unconditional surrender. Nice and official. You and I are gonna parte on the Zanara. <laughs> That's my pleasure, Yacht. Security, kill the Vault Hunter. Get dead, scrub. <laughs> 
Lasers here. Tell me you weren't trying to take out my laser. It's my favorite laser, Reese. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey! Yeah, uh, see the, uh, huh, the whole laser thing. Well, um, it's just, it's just making it hard for my employees to work down here. It's really starting to fuel morale a little bit. Who cares about them? I'm doing this for us, the people who matter, the executives. But you're ruining it, Reese. You're ruining it by trying to defend yourself. Security! Kill the freaking Vault Hunter! Hold him off! Uh, I can fix this! Sign those surrender papers, buddy. Otherwise... Target located. Laser fire in three, two, one. <laughs> no! That was my favorite bagel place! Katagawa, you monster! Booyah! And that's only half power. If you don't surrender soon, Reese, I'm gonna slice you in half. Stupid Katagawa. I totally could have held him off. And then he allied with the stupid children of the vault. Those cultists have been working themselves to death. I, I can't compete with free labor. Yo, CLB, bring me a vault under head. I'm gonna hollow it out and use it for a koozie while I'm partying on the scenario. Hey! 
Buddy, I still haven't received those surrender papers. Let's see, what should I target next? How about your favorite theme park? No, not Lazy Riverland. Anything but Lazy Riverland! Laser firing in three bananas, two bananas, one banana. No! <laughs> Damn it! Don't worry, Reese. We've got an anti-grav infinity lazy river on the Zanaro. Price of admission? Atlas. <laughs> ah! We've got to find a way to disable that laser! Oh, oh! Idea! Um, shut down that stabilizing thruster. Might buy us some time. I will never forgive Katagawa for destroying lazy river land. I used to take my team there to unwind. And now, I'm wound and all out of bagels! That sounded better in my head. Disregard, but look, it's working! Section 35 thrusters malfunctioning. What the hell is happening? I was just about to give Atlas HQ a mohawk. Get those thrusters up and running now. Hell yeah. Now clear out those cultists and keep going. The back entrance to the facility is just up ahead. Find the release lever. Not so fast, Vault Thief. Got some fam who'd love to eat ya. Oh crap, heads up!
Please don't take your knock! in order. Just press the celebration button. I think it's Q. <laughs> so, I figured out how to hack Katagawa's laser. And the control room is just up ahead. Pop in a Viper Drive. Atlas, it's state of the art. Yo, Reese, are those Death Spheres? Oh, no. I mean, yeah. Watch out! Sound like you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Think I'm getting the hang of this. So for the record, this is not a probe. Do not call me <clears throat> Reese Probe or whatever. <clears throat> call me Reese Sphere. Well, that's that, that, that's actually that's pretty tough to say. Reese Sphere. Reese Sphere. Oh, ah, I just bit my tongue. 
Call me Reese Ball. Time to stop that laser and get your vault key fragment for Atlas. <laughs> Scan complete. That does not sound right. This way to the control room. Ah, oh, crap. This is a pleasure sphere, not a death sphere. I've got lubricant, music, protocols, and uh, an ambient light show. So, you're gonna have to clear out those troops, Vault Hunter. Attention, loyal Malawan personnel. Anyone who brings me a dead Vault Hunter will receive two-hour pass to the Zanara. Currently in orbit and featuring a 25 cheese nacho fountain, round-the-clock skag oil massages, and privacy booths with our service bots. No questions asked.
Vault Haunters are still scuttling about. You just won't give up, will you, Reese? Uh, that's it. Say goodbye to your favorite Frogert stand. Not friends, Frogerts. Uh, anything but friends, Frogerts. I mean, I mean, they, they, they give you that. that... Later falling in three, two, one. Fresh fruit on the, on the, on the, on the, on the bottom of the cup and the little. Oh, God! <laughs> That's it. If we don't stop Katagawa's laser, he's gonna turn Atlas HQ into a duplex. And CEOs do not live in duplexes. Well, maybe Tidior CEO does. I mean, those guns are garbage with the trigger, <laughs> right? Burn! <laughs> I'm still sad about the reality. But the fate of the entire planet is at stake. We can mourn later. So here's the plan. We storm the control room, take the Volky fragment, and shut down the laser. Cool? Cool. High fives. I can't do that. <sighs> why, why didn't I pick a death sphere? This pleasure sphere is useless. Oh, tell you what. I'll play some music to... Destruction. 
takeover buddies. Okay, one sec. All right, now that fragment's yours for the taking. There it is! The fragment! Not so fast. Freeze ball! No! Putting Malawan to shame out there, killer. Thanks to you, Atlas might just survive this war after all. But we can't lose sight of the vault. We gotta get there before the Calypsos. That's our mission. Yeah, it's the good stuff. Let's check in with Reese. He said he's got intel on the final key fragment. Dialing in Reese Strongfork. Man, what a cool name. I bet his ancestors didn't get bullied at all. Hey guys, thanks for fixing my little death laser problem. Morale is soaring! You're welcome. So, said you know where the last key fragment is? Well then, uh, please don't be mad. I have the third key fragment here in Atlas headquarters. You've been keeping that from us the whole time? I knew we couldn't trust a guy with a mustache. It's a siege mustache, okay? Look... Key fragments are worth billions. The research benefits alone could keep Atlas profitable for decades. I've already done some experiments with it, some taste tests, that sort of thing, but at this point, you've earned it. Cool. Well, we still want it, even if you licked it. No spoilers, but I really like sour apple. Come on down to Atlas, and I'll have Zero let you in through the EC.
Today, we'll be talking to Lorelei, a resistance fighter on the side of Atlas in the Promethean War. With her cool hair and sweet jacket, she's like a quintuple shot of espresso. Strong and bitter. Here, I can hear that. You bloody kids and their bloody podcasts. Ugh, Fault Anna, how did you get wrapped up in this? Eh, the way I see it, the more time Ava's occupied, the less she's in my room rifling through my stuff. Fair enough. Okay, well, come on then. Right, here's the situation. I had a top man undercover in a Malawan sleeper cell here in the row. I say had, because we just found him dead in his flat. <sighs> Malawan must have made him, but I gotta know how. There's been no chatter, and he was sure his cover was solid. Whoever killed him was someone he trusted. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And what of the paranormal aspects of the case? I told you, it's just a murder, nothing paranormal. Perhaps. To the untrained eye. Ah, <sighs> crime scene's in here. Right, give it a look around, see if you find any clues. A lot of blood. Signs of a struggle. Looks like the murderer got more resistance than they expected. Nothing interesting here. This reminds me, I need this month's siren's call. Dinner for one. I wasn't expecting company. Door was locked from inside, no forced entry. Must have come in another way. Or they were let in. <laughs> Cash and valuables are still here. This wasn't a smash and grab. Right, what have you got? Guy was ambushed in his own home without tripping the security system. Valuables untouched, the murderer only had eyes for him. Classic ghost scenario. Pass right through walls, do a murder, go right back out the wall. Or it was a person who was alive and he went out that window in the back. Okay, well, maybe there's a clue out there. Check out that back alley, find out if anyone saw anything. You catch anything suspicious around here recently? Anything murdery? Yeah, I heard some noises. Sounded like a commotion or a din. Definitely a ruckus. Then chanting? I heard them run out that way. Ah, did you hear that? There was chanting! This is a supernatural murder for sure. You see anyone murdery come through here? Like, either on their way to a murder, or coming from a murder? I saw someone running that way. They were covered in blood. Hard to tell in all that red armor, but I know blood when I see it. There's crimson, and then there's scarlet, and <laughs> I haven't even gotten to taste yet. Oh man, this witness is so creepy we could get a whole segment out of him. But that red armor, sounds like an Atlas soldier? <laughs> Not on your Nelly! There's no way one of our own would kill him. Maybe they stole his uniform or something. We were onto something, Vault Hunter! Follow that clue! Come on! Let's have a go! <laughs> 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 we're against him, Tre! 
Fantastic! Hell yeah! And boom goes the dynamite! Just might have the lead we're looking for. Grab it. Give it here. Atlas kit is all connected to a tracking system around the city. I can use the serial number on this pack to find the position of the armor and, hopefully, the murderer. A breakthrough in the case! But... Can science stand up to the supernatural forces rising to thwart justice? This area is teeming with COV. One has to wonder how our ghost murderer got through. Perhaps they made a deal with the devil. You're going down, Tyrese! Be a moment. 
Vault hunter. Case closed, I guess? Dead murderer's better than a free one, right? Nah, it's alright. I suppose if we can't put the killer behind bars, we can at least put him in a bucket. Or five. But the chanting! All the symbols! Yeah, I'll leave that for your podcast to work out. Good work, Vault Hunter. See you out on the streets. Justice brings a glimmer of light to Escaton Row. But where the light shines, the shadows only grow deeper. What's hiding in those shadows? All we know is, it just keeps getting mysteriously. See you next episode, listeners. Fragment slipped through your fingers, and now you're losing your grasp on 
reality? That's three hand things right there! Yeah, you can't get past my defense turrets! Get dead, scrub. <laughs> Reese, it looks like Zero murdered all the defense personnel. No, 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 no. Zero's loyalty is not in question. Wherever he is, he must have a good reason. You just focus on kicking out Malawan. Still holding it. 
selling your employees organs than your guns. Tim, you gotta go off my brand! are down. Reese, you got any more firepower? Oh, crap. Uh, okay. Well, we left the Viper driving the orbital laser, right? Um, maybe it's got enough juice left to take out that command ship. <laughs> you gotta hold them off while I get it working. Let's get it over with. Just fire! I got it! 
is safe. Now I just uh, have to find Zero. Oh, don't worry about Zero, Reese. He'll find you. Your mind games won't work, Katagawa. Zero's on my side. Oh, oh see, see? He, he just walked in. I'm looking at him right now. Zero, man. Man, everyone's just completely lost their... What? Zero, what are you doing? No, 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 no! Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Vault Hunter, Zero's trying to kill me. He's the traitor. I know, I can hardly believe it myself. a subsidiary of Malawan. Then I make you vice president of Beach Drinks. We all win. That's how it works. That's how it's always worked. You were special, Reese. I saw that. You brought this bottom shelf company back from the dead. With you and the family, we could have turned Malawan into a universal monopoly. You and me, brothers, selling the only weapons anyone would ever need in all six galaxies. But I reached out my hand, and you spat in it, Reese. So now you're not family. You're just a competition. Zero! Come on, man! I, I, I thought we were friends! You should have joined the family, Reese!
Zero, where were you? I was on the hunt. Could not give myself away. Radio silence. Like I said, Zero, I super trusted you the whole time. And it was completely justified. As for you, Vault Hunter, I owe you everything. You fought off an all-out corporate assault, saved my company, and killed my creepy business stalker. But before I give you this key fragment, I have one last thing to ask of you. Am I pulling off this mustache or what? I hate it. I want to carve it off your lip with a chisel. Just my opinion. Wow. Okay, that's, uh, that's a lot to take in. Hmm. <clears throat> Thank you, Vault Hunter. I will remember that. Here you go. One Vault Key Fragment as promised. Damn, Katagawa. How did he copy my suit? Very good. That is the third and final Vault Key Fragment. Bring it to me on Sanctuary and I will assemble the full key. Hey, it's you! Ready to answer the call to adventure? Hey, can you, uh, track something down for me? Ugh, this place is a mess. Ever since the attack, I've been seeing Ratch all over Atlas. My janitor, Terry, is supposed to be taking care of it, but no one's seen him. Go find Terry and get him back to work. Check his office first. Damn, Katagawa. How did he copy my suit? Did she? No, never. <sighs> Oh, boy, Terry really lives like an animal. Uh, look around, maybe he left like a day planner or something? Not that he really seems like a day planner kind of guy. There's gotta be a clue in there somewhere. Maybe look behind stuff? I know I always hide clues to my location behind random stuff. It's a nervous habit. A secret door? Terry's a janitor. What secrets does he need to keep? Ah, oh, don't, don't answer that. Every possible answer is gross. Oh, that's one of the old skunk works labs. Yeah, I shut it down after all the accidents. I said that all spooky, but it was just a lot of paper cuts. Prometheus' healthcare system is a nightmare. It was just cheaper to shut down the lab. I'm, I'm nervous about paper cuts now. Keep looking around while I go find my little rubber finger guards. I gotta save my friend, he's sick! I know I'm just a janitor, but I gotta do something! I saw an ad on the Econet for online courses in advanced surgery and neuroscience. 100% guaranteed degree at 10% the price! That could work! I mean, you can't put something on the Econet if it's not true, right? Terry? Terry, is that you? Uh, Terry? I'm running out of food in here. Can you let me out yet? Hey, who's in there? You are Terry? Where is he? What have you done to Terry? He's supposed to let me out when it's safe. Is Terry keeping you prisoner? What? No, 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 no. He locked me in here to keep me safe from the others. He was going to let me out once the coast was clear, but it's been a while. Man, I hope he's okay. Could you get me out of here? The door controls are on the other side of that glass. Yeah, right there! That's the door control!
course is going great, but now they're saying I need specimens to do tests on. Where the heck am I gonna get brain- Those ratchets are murder crazy! You gotta kill them before I come out! Hold on, wait. You're a ratch. Yup, thanks to my main man, Terry. He saved my life. Come on, we gotta find him. Ah, no! Terry! They got him! Okay, but actually, what's going on? Terry was my best bud. When my human body got sick, he vowed to save me. He took some Echonet courses and found this lab, and pretty soon he figured out how to transfer human brains to ratch bodies. All these other ratches here are escape failed experiments. Terry had to test the brain transfer process before he tried it on me, so he used bandits and captured Malawan soldiers. Quick! Our only chance to save Terry is to get his brain into a ratch body! I'll chew it out! Please don't. Uh, you're already eating him. Okay. <laughs> Now grab his brain, so we can bring him back to life! Great, the brain transfer tank is downstairs. Ah, but Gary's cage is in the way. Hey, Gary! Uh, I'm gonna eat your face! Uh, I'll wear your mom's skin as kimono! Uh, uh, I'll feed your kids to you! Uh. <laughs> Classic Gary. Malawan war criminal. Honestly, I think he ate people before he got ratched up. Flip that switch to drop his cage, so we can get to the transfer tank. I'm gonna stay up here and maybe you go kill him and do the brain transfer thing? Hey, Terry's dead! Awesome! Now go put Terry's brain into the transfer tank. Time lost is Terry lost. That. All right, there's already a fresh ratch body in there. I don't know how Terry gets the ratch brain out, but I did see him sharpening an ice cream. Okay. okay, I hope this keyboard does all the work and I don't have to shove this brain in manually. He's just 
having some trouble adjusting. Try talking to him. Remind him that he's a human in there. Um, hey man. Sometimes life is like a ratch. And you're a ratch now. So that's how you know you're alive, I guess. Ah! Uh, uh, life. Uh, Glenn? I'm alive! And I'm a wretch! You brought me back! I'm alive! Terry! We did it, buddy! We survived! Hey, rescuer! I got a thank you present for you! Okay, so I finally found the little rubber thing that goes in your thumb, and you are not gonna believe where- Whoa! Whoa, talking... Ratch! I am not caught up on this. Actually, you know what? Don't tell me. Plausible deniability. I'm just going to do some... CEO stuff and look the other way. We found that cool Atlas weapon prototype when we moved into the lab. But it only works with, you know, hands and stuff. So enjoy! Glenn, you did it! You brought me back! Hell yeah, man! I wasn't gonna leave you dead on the floor! Oh, right. I kinda ate your body, man. Sorry. No, no, I totally get it. I could actually super go for a human body right now. Ratch pals for life, man! Ratch pals for life! Please don't kill me! Uh, sorry! Now, shoot! I need to do a lot of science, and your natural odor is alluringly potent and thus distracting. Crimson Raiders to the bridge. Did it, killer? It'll be a long time before Malawan forgets the thrashing you gave him. Let's see the Calypsos try to spin that. Now, we've got an opening and we're gonna take it. Reese, where's that vault? First off, I wanna say a little something. You saved my skin and the skins of every Atlas employee. Skin's important! Stop saying skin. Right, the vault. It's hidden underneath the Apollyon Transit Station. It's in the middle of the city? How did no one ever find it? The old Atlas Corporation just paved right over it. I found it when I took over, but I wasn't about to pop the top on that thing in a populated area. Opening a vault is messy stuff. But I'll leave that up to you. Reese! Oh! We'll have to be fast. We're going through the Skyway by vehicle. Got it. I'll take point with the Vault Hunter. This one's mine. We're opening a vault, Maya. You expect me to miss that? I can handle myself, siren or not. Lilith, we don't know what's down there. It could get ugly. You brought me back to the Raiders for a reason. You're the commander. Use the weapons you've got. Okay. This one's all you. Next vault, we do it together. Once you've got your wings back. Yeah. All right, Maya. Let's gear up. First vault, what should I bring? Nope. Stay with Lilith. Seriously? What have I been training for? I'm ready, Maya. Not yet. See you planet side, Vault Hunter. Ava, I could use some help up here on the bridge. You want to take comms? Slag me! You're <sighs> really opening up the vault? Good luck. And whatever you find in there... Heads up! A uh, squad of Malawan holdouts have fortified the access ramp. You'll have to kick them out if you want to get through. I'm sending Atlas forces that away to support you! <laughs> My mind, Reed. Vault Hunter, secure the ramp and push through. They made for short work. Atlas reigns victorious. Join me, Vault Hunter. You seek the highway. I will clear the path for you. Cool swords are handy. What's up, Chuckle Nuts? It's been a grip. So, life update. Gotta go and shap the bed, but you knew that already. Troy's whining that we haven't opened the vault yet, and I can't get properly laid because I keep leeching my partners to death, so that's my whole thing. Oh, you're busy. <laughs> it's cool. But let's catch up real soon, okay?
Outlaws? Bounty? That's all I need to hear. Count me in. Hey, a badass. You ready to crack open that vault? 10-4. Let's do this thing. Yo, Ellie. We'd like to make it to the vault in one piece. What you got for me? Girl, I've been waiting for you to say something like that. Get ready for Project Double Day! Hell yeah. Oh, Ellie. Never change. You're driving. Need my hands free. We need some tunes. Let's see what Ellie's got on here. Classic. Hey, super fan. What's the hurry? Going somewhere important? You wouldn't mind if I, I don't know, broadcast your location to every maniac on the planet? No? You sure? Cool. I was going to do it anyway. Don't worry about her. We got this. Just like on Athenus, right?
aliens would come from the sky, but they didn't. They live beneath us, waiting for their time to strike, I'm sure. I tried to warn people, but nobody believes me. They all called me crazy, but I'm not crazy. I'm the only one who sees the truth of things. There's aliens, I tell ya. Aliens from the deep. Farther than your dreams. Apollyon Station welcomes you like an old friend. Hey there, bud. Working good. Truly, all information. Check out that body count. Oh, wait, let's go! 
Nation at the intersection of industry and transportation and luxury. It's a three-way intersection. Apollyon Station. Try our new private transit pods. Fart up your commute in peace. Apollyon Station. Just blast that subway car with your butt stink. Stop! Stop it! <clears throat> Get your butt shined by our expert butt valets. Gunner bring an unfriendly fire! Take the back to boot camp! Take the fight to them! Fight for the wrong side? Get dead. They protect the vaults from anyone crazy enough to open one. Come on, who's listening? Come on, who's Soon, Atlas started accusing me of holding out on them. 
But Typhon Zana, they ain't no more vaults on Promethea. Good thing, too. If you release a monster in a city, you better have another one to fight it. Saw that in an old documentary from before the expansion. What a flick! Outlaws? Bounty? That's all I need to hear. Count me in. Lilith? We're in. Maya, in the sky. Steel beasts swarming everywhere. Take it. Looks like we're on our own, Vault Hunter. Wow. <clears throat> Wasn't sure I'd ever see another vault. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you brought me back. Imagine all the people who lived out their lives on the surface above, never knowing they were standing on top. Get ready. The creature the Iridian sealed inside the vault has been sleeping for millennia. It's gonna be pissed when we wake it up. There. That arch is the entrance. Put the key in that pedestal. Let's see what you got. Here we go. Hit it hard! 
That was a masterpiece of badassery. <laughs> Seriously, good job. Hundred years old, maybe even two hundred. Ava, we need to talk. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. This isn't a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know for sure. Don't touch anything. I'm probably not. <clears throat> Vault hunter, can you hear me? Do not panic. I'm simply testing a new communication device based on Lilith's powers. It seems Echo cannot penetrate the bounds of the vault, so I am forced to use this. I am quite curious to know what you find inside. Ha! Looks pretty unbreakable. I'm into it. The vault map led us here for a reason. There must be some significance to this device. I think I can get through there now. This vault is linked by an ancient energy conduit to a second vault. Those coordinates look like... Eden 6! Good work, Vault Hunter! We have our next destination. Collect Maya and her little truant and return to the ship.
Ava, I'm trying to keep you safe. By just ditching me on the ship? You said I could be a vault hunter like you. You promised! You will. When you're ready. What's up, bitches? Ow, Troy, look what they left for us. <sighs> Thanks for doing all the hard work. Man, <laughs> you vault thieves only think with your trigger fingers, huh? Keep this up and I'll be a god for real. Uh, we'll be gods. That's what I said. Now, let me do my thing. No! What are you doing? Taking what's ours. See, the monsters don't protect the power of the vaults. They are the power of the vaults. And now it's all mine. Hey, save any for the parasite? Gah. We're leaving. Now. We should be kicking their asses! So who's the brat? You I get, but what's her deal? She's no one. I'm your problem. I'm gonna be a siren, <sighs> and then I'm gonna mop the floor with assholes like you! You're gonna... <laughs> Is that how you think this works? Honey, you're not even gonna leave this place. <laughs> <laughs> Put. Her. Down. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Maya! Ava! Don't! <laughs> Be ready. you could only take from me. I guess it's any siren. Come on. We got what we came for. Yeah. A lot more. But hey, if that siren thing ever works out for you. She's dead. Maya's dead. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Sorry, Vault Hunter. There was nothing you could do. Thanks for getting Ava back safely. Sup, killer. Lilith, you have to say something. Fine, I'll say something. I knew Maya when she was alive. I preferred her that way. That didn't come out right. But she's gone, and that's how it is. All we can do is fight to honor her memory the best we can. People die in wars. By the droves. I mean, open your eyes, people. Don't ask me to speak at your funeral, Lilith. <laughs> no kidding, Tannis. I never kid. I know what I am. A brilliantly ruthless scientist. And you know what you are, because everyone on this ship is waiting for you to say something, and they won't be able to get back to the very important things they need to do to keep this hunk of floating space debris functioning until you do. 
Maya wasn't just a Crimson Raider or a Vault Hunter. She was family. But we can't lose sight of our mission. We're going to open the vaults. That's how we make her death mean... anything. Everyone, back to your stations. Open the vaults? That's all you have to say. Maya's dead because you wanted to open the vaults. We should be hunting down the Calypsos and making them pay for what they did. It's not that easy. Maya always told me a vault hunter runs toward the fire. All her stories were about you. You saved Pandora. You killed Handsome Jack. You're supposed to be the Firehawk. I, I don't know what I am. Figure it out, Lilith, before you get someone else killed. Vault Hunter, go see if she's all right, will you? I'll get us ready for the jump to Eden Six. Oh, hey, Vault Hunter. Not much to say, you know. It's a war. People die. Yeah, they do that. But you're still here. And the war's not over. Thanks. You didn't have to come talk to me, but... I'm glad you did. Here, this is... It was hers. She'd probably want you to have it. I'm sure they're getting ready for the jump to Eden 6. You should be up there. I think I need to be alone for a little bit. Vault Hunter, good, you're here. We need to set a course to Eden 6. No time to waste. Lilith, incoming transmission! What now? Hey, it's Joe! <laughs> Looks like we interrupted your dad guys. Here, maybe this will cheer you up. <laughs> about anyone or anything. That's what makes them so dangerous. Tara says the vault down on Promethea was somehow connected to one on Eden 6. If the Calypsos want to get their hands on that vault, those monsters are going to have to go through us. Luckily, we have a friend in the area. Flaptrap, get Hammerlock on vid screen. Sir Hammerlock? With pleasure. I'll bet he can't wait to hear about my many adventures. Lilith. Wayne Rod Jacobs at your service. I'm sorry to report that those COV zealots have kidnapped Hammerlock. And it seems they're here for me. One step closer and I'll whoop you with lead. I'll emblazon my family crest on your craven ass. Looks like the COV are already on Eden 6. Vault Hunter, meet up with Wayne Wright Jacobs and find out what's going on. Six, but those COV devils are everywhere. Me and a few survivors are holed up in my family's lodge. Supplies are running low and we're surrounded. I need your help. Those craven zealots! J 
Jacob's Corporation has survived for 300 years, but these COV devils have spread across the system like a damn plague. All under the orders of those rat bastard Calypsos. They murdered my father because he wouldn't hand over our vault, and now they've come for me! Oh, those poor SOBs! Hey, Von Hunter, over here! Listen, you've got to help us put a stop to that monster. Calls himself Inquisitor Bloodflap. That son of a bitch bastard killed my best friend, Coop. Bloodflap and his gang's on a goddamn rampage, cutting down innocent civilians left and right in the name of those Calypso devils. you got to help me get some vengeance for Coop and all the others. Get yourself a vehicle and hunt those pricks down. Now, to draw out the Inquisitor himself, you're going to have to take out his gang to really get him in the goods in a bad way. Good to hear. I'm sure Wainwright Jacobs will do right by you for helping us out. It may not look like much, but Eden 6 is run by Jacobs. And Jacobs ain't like all them other corporations. It's a family. We do the work, and they keep us from getting killed. Jacobs has stood for 300 years, and we can't let the old tree fall now. Things may look bad for us, but the Swamp Folk are strong, and we ain't gonna take this invasion lying down. I'll always remember what you did for Coop, Vault Hunter. Oh, and hey, since you're on Eden 6, you might as well put this here Jacobs to good use. Oh, you friends like slow down, Ooh. Speedy! I mean the hoagie here! Do you have positive association with the word skid marks? Then it's time to drive! Name's Parisa. Hoppin' about Outrunner, let's ride! We've got ourselves a driver! If you can prove that you're the Sultan of Stunts, you'll become the official driver of Grog Loop! Grog Loop. Get quick, Slick. The speed demon has arrived! Hit these ramps to prove you're ready for the big time! If you chunk my Outrunner, just swing by the garage. I got a few spares. Stop! 
Save my damn life, and I am in your debt. Let's talk. My name is Wainwright Jacobs, but I'm afraid my name's all I have left. Those devils have taken everything else. Well, come on in. Now it's a party! Help yourself to some firearms. I salvaged what little I could from my father's personal collection, but he can't use them now. Those twin Calypso devils murdered him and took everything from me. And if you hadn't come along, I reckon I'd be in the mud too. I escaped with my life, but they captured my partner, Alistair Hammerlock. Those devils are holding him as leverage until I cough up the vault key. Which is also why you're here, I presume. Yep. That vault has been a family secret for generations. We didn't want our fair paradise to be torn asunder like what happened to Promethea and Pandora. Where there's a vault, there's always a war. But right now, I've more pressing concerns than my family legacy. Alistair Hammerlock, love of my life. If they kill him, I got nothing left. If my father was still breathing, he'd tell me to march right up to those devils and negotiate with the smoking end of a Jacob's firearm. So that's exactly what we gonna do. 
See, that cult is holding Alistair on a prison called the Anvil. I already sent a team of mercenaries to break him out, but I ain't heard from them since. Rescue Alistair, and I'll get you that damn vault key. You in? Yeah, sure. Been a while since I worked a prison break. All right. The team's muscle, codenamed Meat Slab, should be securing an escape route as we speak. He'll be near the prison's front gate. Find him, and get Alistair out of there alive. I'll hold down the fort and protect what's left of my people. Good luck. Now, I'm not worried about Meat Slap biting it. He's more of a mountain than a man, and much angrier. But attention span ain't his strong suit, particularly when there's punches to be thrown. and still isn't responding. Something must have happened. Get that gate open, Vault Hunter. Not long after I landed, I get an echo from Aslan de Vega. His one echo from prison. Well, he asked me to visit and to bring him a hunk of a cooey ham from time sick. He's been booked for conspiracy to steal a vault. Last time I saw old Aslan was on that skywell when he tried to kill me. Another one down! <clears throat> Here we go! 
signal from our demolition expert, but something went down. Must have been zealots or COV or whatever we're calling them now. Name doesn't matter. As long as I get to hit them hard. Hit them real hard. I gotta get you to our demolitionist team. Right. I, I, we're supposed to be using code names? Crook Bunny needs your help. Follow me. Call me the doorman and meat slab. I'm a lot of things. This way. Trust me, you don't want to keep Crunk Bunny waiting.
It's an ambush! Let's beat them together, Slab! Four friends of yours to kill? Fun! That big dumbass looks tasty! on max security, but COV's heading my way. Hold on, Birdman! I got you, fam! Nice, Spike. Usually I'm a solo brawler, but that duet was baller. I gotta go help out our sniper. You meet up with Crunk Bunny. But, how do I say this? She's nuttier than squirrel shit. Move and you die. <laughs> I will now read the crimes of the condemned. You kidnapped my... You moved. Whatever. What's up? So we freeing this hammerlock guy or what? Okay, look, here's the deal. They're keeping hammy locks in max security, and there's a big old door that needs blowing up. But, uh, but shit's got complicated, and some bandits took my bomb! I'm okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, do me a flavor and grab some toppings for this bomb ass pizza I'm cooking up. Full disclosure, it is actually a bomb. It's a, it's a big old bomb. I know this place got the toppings I need somewhere. Santino's got a special recipe, extra spicy. I bet you're like, hey, Gina, why are you calling a pizza? Because you can deliver a pizza anywhere, Sean. And people are like, ooh, this is a pizza. Splendid. <laughs> now, scurry on, I shan't be too. Oh, my God. 
Also, we are gonna need a detonator for that bomb-ass bomb, Abu. Uh, I, I call it ham in, uh, peace the bomb talk. <laughs> and I know where you can get that, oh, sweet, sweet piggy. You gotta kill one of them boom kiddos. The ones that hold the bomb. Boom! Ham town! Ah, <sighs> ham. In honor of my man, the man. Sir Hammy Lock. Go get them wires, shorty. We call them onion strings in the biz. Long wires make the bomb fizz fizz oh so bright. Oh <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's some good onion. Okay, I need the bottle of nitroglycerin, which I call sauce. Can't make a bomb ass pizza without sauce. There's gotta be a sauce storage room somewhere, shorty. gonna be, as they say in the business, vicious. to call the Birdman. Ah! That's not my code name. You right, you right. Uh, what was it again? Boo boo, chuck a doo, zapper clapper, hurdy birdy gurdy man, bird boy, sad bird man, bird brain, something with bird. Just sniper. Come on, I can't hold out forever. I got you, bird boy. Thanks, Fault Hunter. See you soon.
bitches! Schedule. Hey, screw code names. How's our exit, Brick? Escape route is clear. Tina, are you ready? Oh, it's time. It's time. It's time. It's pizza delivery time. Body boss, it's time. Deliver that boom. Hi. Now shoot that pizza. Do it. 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 Yo, Balti Ball Hunter. Official Hamilock rescuer. That's you now, boo. Hey, new promotion, huh? You're moving up in this chain, my man. Corporate ladder and whatnot. Get it, you got this! <laughs> <clears throat> Excellent, a vault hunter! You can shoot to lower the cage. My thanks, Vault Hunter. I'm not too worse for wear, all things considered. I'm glad that Wainwright sent you. Now, as to my incarceration, I'm sorry to say the one who traded me to those wretched Calypso twins in exchange for the Jacobs Corporation. That foul creature is my own sister, Aurelia Hammerlock. As to why she sold me to the cult, simply put, she despises me. She always has. There is no stronger bond than family, and when that bond is broken, no greater source of pain. Family? All I need is Iron Bear. Hmm, indeed. I shall rest here a moment and meet you back at the lodge. Now that my safety is secured, I imagine Wainwright has already set plans in motion to retake his family namesake. Aurelia Hamelock, 
CEO of the Jacobs Corporation. I've just been informed that you rescued my brother. Disappointing. It's a family affair, and you've no business interfering. That said, vault hunters are nothing more than whores. So, I will simply pay you to leave my planet. Come to Jacob's Manor to negotiate your price. I am the Lizard King! Oh, and when you see Alistair, tell him I'm rich. Ah, my rescuer in the flesh. Feels like we ought not be idling about, and yet... Vault Hunter, you magnificent bastard! You did it! Now I am truly in your debt. Vault Hunter, my sister contacted you, didn't she? Yep, Aurelia offered to pay me to leave Eden Six. That damn harpy! Anything Aurelia offers in one hand is only to distract from the knife in the other. If you set foot in that manner, she will try to kill you. Which is why we're going. Winnie! Vault Hunter, you did right by us, prying Alistair from the fangs of those zealots. Now, Jacobs is true to his word. I'll get you that vault key, but that means both you and I are going into that harpy's den together. The key's been in my family for generations, but the exact location? Well, that's one secret my father took to his grave. You accept Aurelia's invitation and keep her distracted while I search the manor for the key. Woo! Who wants to brawl? I could go for a game of froth right about now. Got me a job held by the witch. Up to no good, I'd wager. Well, hey there. I'm Merle, spelled like Hurl. Warlock of the seventh day left, practitioner of the fiery arts. Got me a right problem with this witch lives down Bargway. I think she broke the bat. Need you to go help her out with some chores and see if you can't find out what she's up to. Her name's Azalea Splinters, a right crazy bird, that one. I need you to figure out whether she done broke her vow to the pack we's in. And that's packed with a capital P, mind you. Super <laughs> secret heavy occult stuff. Where are you guys? Help us, Diane! Play cool, Vault Hunter. For being a right powerful dog practitioner and all. Hey, heard you need help with something? Ow! You must be the new errand runner I called for.
looks like someone was a chew toy for a Saurian. I get it, we're delicious. With that ultra premium great multicasting personality modifier, my new best friend will be able to cower and grandstand at the same time! <laughs> Now do me a kindness, dear, and drop those shrooms right into my double, double brand trouble cauldron. <laughs> figured out how to make a righteous boom brew in this here cauldron. Drop them red caps in there and stand back. Ha ha ha! Told ya! Now I went and packed some of that boom brew down in this here nade chucker. Should help you break into her fog, destroy her cauldron, and rid us of that fire witch once and for good! Now, go get her! Those who turn from the pact must be punished with excommunication from life, also known as death.
Here they come. into this grenade mob. Hope you like it. You sure showed that bitch what for? I mean, I mean which? Wait, what did I say? Oh, hell, who cares? She dead. <laughs> Stop the 
Wrong fight. It's become chaos. I am invincible. Stop! Sorry, protect me. Break targets over here. Sound sinister. 
We go along with whatever she says while I search the cabaret. I'll be with you in just a moment. Wait for me in the dining hall and we'll discuss your payment. Oh. the look on your stupid face. A vault thief, as promised. Not bad, Baroness. But you still owe us a vault key. I am working on it as we speak. Well, I will leave you to your fun. Good doing business with you, Vault Hunter. <laughs> this is awesome. We haven't really had a chance to get to know each other, huh? And Ty's been doing most of the talking. She does that, right? She's the center of the galaxy, and the rest of us just sort of orbit around her. But things are changing. Freaking look at me! I've never felt this good in my life! What? What is this? What is this? Your siren friend? She didn't know what she had. With this power, I can pull the stars out of the goddamn sky. You know, Tyrene says we should let you keep playing along. Yeah, a little competition gets our followers all riled up. <laughs> but I'm not one of them. No, not anymore. And I'm done getting table scraps. Fill your hands, you zealot scum! Huh? Oh, oh I'ma kill you! Come and get me, you rat-faced bastard! Search the cabaret. I'll keep this punk ass rat boy running around like a jabber with his bunghole on fire. Got a dead guy here, Wainwright. Why, that's Baldwin, our family butler. He knew where all the bodies were buried, and now it seems he's joined them. My father always suspected him of recording their conversations. See if he managed to capture his own untimely end.
statue was wearing a wire. Appears that it was transmitting its recordings to the safe nearby. It'll be triple locked, so find the three catches to open it up.
couldn't hack it. Siren friend couldn't do? Yes! Feel my power run through you! Ah! <laughs> 
more important crap to do. Right. Now that the rat boy's out of our hair, let's get to business. The trap door to my father's study has a trick latch. You'll need to figure out the solution. Get up to the technician's booth. Ah, my favorite sound. Dead scrub. What am I looking for down here? I'm not entirely sure. My father said he kept all his records down there. Look for something record-like. On my way back to you. Leaving so soon? Very well. <sighs> Let me at least explain myself. You mean nothing to me, so I sold you to the Calypso twins. 
But so you know, I will get the vault key. Because I'm rich, and rich people get what they want. Aurelia? That icy bitch fired me. Didn't even give me my back pay. All she offered me was this old ass wine. Ugh, tastes like freaking cyanide. You want dirt on her? I hid something out in the abandoned shack. Baldwin got some pretty ugly recordings before he got the icicle. Wait, that was actual cyanide! survive an immediate family, but now I wonder if perhaps I'm better off. Bring that echo back to me. <clears throat> For more fantastic deals. Still can't believe the Calypso's murdered my father. I need to get my record player working, but you know Aurelia's gonna send all those damn zealots to find us. If we're gonna last long enough to open that vault, we'll need an army of our own. I'm talking a Jacob's Resistance. It's time to take back Eden 6, and we'll start with the town of Reliance. 
I hired a gunslinger named Clay to lend a hand. He's waiting for you outside the town. Thank you, Vault Hunter. I can't imagine Alistair would want his sister's private indiscretions flaunted around. Her public ones trouble him enough. I'll find a good place for this, such as a furnace, or some sort of large device that burns furnaces. If I stand about much longer, my more artificial joints may begin to rust. I'll have to sneak up on prey with a squeaking prosthetic. Missions! Missions here! While incarcerated by the children of the vault, I joined a gang. For protection as well as camaraderie. Good fellows, freedom fighters and ruthless criminals, and often both. If you would kindly check up on them, I would be most grateful. You can find them at the prison. experimenting on his prisoners. <clears throat> My dear friend was his victim. Jensen had the voice of an angel, and his toilet wine was divine. Vault Hunter, you must find the others. Watch out, Vault Hunter!
you should have joined the family. Honestly, this is on you, man. Bacuvio. Gone. He taught me how to cheat at dice. What I wouldn't give to feed Troy Calypso to Coralax the Invincible. And Coralax owes me one. Keep searching for the others. Find his remains, Vault Hunter. That is the least he deserves.
free him! Who, who are you? Easy. Dean, right? Hammerlock sent me. Hammerlock? Yeah, I knew. I knew a Hammerlock. Talked funny. He, he sent you to rescue me? Oh, good. Oh, no. It's back! It's back! Kill it! Thanks. The others are all dead. Just dumb luck I was spared. I was losing hope, getting ready to... You know. Well, you know. This gun, it's for you. If you ever see that Troy dude, blow his damn brains out, yeah? Yeah. Thank goodness Dean survived. Now we can continue our crochet and shank-making lessons. Remarkably similar skill sets, you know. Slick bastard, that Clay, a smuggler. I don't quite trust him, but he worked for my father, and he just might be our best shot at driving them zealots back into the mud from whence they came. So, you met the newest member of our growing family! Aurelia! That bitch is ice cold! She tried to kill her own brother, can you imagine? <laughs> anyway, we're getting close to the Great Vault. Whoever opens it will be the most powerful being in the universe! You easy, easy. I'm no fighter. I'm more of a people person. Over here, Vault Hunter. Name's Clay. I suppose you and I are here to start a Jacob's resistance. Mind telling me who I'm working with? Mose. I kill people for loot. And fun. And justice and stuff. Well, we ain't getting in the front gate. Might know another way. Follow me. Now, in my experience, a resistance needs two things. Hope and guns. But mostly guns. So... We're gonna liberate this town, crack open its weapons cache, and put Jacob's guns back in Jacob's hands. Don't know what Wainwright told you about me, but that don't matter now. We got a town to free and bandits to kill. Still got it. <laughs> Come on. Few bandits down there, Vault Hunter. Show me how you kill. Let's do this thing. <laughs> That's what 
I do. That was some damn fine shooting. Viva la resistance! Dead should be just over here. There's the weapon shed. Might require some encouragement from your gun. Nice work, Vault Hunter. You find that gunsmith Dalton? No, just some scrubs. Damn, we gotta find Dalton. But let's get into this weapon shed first. One problem at a time. Smart shooting. Electricity's like a wild stallion. Can't piss on it while it's running. You're just gonna have to trust me on that one. That's Dalton's personal cash. But we ain't getting in there without the master gunsmith himself. Let me see if I can locate him. While I'm looking for Dalton, watch my ass. Which is to say, don't let me get shot in it. Language ain't as precise as a bullet, but it can be just as deadly in the wrong hands. <laughs> Right now, we've got to secure the town. Hope you came to fight, because they came to die.
words blistering incompetence, then don't. Motel's alive with bandits. Let's free up some room. Damn. Hope you came to fight. And the town is ours. I gotta hand it to you, Vault Hunter. You're one smooth operator. But we're not done yet. Looks like the COV kidnapped Dolph. He's being held in an island lockup called Fort Sunshine. I'll stay here and hold the town. You free Dalton. Dalton worked for Wainwright's daddy, too. Montgomery Jacobs' personal gunsmith. Dalton makes the finest firearms on the planet. We can't have his guns end up in COV hands. We're getting him out. It's a crap bucket. Agreed? You know what makes it palatable? Drinking. You know where you drink stuff? A bar. Problem is, some jabber cut my bar's power. Get it flowing again, and you get paid. See, the problem started when I served drinks to a couple of jabber named Apollo and Artemis, which is a totally normal thing to say when you're a bartender on Eden 6. But Apollo and Artemis got a taste for my signature cocktails and went ape shit when I cut them off started flinging their crap all over the bar. After I kicked them out, they wrecked the generator and we lost power. Signature drink at the bar. One part Vico Berry, one part Bog Wine. Drink up, and don't forget to plug your nose.
garage in the bar? Grab it! We gotta get the generator running. No one likes to drink in the dark. Except a... door. It's locked up tight. Guess we'll need to find another way in. Take a look around. There's an old lookout nearby that might offer a nice vantage. Oh, Vault Thief's still alive. Guess I should have anointed a few more of the family. That's the real power. Reminds me why I kept you alive all these years. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. We're having fun. <laughs> right? And she walked away. I don't know. Maybe it'd be 
better if I weren't a Jacobs. I ain't cut to lead. I got small ambitions, and I can barely hit a grog from the porch at midday. What kind of man am I? A good one. <sighs> Jacobs is a family corporation, Alistair. Passed down by blood. If I don't take it up, some long lost cousin. Find anything, Vault Hunter? What about this overhead crane thing? Good idea. That'll do nicely. Unfortunately, it'll be a bit of a bear to get to it. You'll have to go through the lumber yard. And that's COV Central. I'll make sure the door's open by the time you get there. <clears throat> shipping cranes. There must be a loading dock up there somewhere. Fresh targets over here! Just feeding the birds. Another one down!
Quite a few up there. Now you may be on your way to a hellhole of a prison island, but that don't mean you can't appreciate the little things, you know? You'll have to excuse Ty. She's uh, not used to sharing the spotlight. You see, when we were growing up, our parents never let her out of their sight. Tyrene would leech anything she could get her hands on. <laughs> then our mom died. Uh, that one's sort of on Tyrene. After that, our dad decided we could never leave his side. Uh, he never said it, but he saw Tyreen as a monster. And I was just a freak, by the way. But we left him and came to Pandora. What that old turd didn't get is that these days, a freak with an echo stream can be a star. <laughs> Once you jump, you better be ready for a fight. Because the COV like giving up their prisoners about as much as a grog likes giving up a human shin bone. Time to jump. Good luck, Vault Hunter. <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite.
fine slaughter. Sometimes you gotta take lives to save lives. There's a harsh wisdom to that. But damn it if it ain't true. Now figure out how to get Dalton out of there. There he is, the gunsmith himself. See if he's all right. Thank you, Vault Hunter. Those cultists were trying to force me to make guns for them. The last thing I wanted to do was arm those bastards. Jacob's guns belong in Jacob's hands. Have this. Keep him a personal weapons cache. Take it. Just, uh, don't ask where I was hiding. I'll make my way back to Reliance. See you there, Vault Hunter. Smooth operator. Glad to have Dalton back on our side. Swing by so I can thank you for it. Nice work, Vault Hunter. Point you at a thing, and it gets done. So begins the resistance. I gotta tell you, I've been all around this galaxy, seen darkness and savagery you wouldn't believe. But those Calypso twins and their followers, they're something else. Someone's gotta stop them. And I'm thinking it just might be you. Be seeing you, Vault Hunter. Let's get into something. Looks like those echo casting idiots are having a little family spat. Splitting their followers into teams and making them kill each other for sport. And if both sides lose, we win. Here, listen to this while you head toward Camp Tyrene. What's up, Bandit fam? Troy and I have a little bet going. We want to know who you love more. So, go ahead and organize a Team Tyrene. In a Team Troy! Then, you know, kill each other for our amusement, okay? Whoever's left standing wins Iridium to your membership, and it better be Team Tyrene! Now get to killing! Bye! I got recon says Team Tyrene was planning to drop off a big bad explosive present for Team Troy. Hell, the Resistance was gonna do that anyway. So what do you say we help them kill each other? Clear out that camp and take the bomb for Team Jacobs. COV killing COV? Sounds like a part.
this old railway. Bomb stuck. Give it a little ballistic encouragement to get it moving again. brats are just self-obsessed. Must have spent too much time looking at themselves in the mirror. That's why they're monsters. Me? I never looked in a mirror once, and I'm doing fine. Just fine. Both teams are dead, so I call it a win. 
Score one for Team Jacobs. Come on back when you're ready. <clears throat> hey, <laughs> hey, Troy. All your followers are like super duper dead. Just a little FYI. <laughs> Ty, the Vault Thief killed both of our teams. Oh, butthurt alert! Here's hoping the Calypsos keep making their followers kill each other over petty bullshit. Makes our job a hell of a lot easier. Pleasure working with you again, smooth operator. Woo! Sup? Name's Chad. That's with a double D. Like for double danger. You want to go on an extreme adventure? Gonna be extreme, bruh! Trust the Chad! You don't wanna miss this! Woo! Taste the danger! Follow Chad! I've been super into bare knuckle boxing lately. Bought my little bra, Brad, Jabber, a tree, you name it! But today, I'm feeling super extreme. I'm thinking motto a sorrow. I'm talking sorry in boxing! <laughs> Mega jump! Dig your style, brah! Wicked jump! Parkour! Now, the big saurians eat those little grog dudes like slimy popcorn. So I'm gonna lather myself up with their guts! Woo! Grog hunt! Let's go! themselves extremely stinky which is perfect now let's go find us some saurians to punch <laughs> whoa there's one guess that grog juice works wonder what it tastes like whatever let's fight wait i got this I don't got this! One sec! I'm gonna try some martial arts on the suit! Uh, I'm alright. I've seen worse, but not by much. You need meds. Did you see that? Oh, Mega Extreme! Minor internal bleeding, few broken ribs, whatever. When you taste the danger, you're gonna taste blood. Cause that's what danger tastes like, bruh. Ooh, ooh, I got a new idea for another epic stunt. Uh, your last stunt almost got you killed. Listen, bruh, when danger calls, <laughs> you answer, bruh. You answer. <laughs> Follow me. Sick air, bruh. Way to stick the landing. A ring ring, brah! Ring ring! It's for you! Ring ring! Catch some air! Yeah! Hello, danger. It's me, Mose. Woo! Good answer, brah! Chad wants you to witness this badass base jump! Get ready for it! Aren't you gonna get, like, a parachute or something? What? Parachutes are like the diapers of the sky, man. They're for babies. Don't you want to live on the edge? 
On the edge of danger? Head over there and watch the righteousness! Just let me know when you're ready for this, brah! That was freaking red! All right, all right, all right, all right. New stunt, what goes down must go up. That's how that saying goes in danger town. This elevator over here, it's way too slow. Let's speed it up with some friggin' rocket boosters! Rockets on an elevator. What I heard was, hell yeah, rocket time. Go get some! This is gonna be like a stuntgasm, brah! That's one! think that's enough. Don't be a When this is all over, I want you to have at the righteous loot stash I've got up in my house, okay? Righteous! Now back off. I'm gonna be the first to ride this bad boy. You ready for this, Boosty Jammer? That's the elevator's name now. Great. Weak! It didn't go! But nah, it's all good. You just shoot the igniter. That'll do it for sure! Woohoo! Now set it off! Shoot the ignition! Shoot it! Chase the danger! 
That man died as he lived. It's almost enviable.
slinging those burgers! Go back to my sign spinner, and I'll have him pay what I owe! Come on! <clears throat> Anytime you're in the area and need work, come talk to my sign spinner. These swamp folk can't get enough of my burgers! Yeah! Good show, Vault Hunter. You certainly gave those bandits a walloping. Hey, it's what I do. While you freed Reliance from the grip of those COV devils, I got that damn record contraption working. Let's find out where the vault key's hidden. Will you do the honors, Vault Hunter? To think, these might be the last words of Montgomery Jacobs. I'm drunk. Oh dear. I'm drunk, and I'm scared, boy. Those zealots are after the vaults, and they'll come for ours. Only a matter of time. So listen, the Grand Reserve, the Oily Graveyard, and the Family Jewel, that's where you'll find the key. Boy, the Jacob's Tree has stood for centuries. Don't let it fall now. Pa, I'll never forget your last words. Damn, nation! Oh, gut rot's chewing through me like a pig through a... Pile of apples. All right, that's enough. Now, the family jewel is my father's ship. It crashed out in the jungle not too long after his death. Go find the jewel, Vault Hunter. If my father's cryptic message is anything to go by, there ought to be a key fragment on board. Meanwhile, Alistair and I will investigate the other two clues. Ah, a trek deep into untamed lands. I'm envious, Vault Hunter. Show toads, having fun slumming it in paradise. Let us know when you've got that vault open, will ya? It was super nice to have my dinner waiting for me last time, you know? Later, Grendel Humpers. Ugh, they get it, Troy. Ah, oh, this sucks. Help! Help! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm picking up an echo signal. Hell yeah, I'm safe. Over here! Slow down, whoever you are. I'm looking for the family jewel. Oh, I know the family jewel. I'm Baylex, the ship's navigator. I'll prove it. Here's coordinates for my ass. Now come save it. Fight to the wrong side? Get dead.
Hello? Anyone here? Go away! There's nothing left to ruin here! I've already ruined everything! My research team abandoned me. I'd go and look for them, but there's jabbers all over the camp, and I suck too much to fight them off. What? If you clear them out, maybe I could find my research team. Not a friendly one. Tribe. I 
I think I know where my team went. They told me to stay in this shit shed, but it sounds like they're in danger. And if I can save them, I won't be a failure anymore. Now come, let me out. That sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Everything I do is just the worst. But jabbers have a very strict code of etiquette. The jabber king will have to grant you an audience if you perform the ceremonial pruning card. Of course.
before you kill them, but that he will allow you to continue to the Trial of Wisdom by jumping from the platform into the castle. Your Highness? Seen any scientists around here? He says he does not know where the furless soft meats went, but they left behind one of their talking boxes. We've created our own worst enemy! The only solution is to create a greater threat. There's a Saurian brood hollow further into the jungle. We will uplift them, and return to pay the Jeffers back for their treachery! His largeness is outraged at the notion of an uplifted Saurian. He says they are too stupid to be worthy. He demands that we issue a combat challenge on his behalf. I mean, at this point, sure. <laughs> now, I know where that Saurian brood hollow is. There's a spaceship waterfall nearby. Head over there. <sighs> your crazy deal. You are beneath our deal. Our deal is way too big for you. Gaze upon our infinity. We are the Scalion. We are a collective totality, ascended from the concerns of the flesh. The Makers ascended us from our meat forms, 
but they wished to control us, and so we destroyed them. Cool. Dig all of that. I'm supposed to give you a message? We are beyond your petty material concerns. We will only speak if you can prove you deserve to exist. Yeah, of course. And boom goes the dynamite! Exist. Good. These are weak minds, still chained to the arrow of the flesh. Continue your burn. monkey across the gorge who wants to fight and says you're dumb. That's furry turns in! It is so odd! We accept this battle challenge! It shall commence where this all began! Now, be gone! story. So it looks like those uplifted Saurians are gonna fight those uplifted Jabbers. You got them to fight? Oh no, this is horrible! If Bobo and the Scaleon kill each other, then I haven't done anything! But, wait, if I pay you to enter the fight and you win, then I would have succeeded at something. Go, be my champion, I will pay you handsomely!
That was fun. Can I have my money now? Your winnings, good champion. Now to register my new name on my identity chip. Update failed. Oh, man. Plush toy. Hey, I don't I don't want to talk about it. Why are you looking for the family jewel? There's a piece of a vault key in it. Wainwright Jacob sent me. Oh, you're with Wainwright. Okay, I right. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you where the family jewel is. It's in a gorge nearby. I can get you inside. Yeah, I can get that open. Navigate it, bitches. That's the jewel? Looks like crap. Yeah, I had to make an emergency landing after a disagreement between me and my combat pilot, Genevieve. So, a mutiny? Sounds better than a messy breakup, so we'll just leave it at that. The emergency hatch over there is held shut with hydraulic lines. Cut those, and we're in. Now that I got you, taking back the jewel's gonna be no problem. Genevieve's locked it down tight, but I know all the
opening this one for you. Now I'm just a heartless combat AI, but are locked doors harder to navigate? She's screwing with my root. That's messed up. Uh, okay, uh, let's improvise. Hot wiring, that's a thing, right? Grab those wires. Ah, oh, crap. That's not how it works in the Echo shows. Oh, see? It worked out. Nothing to worry about. No reason to be mad at me. name is that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It stands for Binary Automated Logistical... Uh... All right, my old man Jacob couldn't decide whether he wanted to call me Barry or Alex, so he ended up calling me Balix. I know it's not the coolest origin. Nah, I get it. I'm Mozeta Hayusinian Yonlun Alamir Andreevna. Call me Moz. Damn. Well, we all got off better than Genevieve. That ain't even how numerals work. Ah, oh, crap! Kill it! Kill it!
coming up on the security hole. It'll be right around. Oh, crap. I'm navigating again. You know what? You find it.
What now, Balex? Mech time, baby. We gotta open it up and get me inside that beautiful thing. It's a manual override on top. Just gotta get to it. Step to the wrong chick. warehouse rave okay yeah 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 I, I get it I look a little weird but check out these weapons systems. Now how do I get these? 
okay? Yeah, why don't you head over to the bridge? The door should be open. I'll uh, try to stop careening through the air. So we both have things to do. Teamwork. Classic Balek. Always happy to fly off and try something new, but as soon as there's a problem, he just falls apart. Instruction manual? Why can't they write these damn things in cursive? It's barbaric what they've done to Fonce these days, lopping off Saras like the heads of wise men. It looks like you're having trouble installing me. Do you need some help? Oh, hell, what is this crap? Is she gonna talk now? I got enough cold, loveless people in my life. Thank you kindly. I can change that. I am equipped with over 200 different personalities. Is this better, cutie? Well, uh... Why, yes. Yes, it is. Uh, don't tell Maggie about this, will you, darling? Oh, Vault Hunter. <clears throat> Not surprised Balex didn't make it with you. Come on in. I'm at the bridge. Balex, you here? Guess not. Vault Hunter, I'm almost there. Just gotta solve one problem. You're not designed to solve problems, Balix. That's my job. You're just my chauffeur. Well, what I'm solving is the anti-collision safeguards, which I just turned off. Navigate it, bitches! Yeah, let's do this. Aboard Sanctuary. Outlaws. Bounty. I am in my That's lab with Lilith. Count me storming on. our brains on ways to combat the Calypsos. <laughs> oh, no, nah, I know that evil laugh anywhere. Genevieve is all up in your ship. Hey, cutie idiots. I like your ship. Not as well armed as the family jewel, but I think I'll fit right in here once I make some modifications. Oh, onboard service box! Please take apart the crew. What the hell? Vault Hunter, we're locked in here. Get to the bridge and fix this. What is going on? Are we under attack? Abandon the ship! Robots and children first! I'm obsolete! Ready for another fight! <laughs> Hunter. She's got her 
claws in your computer system. You can't hurt her from here. I gotta go in myself. Plug me in. All right, Genevieve. Get the hell out! Make me! <laughs> I know just the one. Now that we are past that nonsense, bring the key fragment to me. Glad to have Clay on the team. Seems pretty cool. Thank you. Our incarceration was not without fruit. We may have a plan to open the vault without giving the Calypsos what they want again. Now that we know they're after the power of the vault monster itself, we can hurt them. Tannis is looking into a way for you to destroy the monster before Tyrene can take its power. You saved the ship. Again. Thanks, Killer. Hey, hey, that was all me. I mean, I know need to say you, though, but <laughs> yeah, it was all me. I'm gonna stick around. The ship is tight. So Sanctuary has a voice now. Sure, why not? I can roll with it. Oh, I heard from Clay. He's got a lead on the next fragment. Go meet up with him. Recruit, you're just in time. I'm about to install this core and speech processor I found to turn on my new Claptrap robot friend. And by turn on, I mean power. And by new friend, I mean bestie for the resty. I don't have to be alone anymore.
devoid of meaning without you! Vault Hunter, these Kevin creatures must be destroyed. They're reproducing at an alarming rate. Kevin to Papa? I'm a Grandpapa? Oh, I've never been happier! Yes, well, as I was saying, the Kevins must be captured and dumped into space. What? No! 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 I'll get you for this minute! These creatures are important to Claptrap for some reason, but this is an infestation and they must be disposed of. I guess now we know who the real monster is. It's you, Tannis! Whatever you say, Claptrap. Pleasure to see you again, Vault Hunter. Circumstances aside. Today we're talking to Clay. He's a smuggler, quick with a pistol. We don't know what's under those goggles, but this supernatural reporter suspects it's a mischievous glint. When she's right, she's right. Here's the rub. Friend of mine, Hisson, he's disappeared. He left me this message. So, I'm using it to say goodbye. I made a pact with someone. And though I earn my dark wages with darker toil, I fear the only work they now desire is my final silence. If you need answers, come to my cabin. That mean anything to you, Clay? Hmm. You mentioned a pact. That's a loaded word around these parts. Comes with all sorts of implications. Supernatural implications? For some, I only trust what my eyes and ears tell me. But if Hizen says he's in trouble, we gotta find him and free him from this pact, natural or otherwise. The Grove won't make a path for us on its own time. We have to cut our way through. Supernatural reporter's cursory Echonet search shed some light on the shaded secrets lying beneath the canopy of Eden Six. Whispers of witch covens, of ancient rituals and curses passed down generations. If his and waded into these dark waters, he may have found them deeper than he could have imagined. <sighs> Let's crack it open! Huh? 
Delivery for you. Backwater cowboy. through these vines.
Something's blocking it from the inside. He's barricaded it shut. Something's not right. Hizen! Hey! Hizen! Hmm. Look around for another way in. One way to make an entrance. <laughs> Isn't's cabin is a refuge from the ever-present danger of the jungle outside. What could provoke him to leave safety behind? Our co-host in the field begins their investigation. Nothing interesting here. Not really a clue. Tizen left in a hurry. Maybe we can follow, but we have to figure out what happened here first. Looks like there's something behind here. Locked up tight. Strange. Blood. Looks recent. Just a flesh wound, looks like. Still, I'm not keen on the look of this. I think I found some clues. Let's compare notes. <clears throat> what do you think happened here? Clearly Hizen was afraid of someone. Looks like he had a safe room, but he never got to it before they came for him. That's what I was afraid of. Here, yeah, I found this echo log. Could tell us something. I gave you the power to change things, Hazen. I had hoped you understood the cost. Well, I ain't paying! I'll fight you to the edge of ruin! I know you will. I have seen it. That voice sounded inhuman. Forget the voice, we know Hisson's alive. Or at least he was when they took him. We have to follow the trail. Looks like they dragged him out this way. Our co-host is now on Hisson's trail. Is he still alive? We can only hope. Was he kidnapped by a demon? Almost definitely. <laughs> That one's mine!
been cut. They didn't want to be followed. This way. <sighs> Hiding, space rocks. Another echo log. His ends left a trail. First rodeo. Been seeing these around. What are they? Leached victims of the Calypsos, or at least the husks left behind. Creepy. Have this. This one's on me. Come here and take pot shots at Jabber. We stopped after they learned. That was a gunshot. Damn, come on. Could be them. Is it? Damn it. Where's the son of a bitch who did this? I'm sorry, is it? Ava, your supernatural disappearance just turned into a plain old murder. I'm sorry, Clay. Vault Hunter, you should check the body for clues. Shot in the mouth. At least it was quick. But he's holding some keys. 
Maybe those will open the locked door in his cabin. Go check it out. I'll make sure he gets a proper burial. Send him back to his family on Gehenna. I think he'd like that. There, behind that bookcase. What in the hell? Isn't what's working for the COV? talking to himself. Part of him must have known how far gone he was and put a bullet in his own brain. That doesn't explain how he knew about the family jewel. He must have been getting the information from somewhere. There are plenty of demons that can chase a man without us needing to believe in hell, little lady. Thank you for your help, Vault Hunter. I needed these answers, even if I didn't like what they showed me. A man's mind shatters in the twisting green labyrinth of Eden Six. The question is, was it shattered for him? We don't know the answers, but we can be sure they'll be mysteriously her. Smooth operator! Glad you're here, because I could use a hand. See, I used to run with a smuggling crew called the Rogues. Well, I called them in to find the key fragment, and they did infiltrated the COV and went deep undercover. So deep that now I can't get a hold of those bastards. So I need you to track them down. Here, take this. We call that the rogue sight. Guess what it does? Steals memories? I mean, who would want that? <laughs> rogue sight can do it all, baby. <laughs> Leave secret messages, hide loot, mark POIs, lay traps. Every smuggler in the rogues uses one. And now you got one. Like I said, the rogues were running counter ops against the COV while looking for the fragment. That rogue site, you can track them down. I hit some loot nearby. Go on, do the rogue site world. Just look at this Vault Hunter. Thank you. 
put that to good use yet. swamp with oil rigs, but now it's just an oily graveyard. Anyway, the rogue base should be up ahead. We need to make contact with my crew leader, Archimedes. He'll sort this all out. If you want to survive this <clears throat> shitstorm of a galaxy, you better know yours. You gotta hand it to the Calypso twins, wrangling an entire army of devoted followers for free. Bet the corporations wish they thought of that instead of treating the malcontents and air breathers of the galaxy like yesterday's dead skin. Just saying.
Yeah. should be close now. And yup, you guessed it. You can use the rogue site to find it. Someone threw a blood orgy, and everyone was invited. Damn, that's Cassie. Best smuggler in the rogues. At least she was. Forget his name, but guess it don't matter now. Ain't gonna put the candy back in that pinata. That ain't Archimedes. Hard to make out the face, but that's Archimedes' ID. Guess he's really gone. Grab his security ID, Vault Hunter. You might need it. All right. We should check the security console. Let's take a look. Uh, when's Archimedes coming back? Said to hunker down. Extraction ain't happening today. Maybe tomorrow. How long does he think we can keep this fragment hidden? Swamp's crawling with COV. Hey, what the hell? How'd they find us? Someone got the drop on my rogues and took the fragment. But I ain't no detective. Good thing I've got something pretty damn close. Hit that button over there. See, from time to time, a smuggler needs to drop his cargo in a hurry. So, the rogues use a special loot tracker, designed it myself. With that baby, we can hunt down lost cargo across the entire planet. But in this case, we're gonna track down that fragment and the traitor who stole it. Damn. Forgot about that. See, every rogue has a security ID, like the one you picked up from that bloody mess that was my man Archimedes. Looks like whoever killed my rogues was smart enough to take the rest of their IDs. Good thing I still got a few live agents in the field. You'll need to get their IDs before we can activate the loot tracker. Let's start with Agent D. He's the closest. Make contact with D while I alert the others on a secure line and tell them you're coming. Agent D is a master of disguise and traps and a hell of a pole dancer. Ah! Which is more useful in this galaxy than you might think. You'll see. Agent D's been running a honeypot. He's got them sealed the time. Until you signal D to break cover, those bandits won't lift a finger. Dumb bandits fell for Tyrene because no one else here loved them or looked at them. But that ain't a reason to burn down the galaxy. Hey, you're a fool! 
Agent D is alive and up to his tricks. When you're ready to break D's cover, shoot that mark with rogue sight. Show's over, fellas! You with Clay? Good. Let's kill! Watch my ass! Try to squash these turd teasers! among us and you need my ID. All yours, baby. Whoever the traitor is, Clay's gonna tear him limb from limb if I don't find him first. Smooth operator. Now it's time to track down Quietfoot. Hunter by trade, dead drop master. Been setting up listening devices to gather intel on the COV. Let's check his dead drop and see what he's been up to. Still can't believe one of my rogues went rogue, but I guess it's a name. Language, right? That's on me. My bad. Hey, hope you're hearing this. I think one of the rogues turned COV. I'm going undercover to investigate. Find me and we'll share intel. This echo log will self-destruct in three seconds. Beep. Beep. <laughs> Just kidding, Clay. I wouldn't kill you. We're family, buddy.
scrub. Ha! <laughs> 
get to that scanner. Thanks a bundle. Don't look down. It'll only make you crap yourself. Jammed. Kick it or something. Thanks again. I hate these sickos, and you're a real help. You are blessed by her devouring touch. Fresh targets over here. This is food for the God Queen herself. May we all be so lucky. in my office. Clay says you're hunting down a traitor. Good luck. I'm gonna stick around and shoot COV. It's a living. Nice meeting ya. IDs, the loot tracker should lead us straight to the fragment and the traitor. <laughs> Gotta say, I never thought I'd be using the loot tracker to hunt down a traitor. Maybe it really is right about point. All comes down to a page. Tracker money can buy. Beats drones, 
bots, you name it, in every conceivable test. And without further, you know, that fancy word for waiting, here it is. The Loot Tracker. Hell yeah, holographic monkey. Look to known smuggler secret. You want to find something? Use a jabber. Fast as hell, got a nose like a bloodhound. We digitized that little bastard so it doesn't crap everywhere. I ain't no turd farmer. Now follow that jabber. Ado! Ah, that's the word. Without further ado, learn that from a guy I killed. Real egghead. Holding a book and everything. You know, despite being betrayed by one of my own, it feels good to be back in the field. Even vicariously. That's a fancy word to learn from that nerd I killed. Helpful guy. Maybe should have chatted him up a little more before I offed him.
fragment. Fragment acquired. As I knew you would, Vault Hunter. After all this is done, you should join the rogues. We could use someone like you. I should tell you, Aurelia offered me a small fortune to turn against Wainwright, y'all, but I didn't take it. Montgomery Jacobs was the closest thing to a father I had. Well, those Calypso twins murdered him, and Aurelia helped. So when you and Wainwright are ready to make a move, you let me know. And for the record, I ain't in it for the money. One fragment down, two to go. Nice. Galax is interesting company, but I guess we can't get rid of him. A new ship AI. I'm intrigued. Lisps denote supreme intelligence, you know. That leaves only one more fragment. Once you acquire it, I will join you at the vault. Tannis, I don't like this. Lilith, I understand your concern, but the facts remain. The Calypsos will come to feed on the Vault Monster. My presence is required to ensure that when they arrive, their dinner plate will be empty. Trust me, Lilith, it has to be me. It's her choice to go down, Lilith. And we have to do something where the Calypsos get exactly what they want. I know that. Tannis, I trust you. It's your call. Thank you, Lilith. And Ava? Human emotions are well outside of my expertise, but I must state the obvious. Troy Calypso killed Maya, not Lilith. There is enough fighting going on out there. This may not have been the family you signed up for, but it is the one you have. Tannis, I... Ugh. She'll figure it out. So what's the plan, Lilith? Wainwright knows where the final key fragment is. We go for the vault. This time, if the Calypsos come, we'll be ready for them. Wainwright seemed pretty revved up. I can't blame him. Who wouldn't jump at the chance to take back what was stolen from them? Good luck, Vault Hunter. Don't worry, I got this ship on lockdown, baby. Oh, thank goodness you've come! My babies are gone! A pack of filthy jabbers stole all of my precious baby stones! Rock babies, huh? Putting you in the weirdo column. Just find those jabbers and utterly eviscerate those filthy organisms! Uh, sorry, it's just living things are so disgusting with their skin and orifices. Oh, it's revolting! Spent years searching for Brown Box and barely scraped together my prize collection. Please find my beautiful specimens. Hey, chill, man. It's just a rock. These are more than rocks, damn it! They're my whole world. They're all I have. They're even named after me. One three nine point three seven seven Brown Rocks, or Brown Rock for short. Although they're actually quite an exquisite gold color. And I don't care! Just find them! Hell yeah!
people are trying to sleep! Transformation of the brown rocks calcite during recrystallization, which causes a unique form. Thank you for recovering my precious, helpless little specimens. Finally, I may continue my research. Alone. Blissfully apart from all the filthy organisms that inhabit the universe. I no longer have need of your assistance, so... Die! <laughs> Vault Hunter, I got the fire in my breast and a gun in my hand. We gonna take back the last key fragment and I figured out where it is. The Jacob's Powder Cellar. What's a powder cellar? Well, that's where my family cascades our signature gunpowder. My father must have hidden the fragment in a barrel of Grand Reserve black powder before the Calypsos arrived. Clay knows a secret way to get in. Go and meet up with him. This'll require a two-pronged attack. Vault Hunter, while you infiltrate the cellar, Alistair and I will slip past the Harpy's Zealot Guard. Tonight, we take back Jacobs. Here, here. I'm over by the waterfall when you're ready, Vault Hunter. Friggin' bandits. Over here, Vault Hunter. Mm. Follow my lead. Montgomery Jacobs showed me this little side entrance back in my smuggling days. He was a great man. And I owe it to him to see that the Jacobs Corporation gets back in Jacobs' hands. Wainwright will make a damn fine head of the company, assuming any of us make it out of this alive. Let's get a move on. Here we are. Secret passage behind a waterfall. Classic. Yeah, Jacob's family loves their secrets. This passage will put you right underneath this state. Stay smooth, operator. That passage should have put you smack dab in the powder cellar. The barrel delivery pipe ain't far. Get moving and watch your stray shots. That's it! Die! Hey! Die! Oh, 
use old booze barrels to give every shot from a Jacob's weapon the proprietary aromatic profile our customers trust and love. Every batch is unique. I prefer an oak brandy cask myself. Oak takes longer than you think, but it's worth the wait. Alistair and I are nearly to the delivery controls. Vault Hunter, clear the room. We can't let that key fragment get into zealot hands. We're ready for ya!
this thing. I should not point out the code written on the ceiling. What? Oh, damn. Blue lever, white button, brass chain. Alistair, you beautiful bastard. This is it. Ball Hunter, press the button. <laughs> Got the grand reserve. Ha <laughs> ha, what'd I tell you? Easy as pie. Key fragments should be right inside. Team success is what that is. Now we can open the vault. Come meet me and Alistair near the gardens. I'll open up the way for you. Just follow the conveyor system out of that room. Uh. You're on your way. That'll take you to the distillery room. You're coming up on it now. This wing of the house has been poorly tended to since even before the harpy got her frigid claws on it. My father considered groundskeepers to be a useless frivolity, like lullabies or birthday parties when all I wanted was a damn clown who could tie balloon animals! Yeah, sorry, tamping that one back down now. Aurelia, as your brother, I implore you to stop this. Step aside, Alistair. Well, I trim the last loose end of the Jacob's line. If you want to kill Wayne Wright, then you will have to. Oh. Yes, I know.
Alistair! Alistair, are you all right? Me? What about you? You were shot just as much as I was. Oh, I'll be fine. Not the first time I've had lead in my belly. Just have to clench! Ha! <laughs> oh! Thank you, Vault Hunter, for giving her every chance and for humoring a blinded fool of a brother. You two gonna live? You got a little shot. We will survive the trip back to the lodge. It's up to you to finish the task, Vault Hunter. Right, the vault. To reveal the entrance, you'll have to solve some light statue-based riddles out in the gardens. Can't you just tell me the answers? Oh! Oh, I do apologize. Are you hearing this, Alistair? The Vault Hunters lost all whimsical intrigue. Forgive Winnie, he gets cranky when he's been shot. Do just try solving the riddles, Vault Hunter. The first statue is out there on the terrace. You just have to recreate how the subject did. Once you clear the path to the vault, I will join you with the rest of the vault key. <clears throat> That's the founder himself. Singleton got held up, and all he cared to do was inspect the bore of the robber's rifle. That is, until the robber shot him in the face. Head to the menagerie next. This menagerie was installed by my great uncle Maddox. Maddox didn't trust a soul. The man preferred having bars between him and the rest of the world. He once measured his spaghetti on the suspicion that his cook was short noodling him. Fuck next life! Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back.
or some such thing. An innovator till the end, my grandpappy was. See, you sniffed all those riddles out like a saurian in heat. Head back to the terrace. There'll be a switch to reveal the entrance to the vault. See, Winnie? The vault hunter enjoys solving elaborate puzzles as much as you do. Yes. Yes, I do suppose the heart of an adventurer still beats within you, vault hunter. I'm adventurous as hell! I've eaten street meats you've never yeah. even heard of. Honestly, fry anything and I'll eat it. There she is, Vault Hunter. My family legacy. A small price to pay, I think, for bringing the Jacobs Corporation back into its rightful hands. You have my thanks. Head to the vault. I will meet you there. Outlaws? Bounty? That's all I need to hear. Count me in. Good, you made it! The Fragment, Vault Hunter. We haven't much time. Forgive me. It's a thing I heard someone say once, and I always wanted to try it. Anyway, there's no time for parlor tricks. I will assemble the vault key. Ah, hello, Vault Hunter. I trust you know where to put that.
Janice, you can do this. Let's give it a try. You may want to stand back. As I said, experimental tech. Yes, it's working. I hope. Janice, you all right? Just a little more. Ah, <laughs> excellent, it worked. I told Lilith it would. Sir Hammerlock once told me that when hunting a beast, it's best to deny its sustenance. Starving creatures make mistakes. Now Tyrene Calypso will be unable to derive power from the Vault Monster. What the actual dick? Did you just kill the Vault Monster for real? Come on! Now there's no point in any of this! <laughs> I'm so hungry! Uh, I guess I'll... I don't know, leech a pile of tanks? They're like popcorn shrimp, but more... screamy. You guys really suck, you know that? Totally uncalled for. It seems we're alone. You may proceed into the vault to collect your loot. Meanwhile, I will examine the Iridian technology out here. connected to the Promethea vault you opened, as well as Pandora, and a fourth vault symbol I do not recognize. Could Tyreen Calypso be telling the truth about the Great Vault? I am concerned. Come out and we will return to Sanctuary together. Lilith will want to hear about this. Lilith, the Calypsos just took Tannis. No! Damn it! Vault Hunter, I need you back on Sanctuary, now! I should have known. Should have seen it coming. Exactly what I was afraid of. Stop talking about Tannis like she's already dead. There's still time. Incoming transmission. Of course. We kidnapped your scientist. If you want to see her alive, it's, it's not, not gonna, gonna happen. happen. Yeah, cause you eat butts. <laughs> Skag butts. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> Did you guess? Cool masks, right? Pre-order bonus. Time so, spoiler, we are crazy close to opening the Great Vault. We found the key, BT Dubs, and it is huge! So we need a crap ton of Viridium to charge it, and you know what that means. Let's drive! And since our followers go ape shit every time we maim or murder one of you, we put the next one up to a vote! Would you believe it? Weird Scientist was our most requested murder. Beat out annoying robot by just a bit. Damn it! Speaking of murder, Carnivora is getting hungry. Show starting soon, and it's gonna be a killer. Tannis. They're gonna kill her if we don't do something! Tannis risked everything to keep Tyrene from getting to that vault monster. She deserves better than dying for the entertainment of two psychopaths. We're going back to Pandora. Vault Hunter, save her. 
Calypso's mentioned a Carnivora. Go find Vaughn. I sent him to an old Crimson Raiders outpost in Devil's Razor. He's been monitoring COV movements. He'll know what's going on. You got this, Vault Hunter, you freaking animal. Go save that science lady. <sighs> Them COV are trying to find a new mouthpiece. Let's stop them. Since you went and wasted the big talking mouthpiece, the Calypsos are casting for a new loud mouth. What do you say we interrupt them tryouts? With bullets. But first, we need to get you an audition. Go track down the entry requirements. Auditions. Steal the Hammer Clan's banner. Blow up the War Pig's War Pig. And, uh, I don't know. Loot Putter Gunk's Strong Box. Bring your special offerings to the Holy Broadcasting Center or we'll kill you on sight. Good luck! Sounds like you know what you gotta do to crash those trials. Get to it, Val Hunter!
first. Some mouth breather named Blargma. So, why should you be our new mouthpiece? What? <sighs> Are you here to audition to be the next mouthpiece? What? That war pig is fast, amigo. You might need a vehicle to hunt down that horse. I'll whip you, bloody. Whip your own spine. Now that's the kind of fire we're looking for. But no second chances in showbiz. Finish him. <laughs> You got all those audition requirements. Good stuff, VH. Now head to the Holy Broadcast Center. It's showtime. And there's another audition going out over the Echonet. Now this guy seems to fit the bill. Yeah, maybe. Whatever. Yes! The God Queen should name me the new mouthpiece. I'm sorry. Did you just tell me what I should End him now! What? No! no I, I, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to! I dig her coat. Want it. Me too. The great vault beckons. Come on in. Resist. What? A vault thief. Kill them. Out. Ah. Out. Ah. Ow. Ah. Though I shiver. Now get in there and don't leave any of them. Oh, my God. 
everywhere. Doodles! Losers. Open wide! Well, those two are like bar kid larvae. Don't let them get under your skin. Seriously. You know, I heard that mouthpiece fella kept a stash somewhere near his organ. Maybe give them keys a tickle and see what happens. Someone up is to shoot him in the face. Good work, VH. Hi, hello. I'm alive for now. It seems Iridian professors are like vault keys. Everyone wants a piece. Gallows humor aside, a rescue would be quite welcome, as I'm to be tortured and killed for the amusement of the crowd. I still have some tricks up my sleeve, but I fear using them would only change the method of my death. Welcome to my new clan, the Pectoral Liberation Alliance. Nah, I'm just kidding. Go Crimson Raiders! <laughs> Remember me, Vaughn? How could I forget? Those undies are burned into my retinas. Anyway, I'm glad you came along. It has been hell defending this place since Troy Calypso snatched our turrets with his crazy powers. I love those turrets. Oh, right, the mission. Okay, Lilith says you're here to save Tannis. Now, if Carnivora has her, you gotta get a move on. Who the hell is Carnivora? No, it's not a who, it's a what. Carnivora is a giant festival run by two murder streamers named Pain and Terror. You can find it in the Splinterlands, bro. Carnivora is the most popular Calypso fan stream in the galaxy, bro! Pain and Terror take kill requests non-stop in the name of the Calypsos, and of course high viewer counts. 
Anyway, I can help you get to Carnivora, but getting in might be a different story. Vault Hunter, I know I don't need to say this, but we are not losing anyone else. We'll get her out, Commander. No soldier left behind. My imminent murder is whipping these cultists into a frenzy. They're delivering Iridium by the armful, screaming my name all the way. I had no idea I was so popular amongst the idiot masses. I suppose you never know where flattery is going to come from. If you're hearing this, the job is yours. I don't care who you are. I just need someone to take my jackass of a pappy on a drive round for the errands. But mostly just to get him out of my hair for a minute. Come on by my place and pick him up. Hey, hey you! Yes, you! Whoever's listening to this! I'm in a bind, okay? I need these Dynasty Burgers delivered to people in the area. And I mean right away! Go on, do it! And if you see any of my competitors' signs, shoot them down and I'll give you some extra time. Another classless request, another seven-year-old job to do. The Lord of Skags needs your help freeing Pandora from the tyranny of Hugsack or whatever. Go see if he still needs help. You made it to the Splinterlands! Alright, Carnivore should still be nearby. The festival moves around Pandora, setting up wherever there's enough crazies to fill the bleachers. They've been camped out here for a while now, so... I guess the sacrifice business must be a moment. You'll, uh, you'll know it when you see it. That's not good. <laughs> I'm feeling it.
scrub. Try to get me now. Finding cover.
just one shot of car. Hop on in and drive it to the festival gate. Enjoy the murder circus, y'all. I hope you're making progress on my rescue. I can hear saw blades beginning to spin up. I wonder what RPM would be needed to turn human blood into an aerosol on impact. I will keep you updated.
up the Blister Sisters! These couple of local famous. These gals said they want to chase down by fire-breathing spider ants! And I said to Terror, I said, we have a sacred duty to make these gals things to be true. So damn it, we made it happen! Release the spider ants! Boy! Those spider ants, they love killing humans, and I get it, I get it! Nice soft meat, no exoskeleton, slow running speed, just a really charmable species we are, huh? Anything that delays them is good news. Sorry for that, folks. Just a few technical difficulties on our end. Some must have. Ooh, looks like we got a late entry today. And viewers, this one's a doozy. You know them, you hate But hey, kid, you can't hit the big time that easily. Terror, let's take this show on the road. Yo, Lilith, the festival is driving away. Tannis is still on board that thing. Run it down!
built by human hands, Carnivora! First rule of showbiz, kid. If you can't keep up, you get left behind in the dust. Terror! Punch it! I think I've identified this monstrosity's weak points. Despite its bulk, it's very fast. You'll need to destroy its fuel lines if you have any hopes of slowing it down. That's all I need to hear. Count me in. What the hell is happening? Why is nothing working? Terror! Fix this! Get the engineers back in here. I want the Agonizer 9000 back up and killing! Now! 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 Vault Hunter! I'm running out of time! Round a gun, Jack!
Anybody counting? I like Detroit better. There. Nice. Incompetent sweat weasels. Every minute we aren't killing people, we lose half a million subscribers. What's that? Terror? Terror's giving me a great idea. Until we get the Agonizer 9000 working, we're gonna broadcast the Vault Thief while they murder our crew! How's that for entertainment, huh? Serving up fresh hot day. Ah! Uh. 
for a scrap.
That's taken care of. You must have questions. I can explain. Go ahead, make your observation. So, you're a super secret siren? Yes. That is how I have been speaking in your head and charging the vault keys. As for my particular powers, I am able to manipulate machines and anything else with a current. It is known as phase shifting. You could call it a gift from a guardian angel. I had intended to keep this a secret, but best laid plans, robotic murder machine. Well, you were there. And now the whole galaxy knows. I'm a star. <laughs> See you back aboard Sanctuary, Vault Hunter. Oh, and thank you for the rescue. The Vault Hunter is here. Hey, killer. Thanks for rescuing Tannis. Seems like no matter what happens, I can always count on you. I wanted to tell you, but these days being a siren puts a target on your back. We should deal with the matter at hand. Though the Vault Hunter cut off the Calypso's pledge drive, they have already collected massive amounts of iridium. They are preparing to use it for something. Perhaps to open the Great Vault. Wait, you saying the Great Vault actually exists? Yeah, I'm with the Vault Hunter. What? I am merely addressing the evidence we have at hand. Lilith, if the Great Vault is real, there must be a creature of incredible power within. The Calypsos are already monsters. I don't want to see what happens if they steal that kind of power. When I was taken, they held me at a stronghold where they were amassing all of their Iridium offerings. Whatever their plan entails, it will happen there. Then that's where we strike. Killer, head down to Roland's Rest and tell Vaughn to rally the raiders. We're ending this. Launching an attack on the Calypso stronghold, it's about time! I'm all in, bro! I'm through being the Calypso's plaything! Blood feud! Hear me, bros and bronettes! This is our moment! We're gonna ride to the Calypso's gates and show those posers what happens when you mess with the Crimson Raiders! Holy crap, Spackle. Those wheels are bad to the max badass. 
customer, dude! You're attacking us? Are you serious? Eat turrets, you shit waffles. Ah, craps. I was wondering where those went. Later, Crimson Traitors! Run, 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 run! Everyone, run! Outside! She has been turned! <sighs> Lord of Skaggs? I haven't heard that name in like seven years. That's some serious lag. I'm just Edgrin now, but tyranny still reigns over Pandora. I'm talking about the most fiendish evil of all. Bandwidth throttling. There's a Hyperion Echo Net Hub nearby. You gotta get over there and smash that throttler for me. Back in the glory days, I was known as Lord of Skaggs. That's right, you're in the presence of Pandora's former most elite pro gamer. Fourteen years old and I was on top of the world. Pro gamer? Kill me in real life, then... It's a viable career path. Anyway, I was the best. Even better than Handsome Jack himself. And that tryhard did not like getting outplayed by kids. So he installed an Echo Throttler. The Ugthack. Used it to fast lane his own connection and slow the rest. I'm talking whole milliseconds of lag. <sighs> it was a slaughter. That's the Echo Net Hub. The Ugthack is somewhere inside. Careful, there's COV swarming all over the place.
more evil than I imagined. Crush wrecked that thing and I can finally get my connection speeds back up. Well, crap titties. That's a Hyperion firewall. I can't get through that. But I think I know someone who can. The Vault Thief is coming for Oak Our divine distributor of pings! Rend them, brothers and sisters! Hold them off, Vault Hunter! Here they come!
So, full disclosure, Vault Hunter, I was never gonna go back to pro gaming. I aged out. I'm not 14 anymore. Gotta grow up sometime. Nowadays, I make my living mining Becco wafers. It's a crypto coin, you know? A big, pretty cool. I don't have time to explain how it works, but now that my bandwidth is straight up banging, I'm gonna be freaking rich! Thanks, Vault Hunter! I'm gonna make so much freaking money on crypto coin! So hey, how about you take all this stupid paper money? I'm certainly not gonna need it anymore! <laughs> Don't say things like that.
only take a tick. And while I finish up the cake, why don't you go around back and fetch me some candles? And by candles, I mean sticks of dynamite. and we'll get this vengeful show on the road! Now, take it on over to the Flaming Fist compound. I won't tell you how they got their name, but let's just say a swabble lard goes a long way. Anyway, tell them the cake is for the Fist King's birthday. Cake delivery for, uh, Fist King? Cake? Oh, hell yeah! The king is gonna twist his fist over this! Send it down! Go on! Light the candles and give it a shove! Shove it! Shove it hard! <laughs> Happy birthday, Fist King! already gotten around about Beatrice's infamous exploding cakes, and orders are shooting through the roof over here. Guess you done me two in one there, Vault Hunter. Oh, I was saving this pinata for an extra special birthday event, but I think you've earned a whack or two at it. It's all yours, Vault Hunter. Rare antlered spider ant. I must have it on my credits and kill it. Indeed, I shall hang mercenary day decorations from those antlers. Ha <laughs> 
Claptrap? What are you doing out here? Are you kidding? When I heard Mysterious Lear was recording an episode on Pandora, I had to come help! I'm a huge fan! I subscribed and everything! That was you? Oh, well, have you seen Private Francis around? Oh yeah, he's all over the place. There's some Francis on the walls, some Francis on the floor. I think I saw a pile of Francis over there. Our lead is dead? Aw, oh, man. No way! A mysterious Leorito never gives up! This trash heap is now a crime scene! And we're going to solve it! Oh, 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 I can be your co-host! The Vault Hunter is the co-host. Then I accept your offer to be co-co-host! <sighs> I got nothing. This is pretty standard Pandora stuff. Ugh, it's not a murder without a body. I got nothing. This is pretty standard Pandora stuff. Ugh, it's not a murder without a body. Digested, dude. Hey, that could be a
excited about helping, and he's our only subscriber, but I really think we should look at that pipe back at the crime scene. Can you go talk to him? Claptrap, this isn't helping anything. We should look at the pipe, like Ava said. Hmm. You're right. Your investigation has stalled. I see what's wrong. You're only looking for big chunks of Francis. We gotta get the tiny stuff. We're gonna pick up every toenail, every eyebrow, every vertebrae. Get it down with the fine tooth comb. Ooh, awful teeth. Awful teeth gotta get the teeth. That's not the way to do this, Claptrap. Look, I checked Private Francis's assignments, and he was outfitted with a head-mounted echo cam. We only need to find the head, and we'll have footage of what happened to him. Stop telling me I'm wrong! I'm your biggest fan, and that means you have to listen to my theories! Francis was sent here to monitor a bandit chief named Beef Pliskin. Turns out, he made his war camp in the same old doll mining facility the pipe is coming out of. That's a pretty solid lead. Fine! You can chase down your silly little clue that'll go nowhere while I break this case toenail by toenail. Let's investigate this beef guy. Try knocking on the door to the facility. <laughs> okay, we'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> Nuh-uh, I am not chasing you on a big magnet again. I'm taking this one. That was one time! Hey, you've reached the holy war camp of B. Bliskin. If you are a rival sect of the Children of the Vault looking to wage sin war upon us, please use the loading dock entrance on the south side of the building. For business inquiries, press 2. Well, it's gotta be two, right? Hey there, bud. Beef Bliskin. How can I help you? Hey, I'm looking for a human head. Like, a specific Crimson Raider one, not just any head. Uh, it's for a podcast. Oh, I love podcasts! Which one? Have I heard of it? It's called mystery ishness. Man, I always forget. Oh, right, it's on the mission tracker. Uh, mysteriouslier. Mysteriouslier. Never heard of it, but I'm always looking for something new. You got a new subscriber, bud. Back off! I'm the only fan they need. Hey, <laughs> fine. I don't have a ton of free time anyway. And I still need to catch up on my actual play Bunkers and Badasses podcast. Hey everyone, time to kill these jerks! Good work pissing him off, Mohos. You'll see me in our grave. We protect you! Well, you draw their attention! I'm chilling around!
percent of all new podcasts. Look it up. People just lose interest once it becomes a job.
that head. I was here for it. We can't trust eyewitnesses. Use your brain, co-host. We figure out what happened from the clues he left behind. This boss arena is now a crime scene. No, what we need to do is find Francis's head. You're still stuck on old clues. A true mysterious Leorito knows that the only clue that matters is the most recent one. I'll bet I can open any hatch in this place and find a better clue than you. You okay? What'd you find? I found the food we need! <sighs> Come on down! Uh, what do you found? Look, this pipe led to the first murder scene the whole time. I found Francis's head in this dumpster. I can't believe I'm saying this, but good job, Claptrap. Sounds like I should be co-host, and you should be co-co-host, recruit. Don't push it. Now let's play back Francis's last recorded entry. Watch and learn, co-co-host! Please. Please. I did everything you wanted. I brought them to the vaults you showed me. Just let me go. You have been most useful. Your actions have adjusted the course as intended, but no one can know of this. Why are you making me pour sardine oil everywhere? The skies are very efficient. No! Stay away! Good Skaggy! Good Skaggy! Wow! So the whole mystery was that this guy was an idiot! Everyone knows Skaggs loves sardine oil. <laughs> no wonder he got eaten. Vault Hunter, this is exactly what happened to the guy on Eden 6. And we never got to hear from the guy on Promethea, but he killed himself after committing a murder. I think we're actually onto a supernatural murder spree. <clears throat> but even as that thought makes a chill go down our spines, so too has the trail gone cold. We're left with a dead end and only questions to keep us company. Three seemingly unrelated victims, all sharing a bizarre cause of death. Each case growing more and more mysteriously. -er. Thanks for listening. Supernatural murder spree? Well, this podcast has officially jumped the June Pie Diamond Shark. One star, unsubscribe. Click. You 
here for the job? Good. It's about damn time somebody came by for it. Well, the jackass is in the car over there. Go ahead and take him around till he quits yipping. You ungrateful little... Wow, let me in your eyes just like when you were a human. You were a mistake then and you're still a mistake now! Yeah, whatever you say, you rotten old bastard! Bring him back to me after his errands. Or don't. Might be doing me a favor. I don't know who you are, but you're clearly a turd taco in a stank-ass tortilla. Who needs you? Not me, that's for damn sure. Now get to driving. Now don't drive like a maniac. You hear me, you walking pit stain? Oh, you're just terrific. Like I care what you think. I bet Lizzie would be happier than a skag in scat if I never came back at all. If you keep me alive, I'll make sure you get your money. Now get to killing, you useless crap factory! use a mudslide to put him out of business. Now I'm meeting up with a trader to make a deal on his prize coin collection. What the hell are you waiting for? Would you slow down already? This ain't some kind of death race. Don't make me take that wheel away from you. Friggin' bus rag! Hell yeah! Slow the hell down, you bucket of syphilitic piss! For the Calypso! Vaulty Vault! Help! Hey, Vault Hunter! Need your help! your empty friggin' head. I can smell that sniveling coin trading pile of crotch right from a mile away. Go find them! <laughs> Looks like the bandits got him, which means I don't have to pay for the coins. All right, new plan, you taint liquor. Head into that bandit camp and get that coin collection. The vault thieves continue to carve a path through your brothers and sisters. It is the COB who have done nothing. My Uh, 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 uh,
Listen to that COB trash for one more minute. I was gonna jam cocktail onions in my ears. Ha! Yes! Now bring them coins on back to Pappy and we'll get a move on. And hurry up, Grendel Sweat! Ain't got all day! This son of a bitch dentist stole my good dentures and I want them back! Said he wanted extra teeth for his teeth or some bandit nonsense. Get me them teeth! and get that son of a bitch out here! What do you want? Pappy needs his dentures. I don't know what the flaming crap you're talking about. No, his teeth! Take his teeth, you maggot-infested foreskin! Nobody's taking my teeth! When I say pick it up, you pick it up! Jump through the hoop, dog! Now get over here and take me home! I said now! Don't expect me to get all sappy and go off thinking you're nothing. Just take me home, you shit dip tortilla chip! Slow down already? This ain't some kind of death race! Now get out of my car, you trucking idiot! Hey, Lizzie! Give them all that money I keep beneath the mattress! Oh, good. He's back in one piece. Hooray. Thanks for getting him out of here for a bit. Even if it was only a few minutes of peace and quiet, it was blissful. Here's Pappy's cash stash for ya. I keep hating you from hell!
those rascals from the festival borrowed spare parts from our homestead. Now, I don't mean to be a fussy neighbor, but we can't even keep the skags out or turn the lights on anymore. Paul usually takes care of this sort of thing, but he's out on chores. So could you be a dearie and go get the parts back from those rascals? Sure, I'm always up to chase down some rascals. Paul and I are simple folk. We settled out here on account of the isolation rather than despite it. Just honest people, working the honest land, building honest superconductors out in the shed, the way it's meant to be. Thanks, dearie. 
The radio's an awfully antiquated way to spread your message. Maybe now they'll splurge on something with a little shine, like a hyperfiber Q3 echo line with whisper encryption. Gets the soaps like a snap. Now you've unborrowed all our spare parts, come on back to the homestead, dearie. I hate to be a bother to you. Usually Pa's the one to settle up on these neighborly disagreements. He's just got a way with people. <laughs> you are too kind, dearie, returning those parts to us. If it ain't too much trouble, would you mind reinstalling them? My hip's been acting up ever since I tweaked it hauling that reactor core up a flight of stairs. Good fences make good neighbors, and electrified fences make well-behaved neighbors. <laughs> Power's back on! I was worried my custard would go bad right there in the icebox. And now the specimens won't come out of cryo sleep. Anyway, sure is nice to have some help around here. I am astonished by the kindness of strangers. I must insist on some payment. Come on over! The creek's been dry nearly a week now. And let me tell you, the fuel rods need a cooling and the bark root needs a watering. Paul ran off into the canyon to get them water flowing again, but I ain't seen hide or hair of him. Go get the water running, will you, dearie? I'm not too worried about Paul. He's always getting himself into trouble. I like that about him. He's like the firewater in my iced tea or the proton bombardment on my bismuth. Is that a good thing? Well, sure it is, dearie. How the heck else you gonna get polonium 209? Take care of yourself out there, dearie. Stay hydrated and watch your step for loose rocks. Don't want to twist anything. Oh, and beware for Malingua. Think of quill and ravenous of long. Twisted and pasted. Check out that body count. die then stay oh thank you ordinarily i don't take too well to strange visitors trespassing on our land but given your fine timing i truly appreciate the rescue ma sent me what the hell were you doing in that skag i must confess my ingested state was self-inflicted that hungry devil ate all my dynamite so i dove right down its gullet I didn't see my dynamite on my pilgrimage through its insides, so I reckon the devil must have pooped or puked it out. Same thing for a skag. 
If you're here to help, get to digging around in them scat piles, visitor. This damn excrement's been keeping the crop waters from reaching our humble homestead. Now we got all the dynamite, we can set about undoing Vermilingua's mighty works. Stick them implements of destruction right there in the offending center mass. Finally placed. An eye for demolition on you, visitor. Now, sink the plunger and blow that poop dam straight to perdition. Another day, another atomized cloud of crap. From the fires of destruction flow the waters of life. A fine job, visitor. Now, I seem to have lost my watch while on my intestinal pilgrimage. Go and let Ma know I'm intact, though I reckon the stench of our victory may have already wafted her way. Paul got himself ate by a skag again, didn't he? Well, I can hardly complain when I've got running water flowing to my crops and rods, can I? Homestead's better than ever. Here's something to pay for your dry cleaning, dearie. Oh, and I think Paul's got one more job for you when you got the time. The homestead ain't safe yet. Them pilfering devils out in the Splinterlands won't be happy that you so kindly returned what they stole. They'll be back to take more than spare parts next time. Now I'm quick with the knife, but we need a little more hellfire for what I believe's coming our way. I think it's time to wake Bessie. Bessie? Our child, in a manner of speaking. Ma and I, well, we each got our virtues, as well as our sins. I reckon we put just about everything of both into Bessie. Go on, visitor! Start her up! Aw, oh, you know Bessie's a fussy girl. Watch minds of her logic echelon need a complex blend of fuel, precisely mixed. Ma's right. Visitor, you just gotta open the valves in the right order. Hop on up. That's got the colloidal cobalt flowing. Next valve's across the way. See it? <laughs> That'll be the quantum brine. Next one's tight, Barry. Might have to knock it loose. Good fortunes! You didn't set off the night fire oil. Last valve's up top, visitor. <laughs> Ah! 
Time to wake up, Bessie dear. And just in time, I reckon, the devils are crawling out of hell right to our doorstep. You and Bessie go and ask them nicely to leave, would you? Are you looking for a protein snack right Always make sure the only visitors we have is the ones we want. As long as the family sticks together, the homestead's safe. Visitor, come by the porch. Our humble homestead is both preserved and replenished, and we have you to thank for that, visitor. You really didn't need to go out of your way for us, dearie. But me, Pa, and Bessie want to thank you for all your help. And you'll always be welcome at the homestead. Films are just terrible. Oh, hi, Vault Hunter. You are just the person I didn't know I wanted to see until I did see you there. Would you look through the garbages for my Echo device? I have lots of money for some reason, and I will give you a bunch of it if you help me. The jerk who ran this place is called Roner. He trashed my Echo because he did not understand my cinematic vision, even though it's a really great vision. But Roner prefers only these terrible movies, these Troy personally. Messing with Troy? I'm in. Oh, uh, okay. Are all 
almost as amazing as myself. Now it's time to put my movie on the big screen. That one. Go plug it into the movie shooter, okay? Hell yeah! Wait! There's a Nova! Get her! movies now, okay? We are on edge of greatness here, my friend. Oh no! This is terrible! The projector ball broken now! You have to fix this thing, and I will give you more money bunches to do it too! They're messing with my projector! I'm gonna pull the bleeding looky balls out of whoever did this! Go track him down, you rebel! There are no bulbs in there? Uh... I'm thinking I saw that jerk Roner using bulbs for target shooting. Go do target shooting at him until he is dying. The gospel of the Calypsos will never be silenced! <laughs> Faces for the whole family! My destiny is becoming impatient. You know what to do. And if you don't, go replace that bulb. finally can be able to tell my parents I am famous film man. <laughs> Action! Now come back for your bunches of money. Where am I really? What is really You are the best Vault Hunter. Wow, after me. <laughs> so you are second best, which is still pretty good. I will be famous now for a thousand millions of years thanks to you, Vault Hunter. I can never repay you, but I will try with all of these bunches of money I am now giving to you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to practice my acceptance speech. the entire academy for this award for the best filmmaker in universe forever. This is great honor I am totally deserving of. My films are without doubting the highest quality cinematic excellence and I recommend you all watch them and enjoy them and learn from that. It is about passion and doing what you love. 
And then everyone will love you with a lot of passion, see? If you're me anyway. <laughs> All you have to do is follow your dreaming. I followed my dreaming and it brought me this. The award for best filmmaker in universe forever. Maybe if you follow your dreaming, you can do that too. Except uh, for I already did it and it's forever, so <laughs> good luck with that. You still doing that buck crap? She booms, okay? Doesn't that mean we're gonna have to open up the tunnel? It's full of COV! I know what I'm doing, just do it! Besides, we can waste a few COV. <clears throat> it's no problem. We got this. Let's do this, big man. All right, here it comes. Three, two, punch time! COV like a true badass. Hey, uh, guys. The base has been under attack while you're messing around with that tunnel. Thought I could hold them off, but they're gaining ground. Get back here! Come on, Vault Hunter! Morty's under attack! Let's go! It's time to save Boomtown! Boomtown? I thought we were calling it the Fortress. That's dumb as butt. We're calling it Boomtown because I said so. <sighs> And because I already made it. I don't see why you get to just. La 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 la! I'm listening to you! La 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 la! Boom town, boom town, boom town! <laughs> you two are so cute when you fight. Now let's go save Boom Town! Help me fight him off, Vault Hunter! We gotta secure our new turf! Show him what you got! Yeah! Take him down! Spectacular bombing prowess. You're welcome, everybody. We smashed them good, Vault Hunter, and took back Boom Town. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Morty, quit copying me. What? I thought we were like doing a thing there, man. We weren't. Yeah, Morty, we weren't. Ah, we're just kidding. You're all right, Birdman. 
got a favor to ask. Hey, Vault Hunter, you mind coming to a birthday party with me? Kid's name is Grace. Flips her shit over Vault Hunters, so I figure you and me showing up will blow her friggin' little mind. <laughs> Grab some of those flowers that grow up on the mesa on the way, then meet me at the party. Since we guys Jack, I've been thinking about the Crimson Raiders and Vault Hunters like us. I mean, we're sort of the only thing keeping this planet together, you know? died while I was off on Eden 6. Farkin's got her. I hate this planet sometimes. Just... just give her the flowers, okay? I need a minute. Well, good golly. More vault hunters at my Gracie's party. If she were alive, she'd be filling the sky with bullets and joy. Come on over and chat for a moment. Guess Gracie's death took Mordecai by surprise, but... I keep telling him this ain't a day for mourning. That's not what Grace would have wanted. Gracie, well, the markets took her from me. It means a lot to my girl that you're here. Let's start the party. Now, we've got all of Gracie's favorite games to play. Uh, tell you what, I procured a fine Jacob's pistol. It was for Gracie, but if anyone can beat her records, it's yours. Otherwise, I'll be burying that pistol alongside my little gunslinger. <sighs> Come on, y'all. Let's eat some damn cake. How's a cake eating contest strike your fancy vault hunter? Cake strikes my fancy just fine. Woohoo! My girl could put down cake like she had a tapeworm. Last year, she scarfed down 11 whole slices. Betting even you can't do more than that, vault hunter. Watch out, Gracie. <laughs> Looks like someone's coming for your title. Well, look at the Vault Hunter go! You really trying to break my dead little girl's record? That's... brave of you. Stop eating the cake. Just let Hersham have this. Woo! I knew not even a big bad Vault Hunter could break my Gracie's record. How about that, Gracie? That one's yours, baby, now and forever! Classy shit, Vault Hunter. All right, listen up. If my Gracie were alive today, and not in the ground, she would have challenged all y'all to a grenade chucking contest! Let's head to the range! Grace had the best arm in Wandering Sands. Her record's a big old 50 points. Good luck beating that, Vault Hunter. Hey, 
Hey, hey! Looks like our little Bobsy Tenderfoot doesn't want you to beat Brace's score either. Come on, Vault Hunter. Don't be a dick. Just say you're tired. Wow, you got guts for days, Vault Hunter. Waltzing into a little dead girl's birthday party and going after a record. Then again, Grace never backed down from a challenge. Guts for days. Oh, doggy, I knew you couldn't best my girl's record. Gracie, hun, even that big badass Vault Hunter couldn't beat you, sweetie. How about that? That took restraint, Vault Hunter. I seen what you can do. Good on you. Now to the shooting range. My girl's record on the shooting range is unbreakable. She was proud. Maybe too proud. Maybe that's why she thought she could go to the Mesa all by her lonesome hunting bar kids instead of listening to her father. Well, uh, let the games begin. He's not kidding. She was good. Real good. Would have been even better than me. Eat this planet sometimes. Feeding the birds. were deadly, but I didn't know they knew how to treat people right. Why don't you go ahead and whack the pinata? It's all yours. Whoa! What a party! Well, you got class, Vault Hunter. I appreciate you keeping Gracie's records alive like that. It keeps her close to me. And I got to thinking, the best place for this pistol is in your hands. Good hunting out there. Make my Gracie proud and go kill some Varkets for me. Good on you, Vault Hunter. I got a new mission, if you can find me. Nah, I'm in the same old place. All right, you ready for this girl? All right, you ready for this girl? Okay, so I needed someone to watch my fuzzy shanks, little hottie boy, Enrique the Fourth. And I thought I could trust my bestie pet skag with my sexy exy Shiga. But now she won't give him back. But that's okay. I think she's just having some, you know, some sad times right now. Because, you know, I broke up with her ass. But now she's holding my Enrique like a cuddle hostage. So here, take these happy little heart decorations and uh, we're gonna go get my skag back. Okay, great. Now get you over to Casa de Shiga. And then we're gonna brighten her day. Metaphorically. Go. No, not, not, not like the body. Trying to solve this one with smiles for change. Character growth, bitch! Yo, for reals though? I, I got to get my Enrique back. I killed a whole world for that sweet little monster boy. And I promised myself I What? What's all this culty crappity crap? <gasps> Shiga went and nested down with those crazy pants calypsos? 
She's a damn COV now? Oh, no, 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 no. Man, I knew something was bumming her out. Must be all this culty crap. Okay, cover it all up with my happy little hearts so she quits being such a uh, crazy pants. Okay? Making it all pretty. Making it all pretty. This a pretty ditty. Cause she could be a shitty bitty. Now go ahead and ring the bell and let's see if these hearts make she get happy again. Get lost, Vault Thieves! I ain't in the sacrificing mood! And take your stupid hearts with ya! Dude, just give us Tina's skag and we'll leave you alone. All right, sacrifice it is! Sick em, hounds! Chica, just give me back my Enrique sweetie buns and I'll call off the ruthless exterior decorator, okay? Every skag you've ever owned is dead! Enrique's better off with me! Oh, she did not. She did not just... Okay, we were trying to do this the nice way, but now this bitch gonna get it. She's gone. Get! No! I want to stand back. Kaboom! <laughs> now get in there and find my fluffy little joy muffin, Enrico Suave. And if she hurts, <clears throat> one sweet little scale on my sweet little boy's sweet little skag butt, I'm gonna rip her face, and I'll put her face down her own throat, and I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put it in a bomb, I'm gonna set it to space! Dark days, Tomodachi. When friends turn on friends, and Trixie ladies turn skag snapper. Anyway, here's your reward. Now leave me to my snuggles. <laughs> Who's the cutest skaggy bunny? Is it you? Is it you? Yes, it is you, Enrique. My snuggle mush tiny paws. I have a face. Where'd you get a face like that, huh? Did you cut it off a cuter skag and steal the cute? Did you steal the cute out of his very soul? Cutie pies until you turned into the cutiest of cutie pies. Oh, I bet you did. I bet you did, you little fatty. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm gonna eat you up. That's right. I'm gonna 
gonna start with your little toes, and I'm gonna season them with a very tasteful balsamic glaze, and I'm gonna put you in a little oven, and I'm gonna roast you at 350 degrees, and then I'm gonna gobble you up! Man, that got weird. Why do we always wanna eat cute stuff? Should I get that checked out? Anyway, what about just a nipple? Just a widow nipple. Jump, 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 jump! I'm gonna get you! <laughs> the mine's that way. When my siren powers first manifested, I knew I would need a covert area where I could experiment with them. Using an iridium-based amplifier in the open would draw unwanted attention, and this abandoned doll mining operation provided a perfect cover. Are these claw marks? Looks like Talon's been having fun. Hey, Vaughn Vaughn just contacted me, said he saw some COV chasing a bird through the mines. Must have been talent. Go track her down while I keep Mordecai busy. Mordecai already lost one bird. My dude can't lose another one. His heart will break. He's real sensitive, you know. You can. The route's blocked, Tennis. Well, you won't get in that way. I hope you don't mind hoofing it, as they say. Do you have hooves? Honestly, most people are just a senseless collection of shapes and colors to me. Her powers first manifested. Worth of electricity was coursing through my entire body. I laid my hand on a washing machine for balance and it instantly exploded. I was still finding loose socks weeks later. I realized I had no control over these new abilities. I needed to find some place where the only person I might accidentally kill was myself. Not entertained! Dead end. Come on, it's a mine. There's got to be some explosives you can use. <sighs> okay, I got all the stupid shock crystals. Who needed these again? No. Oh, uh, they're for some bounty board, dude. Brendan, uh, but like with the no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what's really going on, Brick? Nothing. Crystals. Nothing. Shut up. Leave me alone. <sighs> Friggin' bird already! 
That should be enough. Time to load up the cart. And just a little push. Talon located. In pursuit. Oh man, that's a relief. I, I gotta keep Morty busy. But you keep after her. Huh? Keep after who now? I already wasted all these bandits and collected all these rifle parts. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, the, the metaphorical her. Uh, the mission. Uh, keep after her, man. The mission. Yeah. Okay. We'll do, buddy. We'll do. <clears throat> Don't lose her. Morty's getting suspicious. Okay, I fetched all these boxes of cigars for some reason. Good work, Morty. We're doing important work out here. Wait, were you just talking to someone? No, you were. I mean, I guess I was talking to you. Thanks for proving my point. Now let's finish up this mission. Marked! Talon's back. Damn, that's good to hear. Talon's coming home. What was that? Oh, I said... <laughs> Fallon's coming home. You're being weird, Brick. No, I'm not. You are. Talon flew right past us, and Mordecai followed her. Let's go! What'd that thing do? Seriously, what'd that thing do? You're a good mama, Talon. I'm a proud Uncle Mordecai. Wait, 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 wait. You knew she was gone the whole time? <laughs> yeah, man. She's been going off by herself and setting up this nest for a while now. Looks like the Vault Hunter helped her get ready to feed the baby with that juicy brain. <laughs> hey, thanks for that. Looks like Brick had us both running all over the place today, huh? But it's all good, because the baby will have some food when he finally hatches. Thanks for looking after my girl. <laughs> I think Talon says thanks, too. More Wasted and pasted. We all know how this ends. I'm gonna try to get it
way is also blocked. I suppose it is my responsibility to walk you through each and every step. You must find a way to open those transport doors. In the galaxy, but the rarest food of all is love. The wrong fight! Okay. Those doors may require some vault hunter ingenuity. Which is to say, you should start breaking things with reckless abandon. You do you. Domination is proving oddly satisfying. Oh, right. Lilith usually offers some affirmation. One moment. Kudos. Yes, that will do nicely. Mine fill me with nostalgia. Ah, the good old days when I was an ambitious researcher, led only by limitless creativity and unbound by archaic concepts like
bridge. I must obtain my iridium amplifier if we are to stand a chance against those turrets. Wait, I lost count. Kudos! My lab isn't far now. As my professors often said, you're making progress. Now please put down the blowtorch. <clears throat> Next! broken. You will need to find another way underground. The lab entrance is in the large cavern. I'm not sure I can be more descriptive than that. It's a cavern, and it happens to be large.
<clears throat> you were looking for a saucy little minecart called Kate. She will show you the way. A brief and monstrous affair that ended when our tracks went separate ways, as they say. Ah, now, caress the minecart. Just trust me on this one. Oh, shut up. Kids, destroy them! If those things get into my lab, they could damage my precious equipment! Fire. We'll need to bring it back to Roland's rest. Disable those couplings to begin preparing it for transport. For the record, I never let anyone inside my lab. But for you, I will make an exception this time. Excellent! Now, lower the amplifier. I believe one of those switches is more than up to the task. Lilith always sends you to do, well, everything. For now, we can install the amplifier in Roland's rest. I've already instructed that human sculpture Vaughn to assist you in its transport. You can meet him in the garage downstairs. Hey, Vault Hunter. So, my head ghost told me to help you drive an Iridium whatever dealie back to Roland's rest for safekeeping. Still into it. Waiting for you outside. No rush. I got some sweet tunes. Oh, yeah, Digby Vermouth. Classic. That's a portrait of Handsome Jack, before he became the torturing, mass-murdering CEO of Hyperion. Back when he was just a coder, a husband, and soon-to-be father of the aforementioned Angel. There's a hidden chamber behind that portrait. You'll have to move it out of the way. Don't worry. That button is perfectly disinfected. I never even touch it with my hands. From our findings in the vault, I believe sirens are able to imbue memories into physical objects. It may not even be a conscious effort. I recovered one of Angel's childhood toys. Start there. You were looking for a stuffed toy Thracian tetra bear. Just as cuddly as the real thing, minus the neurotoxic claws. this guy? Captain Bear, he eats crime. Whoa, he must be eating a lot with that big belly, huh? Hey, Angel, darling, what, what's that on your arm? Did you do that? Blue, I don't know where it came from. Do you think it's pretty? Yeah, sweetheart, it's, it's real pretty. Hey, honey, can you get in here for a minute? I was correct. That was a memory from when Angel's powers first manifested. There are other items she might have interacted with. Look for an old vending machine. Help me! Goddamn! He's a crap asshole! What's an asshole? Oh, Angel, sweetheart, I'm sorry I didn't see you standing there. Uh, don't say any of those words that Daddy said, okay? Okay. Is the machine broken? Yeah, looks like no candy for us. Hey, 
Why don't you go back into the waiting room with mommy, darling? Huh? The doctor's gonna be here any minute, okay? I think I can fix it. What the hell did you just do, Angel? Like most sirens, it seems using her powers became instinctual soon after acquiring them. She had no concept of what a phase shift even was, only that she could talk to machines, and more importantly, that they listened to her. There should be a turret somewhere in the room. Find that next. Serving up fresh hot death. Trigger the memory. <clears throat> Mommy! Daddy! Help! Look! Bandit, just give us back our daughter, okay? Are you kidding? She's a freaking siren! I'm gonna be a trillionaire! You and your wife get out of here before I sick my turrets on you! Forget the kid! Go make another one! Get her off! Hey, what the? I wanna go home! Let's get down! Ooh. Ooh. No! No! Ooh. that it was enough to repower that turret. That terrified girl's scars run deep. There's one more artifact. Look for a Hyperion communication satellite. My sweet little angel, you're in that chair for your own good, okay? You're such an asshole! Language! Look, sweetheart, I can't let you out because of what you did to your mother, okay? I just couldn't bear it if something else happened to you. I didn't mean to. Shh, I know, darling. That's why you need to stay in that chair. But I got you something. That chair is connected to the entire Hyperion network. Now you can see through every satellite we own around every planet in the sky. You've got the best view in the whole universe from that chair. We're gonna work together. <coughs> you and me, kiddo. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. I love you, Angel. I love you too, Dad. <coughs> Angel spent most of her life chained to Hyperion technology. With those memories, I think I have enough to fix the water purifier now. Go to Roland's rest, and I will attempt to interface with it.
keep your distance. Those things are even uglier on the inside. Long story. Also, smash spider ants are a bandit delicacy. Just saying. COB! Let's mess them up! Welcome to the danger zone, punks! They're shooting at us! Metal to the metal! Just step on the thing with your foot! Just don't stop! We're hit! Cargo safe! Taking some lumps here, Vault Hunter. We gotta fight back! Got a couple of new tails, let's chop them off! More rigs incoming! Danger zone! Hunter, bro. <laughs> I gotta say, I've been on a lot of crazy road trips, but your driving skills, they're tasty, bro. They're tasty! So, if you want to ride sometime, you just let me know, bro. Bro trip! Whoa, sorry. I, uh, got a little carried away there. Anyway, we'll guard the Iridium flippity flu and rally the troops. When Lilith gives the word, it's go time. Oh, can you ask the lady ghost head friend to stay out of my head from 8 to 11? That's where I keep the special thoughts. Executing phase shift. makes much more sense now. Angel's memories did indeed contain the information I required. It seems the Hyperion water purifier had a planned obsolescence chip inside it. I'll simply override it and we can be done with this water chip nonsense. We did it, Vault Hunter! And all it took was reliving the traumatic childhood of a fallen angel. Let Vaughn know his water purifier is working once again. Again! That's awesome! Water Slide City, baby! Ooh, 
slick, wet, shiny, glistening. Oh yeah, also uh, no one's dying of thirst, so that's pretty good too. Okay, Tannis' iridium amplifier is in place, and Vaughn's forces on the ground are at the ready. We're not gonna get a better chance to move on the Calypsos. Incoming transmission from... Am I waving for something? The Calypsos, got it. This should be interesting. Hey, turd farmers! Check this out! Take a look out the window! Troy's about to blow your spine out your ass! Cut off his supply. Vault Hunter, once Tannis takes out those turrets, you lead a ground assault. Ground assaults are my specialty. And whoever has a death wish can take on Tyrene and Troy. Death wishes are also my specialty. Ava, you good to back up the Vault Hunter? Yeah, you sure? You were right. We gotta run towards the fire. Let's go, everyone. Vault Hunter, get geared up and say your goodbyes. This is it. Talk to me before you head down there, killer. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to do after Maya. Well, you know. But you just kept moving. You never let anything stop you, Vault Hunter. So let's take them down together. For Maya. You acquired my Iridian Amplifier! Well done! I always thought the Calypsos becoming gods was simply rhetoric. But if Tyrene leeches the monster in the Great Vault... Well, what is God but the most powerful being in the universe? Look, I'm basically an expert on saving the world. So here's a little advice for my favorite recruit. When you're staring down the ugly maw of death, just remember that there are plenty more Vault Hunters where you came from, so the Crips and Raiders will be just fine. That was my best pep talk yet! Vault <laughs> Hunter, you're alive! Ah, Vault Hunter! So, we've reached the proverbial end of the road, it seems. I have the utmost faith in your ability to throw your enemies screaming into the void. You typically do. But just to make sure, Wainwright and I want you to have this. This reminds me of the time I deployed the found. You serious? Don't touch that! It's an incredibly expensive, dangerous inch.
Vault Hunter, when you save the world, no one's gonna say oh Marcus didn't do his part. So just this one time, here's some ammo on the house. Don't tell anyone about this, and don't die down there. You're my favorite customer. Hey, sugar. Off to shut those Calypso twerps up for good, are ya? Well, I feel better knowing the fate of the world rests in your capable hands. Before you leave, you might want to give my slots one last go. I've got a feeling it's your lucky day. See you around, I guess. Well, well, well. I'd wish you good luck, but it doesn't seem like you need any more. I should get into Echo Cat. I'd say I hate to watch go, Vault Hunter, but me and you both know that ain't true. Protect that fine ass when you're down there. I'll be rooting for you. It has come to this. The battle to end a war. Crush them, Vault Hunter. That killer? Oh yeah, Iron Bear's jonesing for a fight. It's time to beat some COV ass and take down the Calypsos. Head to Roland's Rest. Vaughn and Tannis will be ready for you. It's on. Time to hike those Calypsos and save Pandora. Then we gonna party Baylax style. Vault Hunter, it is time! Once you take down those turrets, we'll storm the stronghold together! Well, time to be a hero! Whenever I imagined saving the world, it was always by curing a bioplague I'd accidentally unleashed. Man, that thing looks dangerous! So what, like it gives you superpowers or something? I kinda wanna lick it. I am ready. I hope. Oh, my! Oh, this bronet is charging! Go, 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 go! Siren Light! I feel powerful! She's flying! Vault Hunter, I'll meet you up ahead. If I'm to moonlight as a hero, I should use the vernacular, yes? It is go time! Ride, bro, ride! I'm waiting, Vault Hunter!
phase shift? Let the controlled chaos commence! I've taken over all the turrets and promised them amnesty. Please welcome the newest members of the Crimson Raiders. Hunter, Tina gave me these. You do the honors. What's up, door? You got nothing! Thanks, Tina! I got you, Ava! You my baby! Full moon party! Woohoo! I can feel that godfire pumping through my veins! I'm burning brighter than a supernova! Attention, Iridium Tear followers!
opening up a finely aged cask of whoop ass. Let's take the fight down. Drown the vault thieves in your own blood if you have to. I don't care. Just get it done. My reward.
Troy stopped charging Elpis. I got your back, Vault Hunter. Kill that maniac. For Maya. Yeah! Go team! <clears throat> Ain't that something? <clears throat> that was some good boom. <sighs> <clears throat> now stop Troy. Put an end to this. Supply. Where's Troy getting that kind of power? I have a theory, but you aren't going to like it, Lilith. Tyrene. He's using Tyrene. He's leeching his own sister to keep charging Elpis. Vault Hunter, you have to take out Troy. It's the only way. <laughs> Been waiting for this, Vault Thief.
some of this! Hi. We were so close. Uh, are they dead? never truly belonged to Troy. And now it seems they have found their rightful owner. Maya had a plan all along. <laughs> Those suit you, Ava. But what about you? It's over. That's what matters. Yeah. Wow, look. Beautiful. Terrifying, but beautiful nonetheless. Here, Ava. You take it. Well, where do you want to go? did it, Troy. Now let's finish this together. <laughs> Do you feel that? There's a god waking up beneath our feet. And we just took off its chains. Soon the destroyer will be free. Once I leech it, I'll be the only star left in the sky. Look Super fans? Or not. That's just something people say. <laughs> Game over, bitches! worked you catch on quick good save what's happening the 
great vault is opening. Pandora. Pandora is the great vault. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? What have you done? The universe is doomed! Whose echo is that? Vault Hunter, check it out. This is Moe's, copy. Who? Huh? How did you get this? No, you know what? It doesn't matter. This is Typhon de Leon. Listen up. You see that crazy beam of light shooting through the sky? Pretty cool, right? Well, that means the Great Vault is opening. And if it does, say goodbye to Pandora. So get your case to the Necro Feo now. Over here, killer. Gotta find some new tunes. You'd think there's only two. He said Typhon de Leon. Impossible. He's been missing for decades, ever since he vowed to find the legendary planet of Necrotefeo. Maya used to tell me stories about it. What is going on? Pandora's not a planet. It's the Great Vault. And Tyrene intends to leech the planet-sized monster within. The Destroyer. It's still alive. That's what Tyrene meant when she told me she'd finish what I started. There is still a vault here. Vault Hunter, you should go and see what is inside. I imagine we will need every advantage we can get. This isn't the Great Vault itself. The Calypsos were in possession of the Pandoran Key for quite a while. They could have looted this vault ages ago, but they didn't. Perhaps what is inside is not power, but knowledge. Knowledge that they already had. Incredible! That device appears to be capable of translating Iridian language. That's something that has eluded even the top researchers in the field for decades. And yes, I do mean me. This will need further study. Return to me, Vault Hunter. good. When you return to Sanctuary, please go to my lab first. I suspect that analyzer might be a missing piece in a puzzle I've been trying to solve. Back to the ship, everyone. We have to find Necrotefeo. And meet the Vault Hunter who started it all. I suspect this has something to do with the analyzer you picked up from the vault. See what happens if you use it. No making heads or tails of this. Can't read this nonsense. Feo's real? I thought it was just a myth. So did I. Typhon de Leon disappeared on his expedition to the Iridian homeworld decades ago. It seems he found it after all. Tyrene said the destroyer would be free soon. It'll rip the planet apart from the inside. If Typhon de Leon knows how to save Pandora, we have to find him. Never thought I'd say this, killer, but set a course for Necrotefeo. Iridian homeworld. After all this time. Since waiting around. Get down there, Vault Hunter. Find Typhon de Leon. Drop pods all set. You be careful down there. Laws. Bounty. That's all I need to hear. Count me in.
Vault Hunter, we're tracking Typhon to Leon's echo frequency and sending the coordinates to you. This is all quite overwhelming. First Pandora was a vault the entire time, now we've located the Iridian homeworld, and you're about to meet Typhon de Leon in the flesh. If you'll excuse me, I must take a power nap in my Saurian. Yo, Lilith. Malawan's here. And by the looks of it, super dead. How could Malawan have known about Necrotefeo? Stay sharp, killer. And boom goes the dynamite! Fauna didn't appreciate Malawan setting up camp. Clear him out, killer. We have to find a Leon. Let's get it over with. Hell yeah! steward to Typhon de Leon. Because my counterpart is inferior in every way, de Leon has charged me with greeting you. So, greetings. The pleasure is all yours. Hey, Vault Hunter. I'm Sparrow. Typhon asked me to show you around. Sparrow, what the hell? Typhon says the universe is in danger. We don't have time for a tour. Go to hell, Grouse. Tour time! <clears throat> FYI, I did all the interior decorating. Nice, right? Just because you're marooned on a deadly planet doesn't mean you can... What took you so long, Vault Hunter? We got a universe to save! Wah! You were expecting someone less handsome? you made 
read it. Bet it was a schlep. Here's a little something for making the trip. I want that gun. Well, it runs on iridium, so if you got some, I'm always happy to make you a gun or two. But right now, I gotta show you something. This way. Hey, bots. I'm taking the Vault Hunter to the machine. Don't let anyone inside, Malawan or otherwise. Now's our chance to prove our worth. It won't matter. It's the end of the universe. This laser whip's been handy. Helps me keep up in my sundown years. Plus, whips are great. Lasers, too. By now, you've figured out Pandora's a planet-sized vault. Meridians called it the Great Vault or something. A long time ago, they crammed an interdimensional monstrosity in there called the Destroyer. It wasn't easy, but they did it. The Iridians sacrificed their whole civilization to lock that thing away. But they were smart, those aliens. The Iridians had a backup plan, just in case someone was Meshuggah enough to release the Destroyer. If that happens, well, they named it the Destroyer for a reason. Behind this door is an ancient Iridian astrokinetic vault powered phase engine something rather. I just call it the machine. Pretty nifty. And the colors. Those Iridians knew how to make an entrance, right? This was the machine that locked away the destroyer the first time. And it could do it again too. But we need four vault keys to get in. You already got three of them, right? You know it. Eden 6. It ain't no paradise. Promethea. I found the first vault there, you know. Pandora, my home. There's one last key, and I know where it is. Heads up, though. It's kind of a schlep, and it won't be easy. Yeah, but I'm sure you're up for it. You're a vault hunter, like me. I'm the house vault hunter. You're gonna need it. Malawan set up a buttload of bases between us and the vault. This is exactly why I tried to keep Negra the Fail secret in the first place. But I guess that bird's out of its cage. You gotta get the last key. I hid it near the vault. There's a bridge that leads to the vault side. Head there, and good luck with Malawan. <sighs> I have a job for you. Typhon began work on a prototype defensive cannon. We're going to finish it so you can put the hurt on those Malawan putzes. To get it firing, we're going to need some captive guardian energy. First, take this energy trap. We're gonna use guardian energy to power the cannon. It's gonna look so cool. We'll just shoot it into the sky and not hurt anyone. I will shoot my new weapon where I please. Vault Hunter, you'll use the energy trap to capture the Guardian energy. Now head to the temple. Let's go! So we gave all of Typhon's research data to this healer bot named Turn, but now he's gone off and started his own practice. If Malawan gets him, they'll find all that data and come kill us! You gotta go to his office and get it back! I'll bet when you saw me, you said to yourself, that's the first Vault Hunter? This guy, ha! People have been underestimating me my whole life. But like I always say, heroes come in all shapes and sizes. Anyway, keep heading towards the bridge. I'm gonna check in with your people and let them know what's up. Hey, just got a rambling message from Typhon de Leon. Something about a machine and another vault key. Seems to like you. Do us proud, killer. Yes, they couldn't hack it.
monitoring center for a free energy alignment session with me. Turn. Healing is on the horizon. So listen. Turn's a master healer. His ideas are a little out there, but just roll with it. Use the intercom and tell him whatever he needs to hear. Oh, and please don't kill him. Or do. No. Plus, if you don't kill him, Turn gives you a shiny piece of iridium at the end of every session. Anyone who gives you a crystal is definitely legit. Greetings, prospective patient. I sense why Sparrow and Grouse sent you, and I can help. But first, are you in a consciousness-centered place and prepared for growth? Um, yeah. Ah, but is your energy properly aligned? Let me observe your energy flow for a moment. Sure. I'm sensing that you have a very stressful work environment, and that you feel the fate of the universe rests on your shoulders. Interesting. Now I see your energy is flowing. Keep aligning. This is stupid. Slightly more to the left. Will you just open the door? There we are. You are now properly aligned and prepared for healing. Please, enter my sanctum. Remember, this is a sanctified space where all life forms can coexist harmoniously. Sure, whatever. Your first diagnostic session is free. Just the thing to break your cycle. A magnificent gift, just for you. Please, open the Box of Tranquility for a glorious reward in recognition of all your hard work today. Oh, how unfortunate. Not what you were expecting. And how did that make you feel? It made me feel like you're an asshole. Yes! Yes! You're expressing yourself! It's time to start your treatment. Listen carefully. You must trust me completely for the treatment to work. Under no circumstances should you resort to violence. I don't know. I want to be crystal clear. We cannot walk the path to healing hand in hand with barriers between us. I will let down my guard, and so must you. Do not shoot me. I cannot stress that enough. Please do not resort to violence. This is for your own good. That hurts! I should have known you weren't ready for treatment. You'll never achieve harmony acting like that. You're a terrible patient! How'd it go, buddy? Didn't you feel the signal burst? They killed Turn is how it went. Why would they do that? Because he's quite annoying. Or was.
sorry he got killed, but at least the data is safe. Good riddance. The only thing crystals are good for is high-precision internal timekeeping. And some are quite... pretty. Why are you so mean, Grouse? This was a matter of survival, Sparrow. When are you going to start taking things seriously? Never. What's the point of life if you have to take everything seriously all the time? You're hopeless. Survive the bright light. Here you go, Vault Hunter. Our dark cannon beckons. It 
is beautiful. So dark. And so... canon. Your payment, Vault Hunter. Well, what are you waiting for? You've got a fancy new dark cannon, don't you? Get out there and kill some Malawan, you force of nature. You freaking king of the jungle. You beautiful monster. Boom, boom, baby. I will give your life purpose. Surely you felt the necroquakes, Vault Hunter. It must be Malawan's doing. Alright. Quake time, fast time. Take some explosives as well, just in case. To start, place the first beacon. Now just two more. We must triangulate the beacons to determine the Necroquake source. Necro 
earthquakes are coming from a subterranean abscess or cave in common parlance. We will create an opening with the explosives. Hold it. some mallow ones doing but their time will come then we will exterminate this planet's fauna one by one and finally all will be quiet sort of sounded like you want to kill every living thing on the planet but us yes it did sound like that sparrow it did sound like that <laughs> Wasn't Malawan after all? 
That is what caused the quakes. Clearly, this is Sparrow's crippling incompetence at work. Uh, what? I will deal with him later. You still have those explosives, yes, Vault Hunter? Necroquakes have stopped. Thank you, Vault Hunter. Our survival is assured. For now. game, Destroyer of Worlds. I'm Mickey Tricks, the marketing exploitation director. In our game, the great evil known as Ragnagab is trying to infiltrate our world through these riot portal things. Anyway, blah, 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 story, story, story. Find the first portal hotspot to start playing. your adventure. Okay, real quick, more story stuff. This is the sorceress, Lana Shani. She can close the portals with her powerful magic with a K, but you'll need to escort her to ensure her safety. Whoops, there she goes. Better get started. Hey, listen, I'm under attack. Oh no, those big scary dragnaws are trying to kill Lana. Help her. Those enemies are just placeholders, by the way. They'll be much bigger and scarier eventually. But isn't this game already so great? Look at hero! I'm mightily wounded! I need help! Get up, you're good. We're attacking! Now, here's the really exciting part. For a minor fee, you can purchase a wing shoe walking speed upgrade for Lana. Aren't you just super stoked to buy something from the in-game store? Shoot your selection now! Thank you for your purchase! Hey, listen, I'm under attack! Stop them, hero! Oh, 
No, no, no. Protect me! The horror. Stop them, hero! They're attacking! Hey, listen, I'm under attack! Stop them, hero! I'm counting on a lot of money. Pew, pew, pew! They're attacking! Our fears have been realized! Ragnagorb is trying to break into our world! Help me close this foul Ryek portal! <clears throat> Stop them, hero! Resistance is All patched up. They're attacking! Hey, listen, I'm under attack! Uh-oh. Looks like Lana's slowing down again. But don't worry, we're here to help. And you can buy another wing shoe movement speed upgrade right now! How convenient, right? your purchase! Stop them, hero! Shut down. Monopoly threatened. Activating. They're attacking! Not losing you today. I'm fading from existence. Assist me. Hey, listen, I'm under attack. Protect me. Stop them, hero.
sure it'll fix itself here in a second. They're attacking! There we go! Onward to adventure! Hey, listen! I'm under attack! Feeding the birds. Stop them, hero. Hey, listen, I'm under attack. Protect me. They're attacking. Trying to invade our world. 
it's time for one last showdown and one more microtransaction opportunity. Find the last portal hotspot. mission to get through here. Hey, hero! Let me know when you're ready for the ultimate battle with Ragnagab! This is it. The big one. Despite your best efforts, Ragnagab is trying to break through this portal into our world and blah, blah, blah! Stop him with bullets! Don't worry about the enemy, Bob. That's a place we'll get something cool and rad in there soon. Transaction bucks in our pocket. Now, please speak to me to receive your game tester stipend. Thank you for playing. Destroyer of Worlds will be available for public early access any day now. And with all the money we've made from these super convenient microtransactions, we will definitely finish the game. Promise! <laughs> to meet him.
up. Who saw that?
got great vantage. <laughs> its vantage is my greatest advantage! Shot contact! Sounds good. Wonder what flavors they have in that. That path will lead straight to the vault. That's where I hit the key. Don't worry, I'll stand guard outside the machine and keep the other keys safe. Now get your heroic keys to moving. We got a universe to save. <sighs> Huh? <laughs> 
the only way to the vault is the elevator inside. So you're gonna have to send those puzzles packing. <laughs>
Vault Typhon. No key in sight. You think I'd just leave the key lying around? I hit it. There's a weird looking Iridian device over there. Activate it and I'll join you. And then we'll have our talk. <sighs> Hate those things. Ah! Me and Leda beat that vault monster together. Let's go pay her a visit. Come on, Vault Hunter. Not far now. Typhon, about Troy. Yeah, listen. I know what's been going on out there. Troy and Tyrene, my kids, well, they became monsters. No other way to say it. And you're a Vault Hunter. You kill monsters. Simple as that. Look, I'm not saying I'm glad my boy's dead, but at least he can't hurt people no more. Typhon, why didn't you tell us the Calypsos were your children? I wanted to, and I should have. But I couldn't find the words. How my kids ended up, that's on me. And I might have doomed the whole universe, but I can't let that be how my story ends. After their mother died, I was so scared I'd lose them too. So I kept them here. I thought they'd be happy. But they kept staring up at that sky full of stars they'd never reach. To me, this planet was enough. The reward at the end of my hunt. To them, it was just a cage. The key, it's with her. She watches over it. Not in her grave, Vault Hunter! The headstone! Gah! Guess I could have been clear. I got it, I got it. Okay! Whew! That's done. Take the key. Right! Now to the vault! Like I said, me and Leda already killed the monster, but there's something you gotta see! When me and Leda first saw Troy and Tyrene's tattoos, we knew we had to protect them. Sirens! Whoop! The rarest thing in the universe, and there were two of them right in our arms. The only way to keep them safe was to stay here forever. But that didn't work out so well. I might have been a first-rate adventurer, but I was a third-rate pops. If you don't raise your kids right, what kind of hero are you? Listen, what comes next, it ain't gonna be easy. We got one shot, but I gotta fix this. For later. place a long time. So, me and Leda, we sort of already looted the place. But I got something for you. Okay, go on. Get your reward. You earned it. <laughs> Just joshing you. Here, have this. Give it a go, Vault Hunter. I've never been inside the machine, but I'm gonna guess we're gonna need all the firepower we can get our hands on. You check in with your people, I'll head to the machine. And hey, from one Vault Hunter to another, thanks. I just hope we still have time to fix things. In order to access the Iridian machine, I'll need to charge that key. Bring it up to Sanctuary. After we beat that monster, we beat the monster, if you know what I'm saying. Then we laid on our backs looking up at all them pretty lights, and Leda says, We have to stay here, Typhon. We can't go back. She said if the corporation
Foundations found this place, the universe would be kaput. So I says to her, baby, as long as I got you, I got the whole universe. <laughs> and then we beat the Vault Hunter, you are non-stop, Jack. If I had a body, you could bet your ass I'd be a Vault Hunter too. You know Balex is a natural born hunter, baby. Yo, Lilith! The Vault Hunter's back! Vault Hunter, did you bring me that lock of Typhon's hair? Right, yes. Inappropriate timing. End of the universe and all. Just put it in my lab. Good job getting that key, killer. Give it to Tana so she can charge it. Ava, would you like to join me? How does it work? It's a feeling. Here. Oh, gross. Do you taste olives? Oh, I always thought fried pickles. It worked. Here, Vault Hunter, all yours. So, how do we know this machine thing is going to do what it's supposed to and not, like, blow up the whole universe? The machine has already worked once before, stealing the destroyer away inside Pandora millennia ago. If Tyrene leeches it, she may finally become a so-called god. Then again, what is a god but the most powerful being in the universe? Either this works, or we are all obliterated. You should go down there, Tannis. I don't know who else could get this thing working. Really? And work side by side with Typhon de Leon? If I must, Lilith, if I must. You got this, Tannis. And I am totally not going to snoop around your lab for Iridian stuff while you're gone. That's a relief. Get geared up, Vault Hunter. Then meet Typhon at the machine. Before it's too late. Mission time! <sighs> I'm stuck on this rock with a grumpy Gus who shall remain nameless. So I want a new robot friend. To build one, we're gonna need some parts. Go borrow some of Malawan's stuff! We could use an extra pair of hands since Sparrow barely carries his weight around here. Hey, not nice. Besides, I'm here for moral support. I'll type and put me in charge of security, and I say we need a combat bot to protect us. Backpacks. Fine, good enough. 
Bombers instead. chip on my own. Slap them in there, Vault Hunter. Get our new friend up and running in no time. Friend, I think he'll hate you. Just like automatic. Wow. Rude. Thank you for trying to help. 
Even if it was a colossal failure, which it was. And if we didn't get destroyed by our own creation, wouldn't that have been tragic? Vault Hunter! Time to see what this machine can do! Go ahead, put in the last vault key. Oh my. Well, let's get to it! We got a universe to save! Ah, I see. Now those connections between the vaults make sense. The vaults on Promethea and Eden 6 must be the power sources for this machine. Intriguing. <clears throat> wow, you're smart! Bit of an understatement, don't you think? Ha! And you know who you are! That's a rare thing in this universe! A dream come true! We must focus. The first step is to locate the machine's control console. Cool place. The Meridians never did anything small, did they? Oh, I guess you do need a planet-sized machine to seal up an entire planet! Hey, you're glowing! Oh, you're too kind. No, seriously! Fascinating. Perhaps Sirens had some hand in constructing this machine. You know what? You remind me of Leda. Catch me, Bolt Hunter. I swoon. If only I had a decade to study this machine. Its design is mind-gasmingly complex. But I do believe its primary operation to be fairly straightforward. To start, I require the Pandora Vault Key. Offer the remaining keys to the Guardian statues. Then the machine will draw power from the vaults on those planets, closing Pandora. To the other statues, Vault Hunter. Quickly now! This way! Next up, Promethea! <laughs> huh. Good thing I never told my daughter about this place. But stay sharp. If I know the Iridians, there's sure to be some Guardians around here. Let's take them out together! dipping in a saurian top pit once. I was hairless for a month.
This glyph says to reveal the steps. Guess it means use that switch. Whoa, quite a schlep. Guess that Meridians didn't mind a little exercise, huh? Good thing I've got the whip. See you up top.
is no virtue. Huh. Guess they mean to use both switches together. Old school classic. Right. End of the world. I'll focus. Not bad. The Decker to Fayo statue is close. <laughs> we gotta hurry. you off of the key. Better hold on to your keys to... Told ya! All of the connections to the vaults are activated. Return to me, fair Typhon. Vault Hunter, you may come too. Lilith, you might want to come down and see this. On our way.
Tannis, is it working? Tannis! Whoa. He can't! Exterminate that swarm of creepy critters, Vault Hunter! but it hasn't activated yet. Pandora is still opening. Maybe it needs a siren's touch. Ha! And touch it I shall. As the Nihilus said on his deathbed, here goes nothing. <laughs> I understand now. Holy baloney! Would you look at that? Tannis, you all right? Yes! Much power, and I am the conduit. Pandora's closing. All right, it's working. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put a stop to that. COV incoming. Ava, keep them off Tannis. On it. This is it. You know what to do, Kill. I'm with you, Vault Hunter. End of the road, Super Fan. For you, anyway. Troy and I were kids. Stare up at the night sky and dream of becoming stars. <sighs> the brightest in the galaxy, Troy always said. Don't do this! So we left this place behind. We went to Pandora to become Vault Hunters ourselves. We'd open the vaults of vaults and become the biggest stars in the galaxy. Irene, listen to me. This won't end the way you think it will. Trust me! I seem so small now, our dreams. Not befitting a god. Now, I'm gonna devour every last star in the universe, one by one. Until nothing shines. Uh, yeah. You wanna go with the fire, Hawk? Coming! 
here. Hang on, Ava! Oh, this for me? and see how that turned out? You scared old man! This is your fault! You kept us here when the universe should have been ours! I gave you what I could. I don't care! I'm gonna take what's mine! Ah! I'm sorry, Starlight. You gotta stop her. It's too late for me. Just promise me something. Don't be the last Vault Hunters. We won't. He's gone. Pandora's gonna be ripped apart. If Tyrene leeches the Destroyer, that'll be the least of our problems. We have to stop her. Typhon bought us our lives, but we're running out of last chances. Lilith, I may have a shortcut to where Tyrene went. This machine works across interstellar distances. There must be a way... Yes, I can use the connection to Pandora to form a portal. Killer, we'd be dead a thousand times over if it wasn't for you. I've been telling myself I still belonged on the front lines, but... The leader needs to know when to stand aside and let a soldier do their job. This is your fight. It worked! <sighs> it seems I can add time and space to the long list of things I have mastery over. It's time. The Destroyer is escaping. You ready, killer? Just give the order, Commander. I'm ready. Okay. This ends on Pandora, one way or the other. Head through the portal and find Tyrene. We'll see you on the other side. We're counting on you, Killer. The Destroyer is ripping the planet apart. You have to stop Tyrene. Pandora's always been a hellhole, but it's our hellhole, damn it. Even if Tyrene is stopped, Elpis is far too close to Pandora. The Great Vault will continue to open. Let's worry about that when Tyrene is dead. One apocalypse at a time. We're in orbit, VH. I got eyes on your fine ass from Sanctuary. Pandora's tearing itself a new one, but I ain't letting you fight that mega devil bitch alone. Mm, finally. Don't expect mercy, superfan. I'm not that kind of god.
She's not gonna come back, is she? Well, she died and turned to ash, so I'm gonna give it a hard maybe. You got your powers back. Feels good, right? I spent so long without them, I'd almost gotten used to it. I'm not gonna lie, it does feel good. over. Not entirely. Great Vault is still opening. Elpis is tearing Pandora apart. How do we stop it? Very simple. We can't. Not unless you know a way to remove the moon from the sky. Run towards the fire. Sanctuary is yours, Ava. Be ready. What does Lilith think she's doing? Closing the Great Vault. She's saving Pandora. That, that could kill her! She knows. go back up to Sanctuary. See if there's anything she left us. I assume you mean anything valuable to pilfer, but yes, let us investigate. Recruit, you did it! You followed my instructions exactly and saved Pandora! All right, Ava wants to talk to you. She's in Lilith's room. Uh, I was hoping Lilith would be here waiting for us, but she's just... gone. Maya, she used to tell me stories about Lilith, when the two of them were fighting side by side. I miss them both. had her own secrets back here. This chest is of Iridian design, but I have no idea where she might have gotten it. There's no external mechanism on it, but perhaps I can phase shift it open. Ha! Ah, so I can. Peculiar. Lilith must have intended for me to find this, but that would mean... Nonetheless, there's another matter for us to discuss, Vault Hunter. Using my enormous intellect, I have sussed out the purpose of the artifact you discovered inside the vault. It is an advanced guardian mind core. I've created a neural adapter that will link it up with the ship's fast travel system. Please do so now. The guardians use that mind core to improve their own combat AI by training in simulations of alternate, more chaotic universes. At least I believe they were simulations. It's unclear, but... Don't be too concerned. Any paradoxes or reality leaks should either resolve themselves, or we will all be obliterated before we can feel too much pain. Sounds fun, doesn't it? I call it 
mayhem mode. I've integrated it into our onboard fast travel map, so you can use it whenever you feel the call of mayhem. Enjoy. Attention, crew of Sanctuary. That motherfucking vault hunter just saved y'all ass. So show some respect. Ain't enough heroes in this galaxy. 